All right, so this stream end video that I'm going to later post after I've edited it <laughs> is going to be for the first week of LCS. I'm going to be watching all of the game's VODs, uh, but we're going to start with uh, Team Liquid and Fly FlyQuest because they are who played first. Up our best of three right. as well, by the way. A full best of three between our two top teams from last split. Our finals rematch, our MSI representative. Yeah, TL actually won against FlyQuest on the oh, last yeah. finals. TL, all of the nice primary eight. No way are they going to lock in <laughs> Kindred, right? There are a plentiful amount, though. Kindred right now is insane in solo queue could very well be locked in this is very much a viable kindred meta. wow and there we go i love it all right we'll this see some kindred gonna get a carry champ and fingers <laughs> off of this champion uh, to get them to stop yeah, but very much believers in the that was really cute i love that all right they're gonna have the range the hyper scanner sense team liquid uh, so it is orange support in, in i'm actually so loving so. this very, very excited to It'll also be really cool to see a, uh, like a Kindred game. That we have in more recently is that Kindred's definitely a champion I wish I was a little bit better at. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be cool to see someone play him. Really excited about because this is North American talent that they brought up through their own challenger system and invested so much in. We had so many stories last year about the uh, success for them and spring about their playoff success. Impact going to find Whippo here. Yeah, but Impact oh, interesting. Now the one there. finds himself on the wrong side of things as Masu can reinforce the rumble and make sure that Impact is on the losing end of that trade. Oh, wait, so Busi is going to solo lane for a bit? In the enemy jungle on that blue buff. Just trying to track. Oh, this is so jungler. interesting. By the way, in case you guys did not notice, we have another cool new thing. Her roll CS differences on the scoreboard as inspired. Now having to deal with Core JJ. Wow. Who ignites them and wants to chase them all the way down. He's still on top of the blast cone. Inspired Nautilus is huge. Core using the ignite to Wait, that was disgusting. Back, but inspired is not so low that he's going to be interrupted and have to go all the way back to base just yet. Umpty yeah. to move forward and maybe find an additional opportunity here in the Kindred. So I'm guessing they couldn't see the little jungle pet, right? I don't know how that works with vision. Back in the mid lane, we'll see what Umpty wants to do. Looks like he's just stealing away the chicken camp right now. As Core wraps around here in the bottom lane, Busio just walking. I'm kind of surprised he didn't look there. Or I'm sorry, Chad. Who do you think you are, me? A soul? He's wanting a response. I mean, there's good luck, have fun. Wild stuff going on in the start of our game. With love all chat being a thing. Um, Look at that wave! Usually are like, oh, can, maybe you can try and steal away one of the camps. Wait, that's actually crazy. Kind of like, quote unquote, weak, weak side for a lane swap. That's what Inspired was doing on the Kindred, but it cost him a lot of health. Ooh. Now it's costing APA a lot of health as he has to go back through the singularity, uh, back to mid lane here. But then you saw the follow up and you mentioned it from Umpty. Umpty going in and trying to yoink back uh, one of the camps for himself. So we've had quite the scramble here. Do you think they're going to try and dive? Of our first game of LCS summer. But in the end, probably not. Uh, Zach is super, not super tanky and has his passes. They're able to pretty much even it up there. Uh, this is insane. Can get kind of dangerous, you know, if you give over extra camps. Can't step forward or anything. Territory to one of these more offensive farming jungles like a kindred or yeah. especially the AP versions like Italy and stuff like that. Um, you know, sometimes people wow. will lane swaps just to get that jungler ahead. That carry jungler, Double the farm for a uh, uh, Whippo. He did a pretty good job here trying to stabilize and will be able to clean up his red side camp. Unfortunately for Inspired, the scuttle crab did spawn on the top side and nobody takes that top side scuttle. Oh, you know, uh, does Lucia have a support item? I didn't even no check to see that. Inspired. He's been solo laning for quite a bit now. Yep. What a flash! Oh, mid lane. We got a problem here for Claude as he tries to get away from the gank. Wow, Umpty um, almost um, died for that. Team Liquid forcing that play. Not quite enough. That was really aggressive. To get the job done, but they will get the flash out of the mid laner on FlyQuest, the Aurelian Soul. No, there's no... Base, but he does have oh, no, no. Senna has the support item. So not gonna hate that oh, I forgot they much. did that. Meanwhile, Impact and Core JJ is still just trying to survive up here in top lane. Wow, they're going to have a really beefy Orn. APA is going to get a little damage, but the plates are sturdy enough to not allow him to get any extra gold from that. Do you think it's really fun for yeah, supports yeah, I, to be I, I able to, like, gold suddenly gold have gold? You know, is it way more fun to play this Orn and be able to just build, like, a typical top laner would? Towards people getting big chunks, and if you trade the Maokai ultimate for the Aurelian Soul ultimate, it allows these follow-up plays. Right now, when Umpty's going to be able to get to level 6, then they can pressure with the Maokai ultimate and have no flash on the Aurelian Soul, and APA here 
uh, on the court to play a lot more confidently. Wow, lots of fighting mid lane. Quad wanting to take the fight here against APA. Nice flash by APA. Oh, with the solo. Wait, that was so well played. Blood, Team Liquid. Well, it's certainly going to be confident after that one. We might have Where's the all chat? Where's all chat? As well. Uh, with the beef that has been brewing between these two teams, by the way, uh, on Twitter, Umpty and APA were both calling out uh, Quad. So, welcome to the LCS. Welcome to First Blood. It's, it's oh, and Fly has Quad because they benched the Jensen, right? I remember reading about that. Blocker, man. Yeah, and especially with Quad being the piece of really Quad young. Quest, between spring and summer. Let's look at the beginning of this trade and how it all happened. Because okay. you already know that Quad was down last, so Quad is... Oh, it's just really aggressive from Quad. Now he's at last disadvantage, and then APA basically locked out of the singularity and then flashed the other side. Really and Soul, it's really hard to turn your Q. Cause yeah. He, he doesn't have a great turning radius. Uh, it takes him a while to, to turn around the breath. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you, Kobe. That one was. Uh, that was a little bit goofy. Meanwhile, back up here on the top side, the Zap oh. pass gets pop, but FlyQuest is now gonna be able to grab someone. Spot. They gotta be careful as Umpty shows up. The Bramble Smash not. Oh, nice. The waiting arms of Yon and Core, but it won't be. I enough. can't believe they survived that. They are gonna grab any kills, but they force the Zack pass it for a future play potentially. Meantime, inspired. Yeah, look at the support. Bruce, you support top EXP. Liquid has overloaded this side of the map. Wait, that's awesome. Does not want to put himself in a compromised position. Meanwhile, Lucio at the top of the charts there, uh, on the Orn, farming away on the bottom side while all the action was taking place top side. Yo will still get two of the grubs, uh, but in critically and importantly, as you mentioned, so Aso is a little bit behind Corky, but he also just outscales Corky, right? The double might spawn uh, if you do give up the second hand. Bring back Jensen, oh, bro. Wow, wait, that's crazy. You knew that was going to come. I'm wait, that's, that's so crazy. See, but here comes the meteor. APA locked up, but it doesn't matter. There's nobody in range. That's like Why tier one trash talking. Active? If you're the new guy on the team, you're always going to have that big target on your back. So APA and Umpty obviously targeting quad, uh, getting the first blood. My quad, I'm suddenly on your side. A lot of scrutiny. <laughs> was given to the chain with FlyQuest getting rid of Jensen in spring and summer as well. But uh, towards the day here, right back out trying to- Wow, they are smacking that route. Mid lane, APA goes in. Yeah, APA continuing to just play aggro here against this Aurelian Soul. That's the thing. When you play a champion like Aurelian Soul, one that you don't see nearly as much, you would expect part of your advantage to be the fact that your opponent is not as well practiced against the champion. They might not be as familiar with the power points and the break <laughs> points. Have echo not you? really the case here against APA, one of the very few players who has been playing Notice it a few times, but so maybe I'm just... And, and you can see it too. With him going fleet footwork, <laughs> you know, not going into the cookie cutter hail of blades, Corky. Uh, that is that huge burst damage. Going for the extra sustain of the fleet work. Uh, fleet footwork for the I kind of like that fleet work. Yeah, it's like combining it's, it's it smoother, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like that. That's clean. <laughs> That's good spacing on your work. Good spacing, yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, me <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Gord JJ is trying to catch Lucio's back up. still just uh, killing uh, it, bro. Uh, in support experience, but level Lucio seven. Level seven already. So the Ornith is off and oh. Meanwhile, Moss is roaming here with Inspired. Yep. So they know that Umpty's there, right? Yeah, they must. Feels good for them, man. You just bring the extra guy. You know. But they, yeah, they sold the blue. You know you're up against Maokai, who, as you already oh, said, the you know, is playing one of these tank supportive type of junglers into an aggressive farming jungler like Kindred. It's hard for Maokai to deal with these anyway. But when Mossu's there, it just becomes impossible. Oh wait, prepping for a dive maybe? He'll smite away the Gromp there as well as Umpty is now going to lose a couple of camps. It is a massive farm difference in the jungle, 71 to 49. You can see the 500 Ooh. gold lead for Inspired compared. To I don't Umpty. think it would turn into a kill, but what would spike me? Is the gold lead for FlyQuest? Meanwhile, mid and bottom, of course, going to be favoring Team Liquid. But it's plus 1,000 for, for Bustio on the Orn. This guy is uh, obviously, you know, it, it, it's not exactly fair because it's the same amount the other way because they're mismatched with the Senna, but it's yeah. still funny to see. It is funny to see. It, it is always nice to see the extra levels, but we've got the dive. Yeah. On the wall, he hits him, uses the Orn. Yeah, that's hard though. I, first, can you blame Quad for advantage. that? You can guarantee you're going to dodge an extra tower shot because you become untargetable. It's just that easy to line it up to guarantee that APA has got another kill. Yes, sir. APA collecting here in the mid lane on that Corky pick. Super high prio. Like we were talking about, too, 
This Maokai is so Oh, AP on Cole as well. Go to the Corky. Immediately use your ultimate. Pressure the Aurelian Soul again. So Remember this game. I wish I would have watched. It looks like they bought Doran's Blade. Yes, sir. Aurelian Soul. And then Senna, afterwards spot the Cole. So it's a lot of stacks to keep track of. <laughs> and they're split between two teams, but mm. DL are doing a very good job keeping up Yon's stacks while also pressuring the Aurelian Soul. Uh, even though FlyQuest here have multiple scaling options with Gucci, of course, on Horn, going to be able to yeah. get some Horn items later, and they do land the stair, forcing a flash here, too. Yeah, nicely done getting the summer yeah. of APA. Again, now that Corky doesn't have package as an option, you know that he's a very viable target. It's like you were talking about when we were doing it in the context of Vi earlier. I was watching what Kindred's doing. <laughs> to engage on this champion without package, there's so many more options now. Corky doesn't sort of have that second get out of jail free card when the flash. You think they're gonna try and go to quad again? No. Correctly, so APA could find himself being a very, very enticing target now for the next five minutes or so here for FlyQuest. But Jan and Core JJ making their way up. Core JJ on top of the ward. Wow, Kindred only has one mark. And now Core Wait, JJ what an engage! Wait. Dredge line. APA goes on a killing spree. Masu missing that lockdown ends up being a lethal All right. mistake. Yeah, Core JJ walks Wow, TL, TL's gotten three right now. All for Corky. Wait, Corky's going to be huge. That hook. No, sir. And they get payment in APA is going to be a menace. And now, with that extra payment, you mentioned earlier Team Liquid got a couple of grubs. How's three more? Oh, that was such a good cue. Wait, that hit all three. have the manpower to be able to answer this. Umpty's happy to just stand there and go to Grub City. Yep, Grub definitely going to go over there. Oh, Trinity Force for it. APA? On Corky? That's there. interesting. It is just the Chem Drake, which is not the best, but you got to take the cross map play because you lost so much cryo there, losing out the kill on top side. I mean, it's not bad getting dragged for no grubs. Chance that you ever want to go fight TL uh, on even standings right now, so go for your crowd. And you got one grub, so or uh, dragon yeah, one grub, so you're not. The gold still just teeter tottering back and forth between the two teams, plus a few hundred overall over here, plus a few hundred overall over here, shaking out to be to be quite even. But it's APA who's the star of the show right now. Three zero and zero on the Corky has the Trinity Force fully completed. Doesn't it this feel so rough to try and dive Zach with his passive? For Team Liquid to run over a fight, or if FlyQuest can get the engage and pop him early, they're gonna feel great about the way things are playing out. Oh, they blew him out. Coming it's pretty effective. For them. And APA is just picking up more plates. That's Crack disgusting. And Remember, this no longer has the crit on it with that crit item. Scorgy's really strong right now, right? I'm assuming he just carries the game from this point. One hit item now. Damage. He's really like APA. He's a really good mid laner too. Like a good ball of stats early game for a champ like him. Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. Young farming up some stacks <laughs> in mid lane too. Yeah, I mean he's been matched up. It, the lane assignments here have been actually pretty nice for Team Liquid. Uh, him versus Busio. The majority yeah, the way they've been moving lanes is felt oh, really cool to watch. Because it's not like you know top laner going top lane every time, bot lane going bot lane every time. Steal some experience. Oh wow. Jumps all the way away. The equalizer hits him, but honestly, most of what it's going to do is just clear out the wave. It's not like that equalizer was ever going to threaten lethal on its own. Umpty just trying to interrupt the back from Whippo. So I guess uh, diving Zach doesn't matter at all, huh? Because that was rough. He just jumped out. Before turret plates fall, impact is going to reappear now with the unleashed teleport. Try to continue. I think they got that plate bot right. APA in the meantime pushing the tier two up in the top lane. As it doesn't look like anybody from FlyQuest is Wow, they did it. Never mind. They still have Masu two plates there. And Busio are closest, but they're both dealing with the wave that's crashing into mid at the same time. So APA, he gets to shove the next wave up. Now he looks like he's going to go ahead and take his recall. There's nothing to fight for on the top. What kind of item are they going to get? Now, but he's gotten so much. Seconds until we see that Rift Herald spawn. Core JJ forcing out the flash from Masu back in the mid lane at the same time. You saw Team Liquid pinging on the top side of the river. That's why APA is going back. They're getting 2K in gold advantage. Line. He's got his BF sword. He's got Mercury Treads. Team Liquid with a 2,000 gold lead. They know they should be able to force a fight in open ground on this Rift Herald. Yeah, Core JJ getting some big value you know, out of his Hex Flash here. Almost so all the gold is on Corky. Now, he's okay. Oh, Core JJ wow. Just the Let's dredge see what the TP. Yeah, to be a great TP, right? Quads him? There's your breath of light, Core. Yeah, okay. Fall. There they go. They got Core JJ. The game for FlyQuest as they find a punish on a slightly misaligned dredge line. Yeah, nice one there. Masu hugs the wall, so right around that raptor wall, and Core JJ goes right in. Oh, with it. the flash? Umpty with oh, we're both so dead. Whippo, the rumble, wait, wait, that's amazing. The oh, I thought he was super dead. Kill him. 
the extra little bit of magic resist from the nullifying orb would have been. I just thought APA was going to melt him yeah. so much quicker right. than that. That's awesome. Force away that enemy top laner. He does not have an unleashed TP. Team Liquid now going after the Herald. Yeah, should be able to pick up the Herald. They didn't want to chase into the fog of war because Kindred still has ultimate. You know, there could be so much there uh, waiting for them, even though Blippa was extremely low on the, the Rumble. Rumble, so they let him walk away. They'll just take the objective instead. Firing up. I would be so annoyed if I was inspired. Interrupts inspired. That's the most frustrating thing. When you're down so far in the recall that you feel like you should be in that grace period where it'll teleport back anyway, and you still get interrupted. Wow, that was aggressive by Quad. Out as Quads but they got the flash. Him down and potentially ended up in another kill for FlyQuest. That is, that is one thing worth mentioning here for FlyQuest is they have a lot of turn for team fights, which is a lot of counter engage. Kindred ultimate can kind of keep them alive. For Let's the see, time for Senna really at like 15 minutes has, work, or 15 and a half minutes has 61 souls. Kind of disgusting. Um, Wait, Kinja still have one mark? Definitely something that Team Liquid have to be cognizant. Wow, Umti's doing a really good job of grabbing them or something. Umti as well. Because that's 15 minutes having one? to eventually join when they want to have the true... Yeah, he just grabbed another one of the marks. Passive up especially will be... Or Umti grabbed another one of the marks. So the one thing I'm also on the looking at here, when we're talking about Kindred in these fights later on, Team Liquid has two tools in the Zac Ultimate and... But the Inspired is two the levels up? Out of Lamb's 11 to 9? huge yeet buttons, like yeah. a Janna ult here or anything. So it's not super easy <laughs> Get to do. Get them to the edge and then just kind of... But there is still that potential for something to happen. APA is to level up. Because any time you're up against... And it's kind of hard to compare the set. It's like Senna and Core JJ and then Yon with the Bucio. The it's like there's like a matching. button and then there's like a soft nudge button. Yeah, this is the soft nudge, yeah. but it still might nudge them enough to change a fight because we know how game warping Lamb's Respite can be. It he drags it back. Right moment. We've got six seconds until the next Drake spawns. FlyQuest already collected that first one. The Team Liquid is still up just shy of 2,000 oh. gold. You can see a lot this is of gonna be a menace. coming out on that Dragon Pit now. Just keeps grabbing all those souls. <laughs> in contesting for this Drake number two. And you can see they're keeping the split push going. APA's got his Unleashed Teleport topside. So Team Liquid pushing both side lanes, getting tower damage in top and bottom here. APA does get tagged by just the edge of Whippo's ulti, but he finishes tower. Wow. APA is ready to fight back a little bit. Whippo got a little bit too close. APA finding a ton of damage on him. APA, APA. is going to Wait, that's kill. insane. Beautifully done. They're dead, but... The wow, that, they got down. the turret and Beautifully got a kill? Soul empowered ult has to be used just to finish him off. That was a 1v2 and a half, and the man still made it an even trade. I like that. The extra half coming from the upgraded Aurelian Soul ult that had to be invested. You could tell FlyQuest didn't want to have to invest that. It is a huge, huge, powerful it drags up too. You have the upgraded ultimate for Aurelian Soul used. But Do you think Fly is just going to run down uh, knowing that uh, APA is not up? The one for one there. No, Umti's... APA yeah. did some work. He also got the tower, so... I'm um, actually huge, starting it. Huge advantages here for TL as they collect their dragon. And you could see just how good his understanding of the situation was. I was that really well played. Over the top, Whippo waited over the wall because he expected APA to valk out of the equalizer. So I actually thought that the, the equalizer is going to try and wipe out the around, whole wave. He understands his damage. He blows but it looks like the they opted to do some damage to APA. Yeah, Senna Ultimate getting invested there as well. Yeah, without the ult, do you think uh, AP would have gotten away? Honestly, maybe. Did he get a shutdown on the Aurelian Soul, though? Back here in the mid lane under the tier two. Yawn grabs the kill on Whippo. This rumble just Oh, inspired. Inspired, forced to unleash. That was a split second ult. sure it's not a double kill going the other way. Oh, what a dive. The enemy the enemy top laner's dead. The enemy jungler is almost dead. Team Liquid has total control over the map right now. They're going to get control over this topside river area. The next time they get a big pick, it might just Ooh. be massive. Yeah, uh, Yon is well stacking. Like, Inspired is so far ahead of Umpty and Farm, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Spear of Sojin, and he's getting pretty close to that 225 as well. Meanwhile, Actually, Whippo's also Yon really far ahead in Farm from uh, ultimate, Impact. Definitely are gonna have That's to crazy. On another empowered Aurelian Soul Ultimate for... Yeah for a comeback victory in a team fight it, it gets more and more difficult here for FlyQuest they do though have that, that potential for gold? a big turn that we mentioned if you can nullify the well, TL's up 4k gold with a kindred ultimate and then get your turn around with a soul plus uh, one they it looks uh, like they have a really good team fight in team 2 i'm not it's sure just be difficult uh, because Yon still has flash on the smolder and mm. APA is kind of fed 
Yeah, maybe, maybe just fast. a little bit. Infinity Edge, Trinity Force, uh, extra extra cloak. Nineteen and a half minutes. In what the happened game. to the fly <laughs> quest? The I fly know. Quest, I know. Oof. I don't. I enjoy the fact that he is living his best all chat <laughs> life. APA yeah, knows yeah. who he is, and he is not ashamed to admit it. Nineteen minutes and fifty seconds on the I clock. Love, I love. I love the type in pro chat. This is what I was I talking about admit. earlier. Team Liquid has total control over the map right now. If they yep, get one yep. more good pick, if they can knock Inspired out, they can easily force a Baron fight out of FlyQuest. And you can see they're setting up for a Try this at home. Actually, I love I love right the now. LCS on live Inspired patch. Try this at home right Gone down here. At 213 stats That's so cute. Here on Smolder. So still needs a few more of those to hit the point where we have the true damage burn. But once TL is there, what is FlyQuest even going to do, man? Oh, I wait, mean, they, they're they just starting it? They have to go for, you know, some no. sort okay. of steel play or some sort of surprise. I mean, they do have a lot of damage. I can picture them trying to uh, and, and get that big pick rush that it down, about. but that we is kind of 50-50 play still. On the Orn. Uh, so quickly I think they do inspire this top side, too. Here for the team. They do have a lot of scaling outs uh, on the side of FlyQuest as well. So if they can somehow get some gold back in their pockets... You know, that it's, it's definitely still a lanes. composition that is capable of, of winning some fights, of winning okay. the game. They just have to be very defensive with their play and try and nullify some of uh, the big... Ah, Kinch is still on one mark. Liquid. Actually, this Baron Pit is one of the more fun Baron Pits. You know, that big, yeah. like, runway of a Baron Pit is kind of tailor-made for the Orn Ultimates. Uh, yeah, the Ram just runs oh, down Oh, that's interesting track. to yeah, think about. straight down the racetrack, and then you have an Asol Ultimate... <laughs> Uh, hopefully for them, empowered to try and get them their big comeback. But APA and Yon are not going to stop. You know, that's an interesting thought so, for you know, the uh, Baron Pits. You to catch back up. I feel like it doesn't make that big of a difference right, on a lot of the games like that I play. Still, but they really like at like an actually high level, I'm sure it really does change the way the that you play around Baron by a lot. Game. Constantly trying to ward it. Constantly using it. Changes as the terrain. Operating base, makes certain champions better and certain champions worse. And Umpty planting the map. Ooh, that's kind of deep. Okay. Oh, double TP. Alti's coming down. It's Quan Masu trying to get away while Inspire tanks up here on the front line. Oh wait. And Whippo both coming in as Umpty's gonna be killed. Wait, that was amazing. What a fight. More. Wait, but the Smolder and Corky. Away, and now oh, that was Fly close. Just murdered the whole TL squad. Flycos won it. Engage. That's the turn on the team fight. Busio comes up huge. Wait, do you think Whippo and Busio are gonna die to the uh, bear? The no, okay, no, they have the Senate Q. Yeah, it did look like a mouth fight ult. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that was really well played by FlyQuest. Where's my all chat? Come on, Quad. I believe in you. Where's my all chat? <laughs> With the comeback fight, and they even have Orin to smite it. The only dude that died was the jungler, and they still got a smite to secure the Baron. Fly that was so well played. I can't wait to rewatch this because I see the core JJ hooked the uh, inspired, right, so it kind of started the engage there. Yeah, so right there. Masu ults as well. Oh, beautiful by Busio. The ult into the knockup. And then impact just died back there to Masu and Quad. Kind of counter there. That uh, was so beautiful. Quest, I mean, what an amazing, amazing TL fight by FlyQuest. TL had no range to follow up with the damage there, and immediately had to TL grab drag here, but I, it almost feels like it doesn't matter. Corridor. It's only the Easy second drag for them. Quest. 23 minutes into the game. Busio with the Orn play. He ha he's but the something I noticed that last fight, fight. Yon Looking with the Smolder already has the uh, enough stacks for the, the Elder Passive. The most in he looked being able really to painful. The game in a meaningful they have to be careful so on the on the next fight from that as well. One, after kind of getting smacked around a little bit for the first 20 minutes and find that huge clutch moment, that's awesome for this young player on FlyQuest. Certainly is, and with with the Baron buff, you can take so much standing gold off the map here. Oh, so I saw Orn upgrade. I think Senna's item, but I can't tell by the way the items look. He's got Baron Buff himself. You know what I mean? Uh, so he can defend at inhibitor turrets. Meanwhile, the rest of FlyQuest getting some of that outer tower wow. back for Gold difference was crazy. Pushing for two on top side. Looks like TL still uh, mid lane tier two. Will now be eliminated still doing by just Yon. fine though. They're okay. Wow, actually, they're like right next to him. Off. But this game that was up to about a 4,000 gold lead for TL is now. A negligible gold lead for FlyQuest of 300. 
So we've gone back to just pure parity, pure even territory. You were talking about the infinity scaling on FlyQuest in multiple places. Busio now level 14. I, lo I love it's watching uh, to start adorning Maokai's the build. It's time for FlyQuest to start getting some of those You know, they, they always just build in such interesting... Because they're kind of tanks, but they also kind of want to be able to deal damage. Higher. Just about the same amount so they have right now they have lock it and, and they have uh demonics and brace yeah it's like one side oh the engage right. missed he's not gonna find the hook they have the ult the ulti monster could be in some trouble monster's almost dead quite find the kill oh Lost wait but quad with the ult the ulti now is up he's gonna be burned away and quad goes in the oh you just gotta oh quest, i feel like we have to be really nothing, careful of the uh done yet apa wants to get away but the singularity says no way it's a where's my ult chat quad please Please. Tag there from quad. He hunts him down. Oh, he hunted him down. I thought he was actually a little bit too aggressive now. there, but that was beautiful. I was gonna say, uh, they have to be careful of Yon. Like they were all kind of low with the Elder proc. They might uh is heading down to try and clear. They might have struggled there a little bit. Oh, you think they're gonna dive him? And three no. Oh, oh, just a beautiful Q. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those upgrades here. Three yeah. items uh, plus the 294 on the stacks is able to at least clear out the wave. Man, Log oh man, timeline. those y'all who Streamer, yes, as sir. familiar with Quad as yes, long-time fans might be to see here a timeline of where this dude's been. All right, he's, he's ma playing. he made it to the LCS the though. Got to respect that. Squad. Over to just being a streamer. He's playing well. 2023, they're being on red, and then 2024, he's made his way to FlyQuest challenges. Now into the main FlyQuest squad. I know that so many people have so much faith in this. Yeah, dude, five, two, and three. FlyQuest. He's Talk doing well. He proved himself in academy. How he was a leader and a shot caller on that squad, despite the fact that he. English isn't even his first language. He's still a big communicator. He's still a big shot caller. And now, getting to see him Ooh. here in this game. A rocky start with the solo kill and everything. But then, showing up later, 5, 2, and 3 now. 500 gold. Yeah, and not just that. The fact that he did start yeah, really far behind has been able to make this a great game. A little bit worried about and we're looking at with adding quad was... You know that that possible nerve issue uh, coming back from uh, from LCK, but even with the hmm. extra pressure that you mentioned and going down and losing some kills and this being his first LCS oh wow an old on the LCS stage here for quad interesting uh, came up big when they needed it the most here with the Aurelian Soul and I wonder what the, was the thought there that they might be able to get a good engage or was it just to try and like say, push quad back a little bit Senna, plus the Kindred plus all the yeah, old I wish ultimates. Or Orn upgrades here. I, you have items. to assume it's not a mistake. Uh, I never assumed so, that the pros so made the mistake West. there. Even I'm assuming I'm not understanding something. West have been able to recapture in this game. Yeah, they are well set up for these team fights. It's just the range. Oh wait, okay. Kindred has really three marks now. Uh, Last couple of times I checked, it is that one. They need one more for their passive to actually help them give a. Uh, don't know if that's going to be enough. Give some more attack range. So much more on the side of FlyQuest. Yeah, and remember that Smolder is actually one of the champions that is pretty unhappy about the changes to Essence Reaver no longer being a Sheen item because of the way that the Q counted as an auto attack. Just having that extra Sheen proc gave you more bang for your buck every time you oh, got one of those Qs. But now, I mean, yeah, you still get the mana restore. You're still getting your attack damage. You're still getting your crit, but no Sheen. So Flyco is actually up 2k best. gold we'll now. see how much damage Yon can do. To and they scale really well with Senna, Asol. 25 stacks. The burn is going to get pretty extreme. But on the other side, Quad's I mean, Smolder scales really well scaling, now, but he's yeah, he's got to hit his max of scaling, right? Deep vision here. Okay. Look for some picks. They have plenty of things to get. Like he gets with. a little bit stronger Zach, with uh, uh, more Nautilus stacks, but not at the level of here at setting up previous ones for either APA or Yon. Um, I think and so. <laughs> the extra territory that they have controlled with this deeper vision, you see all the blue wards through both sides of FlyQuest jungle. Yep. If Team Liquid can leverage that, they could retake control of this game but otherwise as long as FlyQuest mm. uh, play together and they don't give one of these openings you know as long as Busio is here to protect the drags up in 10 seconds and Baron's up right now towards the objective setup Dragon and Baron coming up at the same time this dragon so they could like extremely high value, try and trade them um, as it would only be number three for TL and only two for FlyQuest so it's probably gonna happen anyway right into it and leaning way somebody's gonna lose a fight the winner's gonna go for Baron and the loser's gonna try and grab drag a lot of opportunity to contribute a ton of damage who's just so tanky bro when you look at the itemization on the enemy look at this Orn right Maokai and Nautilus he's got war mugs and uh jock shows Economically super durable, and Zach has spent most of his Oh, but that Elder Proc hurts this so bad. With Infinity Edge could seriously do some damage. Who's the other taking a decent amount of poke? I mean, you have to respect the poke from okay. Corky. So that one went to quad. Later into the game. 
any sort of little chips. Yeah, you there? So you can see Flyquest. Well, it kind of feels really bad nervous. to have to use the More Senna ult. Done. Yeah, Plus vision no there. Senna ultimate now. Yeah. TL might see that as the go button. But they don't have an angle here just yet. Push the wave first. Get control of mid wave and then try and leak over. You know, Bwipo sells ult, like though. Lucia sells ult, well, though. Throw out little bits of poke. They yeah, so they are going to go to Baron. Nice they do melt it pretty quickly with Corky. Also hitting level 16 there, oh, so wait! Inspired was able to grab the drag. I didn't see him doing that. Oh, wait. They're focusing Inspired? What a great ult by Quad! Oh, they got to be careful of Yon. But Oh, wait. Are they going to grab Umpty? Wait, that bomb from Corky was mad. Flies away. Masu's still burning, but he ain't gonna burn up just yet. Umpty with the little of the wall. Busio <laughs> that might have killed Masu. That won't finish Masu. Inspired stepping into another one of those traps set by. Oh, Cordia Jago's in at full health with Yon. Oh, they're just gonna clean him up. They just clean him up, right? Did Inspired not hold? Just ran him over. In a game of scaling, Smolder's king. You see that explosion? Wait, that was so crazy. Bye. Super good engage by 4JJ. At full health, they, they were, it was nice no way for them to kill him. Yon, and he upgrades to a Lord Dominix off of that too. Four items. I'm, I'm guessing Inspired didn't have ult. Right now, they're still sitting at Baron, threatening the Baron with just 4JJ and APA. Oh yeah, they're gonna get this though. Uh, it's late enough into the game. Here. He's got his Leandry's burn. He can help burn this thing down and oh, grab yeah. the Baron back for TL. Flowers, we have been So the game's not over, but that that's rough. Very first summer LCS game. And remember, once this one's done, we're getting at least one more of these. <laughs> this is best of three. I'm, I am liking the best of threes. Okay, so let's watch oh, this again. Best of three. Man, this was fun. I'm just looking around for a cheeky little... So I think, I think that's actually Zabling. crazy that's good. I would have never thought to do that. Soak that one up. But they kill this. All right, this so Corjay is full health. So that's super, super good. Oh, yeah, the smolder just hurts so bad. Ah, uh, yeah. So they end up getting Yon, but just dealt so much damage on those Qs. That's unfortunate. I really thought Inspired flashed in there to ult. He's trying to get out with a teleport before they can interrupt them. No! Lucio <laughs> banged his head on the wall too soon. Oh, Wait, that's so heartbreaking. The oh, I think they just lost the game right there. Two flowers. Your base is now wide open. That's so and you rough. Just whiffed everything. On yeah, the they even used yeah, the uh, Rolling Soul not ult. Ideal for the fly quest not boys. ideal at all. Impact escapes. With an absolutely oh, that was, oh. I don't even know if them getting that would have mattered. Because they would have taken so long to kill the uh, Zack. They, they, they probably would have lost mid inhib anyway. And Busio and Whippo are both poked to about half HP. Masu's yeah. dead. It looks he like Tail's just going to end here. APA and Yon just do so much damage. Such a tanky Nautilus with Zack. Red turret destroyed. Yes, sir. Now that second inhibitor. You know, FlyQuest really had a chance Team there. Liquid just got two tier threes and the inhibitors behind him for that attempt that on rough. impact in the bottom lane. <laughs> I I know impact doesn't type a lot, but he'll throw in a question mark or something every once in a while. Oh, that's worth <laughs> at least two question marks, one for uh, each inhibitor. I, I yeah, at least, least two question marks. <laughs> I at least need to see the cam and see if he was laughing after that one. Um, because that that's huge. Two inhibitors now, so much extra pressure for. All right, so let's see. see. With the hex gates, they just want to get right back out. They still have a minute of Baron buff to try and push with. Fired, hoping for a comeback um, play. Double TP. Oh, double TP. Wait, They're triple TP? It's gonna triple TP for impact. They sent so many guys earlier and they couldn't get it. Now they're gonna try to send the whole team. Impact oh, okay, so they didn't get him. Wow, that was aggressive. The kill completes successfully fly quest through the whole kitchen sink that is crazy <laughs> if at first you don't succeed <laughs> try try again <laughs> you know honestly i feel honored about the impact video. they're like all right we're not gonna you know can you even be upset they send like times. everyone down there i feel like you just gotta be like yeah you know i deserve that one of the backs though this oh who was dead might end up being an even trade after all mr kobe Umpty and Core JJ are here for the lockdown, oh. and APA is going to provide yeah, the high super dead. to complete the kill. Uh, Whippo wow. is going to waste as much of their time as he can, but he won't do a whole lot more than that. One more Actually, he dealt quite some damage on Umpty there. Trade at the end of the day, but Impact's going to be alive here in That's interesting. Seconds. I wonder why Whippo stayed. I didn't. I didn't, wasn't watching down the there. Truth, I've been told all along, flowers, top laners are just food. They're just another <laughs> camp. 
Yep, they're it's just on another their camp. island until somebody else's battleship <laughs> arrives and decides that's their island now. Both teams send the navy uh, down towards these isolated top layers. Ow. And now Interesting that all five quests went top for some reason. Advantage for the next 30 seconds. They're pushing down the last I, they're gonna lose this open. turret. This yeah. This, fly quest? this tower is gone for sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Horn sounds off. Okay. Right Wait, he got melted. Where did APA go? As Team Liquid overplays their hand and FlyQuest is ready to put Wait, I, wish, I, I hope they show me that again. He got melted with the Senna ult and the Ord ult and the another ult from the quad. Quickly for FlyQuest, and honestly, the home guard right out of the fountain got them in range. Bustio is getting a little low here, but. You really do have to respect yeah, range on flight. War mods, so I'm guessing he's just gonna start healing up. Long, and then the Ace will yeah, look at that. Look at that healing. Closing in. Here comes Mom. Yon has to oh, it it's Barb's dead. Now. Wait. He runs the yes, he has the ult that time. The they need a little bit more damage to finish oh, off the enemy great. Jumper. By oh, impact. Still oh, a little bit more, but it look at it. Oh, look at it. Inspired. He's so low. Okay, they get Busio. Oh, Yon got him. He finds another with a double kill back over to the smolder. Quad should burn him off. Wow. Over to quad, two dead on fly quest. That's crazy. And APA is still dead. Fight. What is this madness? Are they Flowers? not just the LC is, is back, baby? We're back. <laughs> oh, we're we, back. And LT still so gets dragged. And, and Team Liquid, they're gonna pick oh, up quad just completed Rabadons. Okay, go to soul point. The cap of death. We ride action packed. Number one. Oh, I will lie. I really thought that TL was just going to end this game, but minutes for sure. Let's go for this is getting close again. This is amazing. Anyway, we finished this game before 40. Let's go. We're rock. Let's take a look at the chase here, though. So inspired split second ult again. He has quick fingers for that. And I cannot believe he survived impact here. He survives with the impact. Impact just needed like five more damage. And it makes Yon have to flash Yon in here. Is able to explode Busio, which is, yeah, so Yon is immediately dead afterwards, too. Or Yon flashes in to try and get that finish off. Wow, that changed the whole fight. If Impact would have been able to kill like Inspired there, Kindred totally different fight. Alive, these small margins making this game incredibly exciting. Dude, I am loving this game number one. 36 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. It's 29 kills. We're only a little bit off from a kill per minute in a pro game. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. Honestly, I uh, I was not prepared for this one. Let's go. This is what I'm what talking about. What a banger. About. So this true. This is what it's all about right Sir here. Buddies this is, is absolutely correct. Legends. And FlyQuest currently has just the <laughs> smallest of leads, but considering it's an extra one of the Hextech... All right. Busio's is engaging cool. here. Busio on a Yon? With a knock up? Wait. It's the and he's gone. Oh. Busio with another clutch. Busio needs to be on Orn more. He has been smacking time, these. But if you remember oh, wait, Impact's getting their in-hip, though. Aaron, Yon could not flap all the way through that wall, and he actually flashed to make sure he could get to the other side. It's the exact same spot that that Ooh, happened. Ooh, okay, so they didn't get the in-hip. They just got the turret. Goes down as Busio tags him. Now, oh, Flyquest, interesting. Because the Yon's dead? They're thinking they can just melt this? Oh, they get it. They just grab it. Got the third Baron of the game taken. FlyQuest here. They've got upgraded. I don't know if that's considered. Ready to fire off as well. Just a nor that, Aurelius like under their noses and everything. They knew they were on it. They just couldn't stacks. do anything about it. Generally, when either one of these champions hits 500 stacks, you assume he's going to win. Well, what happens when the Both unending of them have stacking 500. dragon meets the other unending stacking dragon? Well, maybe it's the one that has the stacking Senna on their team also. They ah. have an extra tool to the scaling fight. That is no fair. Masu so, Orin just upgraded seven, everyone, right? The range at level 17. There's 13 level up issue, himself uh, and 14, 56. I think so, right? Continually increasing here. And it's a full build Senna. We consider yeah. the support item a full item, uh, basically, because <laughs> Bloodsong, even after all the nerfs, is still so good. So, uh, so that Senna should yeah. also not be disrespected in these. So let's fights. see. It really matters about who has a good engage so here, right? Full build like if you can just uh, like absolutely kill Yon Quad or something like that, you win. But if Ooh. oh, FlyQuest is too far. FlyQuest, yo, oh, you're too far. I think Teal's gonna punish you. Really? Oh yeah. Let's see if they can do more. Team Liquid is on the march. FlyQuest okay. disengaging. They don't want anything else to do with this. And yeah, that was RJJ just a little bit too Team deep on FlyQuest's part. Captain hits the hook onto Whippo, punishes that rumble. 
for the aggressive stance. Ooh, so are they gonna be able to stop him here? Tower, had flash, I mean, APA is not there, so liquid, it's a four v four. They're marching towards the fly quest gates. Mm. Look at the mini map, though. You don't have APA. The wow. Yon just deals so much damage. They have to kill him again first. If they can get another pick on him, that might be different. Impact just grabs top of him. So FlyQuest will have to pull some magic out here. Well, Impact is already going to take out the first inhibitor up here in the top lane. Oh, it doesn't quite get the inhib. Absolutely shred him. Impact is really just seconds. not tanky against physical damage. Two of these Wow, Impact went back. Impact is dead now, right? The ulti. Yeah. Oh my god, the Spire just killed Impact. He's not respecting the Kindred. The Kindred the with lane. Kraken and three other it. fully built items. That's crazy. Like chase, that. down, chase down, Quad's got the upgraded ultimate. He was thinking Ooh. about a head chase. The rest of the team was a Wait, little bit Wait, Ripple's top now. Ripple's pushing in top. Already teleported up into the top lane at the same time. The rest of FlyQuest That was a really big around so here. They're using their main advantage to apply pressure on the other side of the map. Drags up in 45 is seconds. Keep me back into the base just to make sure that Whippo does get answered by someone somewhere, somehow, some way. But Team Liquid, they go in the enemy base it's true we have so they know that inspires there Both top laners are just the extra camp for the other team both, yes both oh wait kindred has more than four sacks now i don't know i don't know when he got it but he has more than four sacks so he was able to proc his uh additional attack range passive forging some extra camps inspired here also lying in wait couple of traps here set from fly quest by the way i'll have you know Ooh. i was right we're over 40 minutes into the game now I never got any game. flowers. Oh, oh APA flash. APA oh, Bubba's dead. To the side, to Wait, that's so rough. They force him back into the stage Impact the TP'd into. Okay, they got Core JJ. Oh, TL just ends it here. Oh, even if he played by Yon. They got themselves a three for one. And they've got to go for the base here. Yeah, Busio, Busio, sticking around Dragon, ulted and everything, and it looked beautiful, but uh, being used good right flash by out. APA kept Collect him alive long enough. He's able to kill the Whippo. Nope, Yon stopping. Yep, all you gotta do is stop oh, these guys from dead. back to the base. APA can destroy both GG. of the turrets. Yon that is a GG. I think there it's GG even no if they didn't kill the Aurelian Soul. <laughs> to be able to defend this. Surely not. He'll try to take up a defensive position. Oh, that was rough APA that the root hit the minion. Stretching strikes. And that's the it was such a good game. 19 to 19. You know, FlyQuest really had a Ladies shot there. Gentlemen, may I remind you, we got more on the way. Team wow. Game one. That was game one, bro. You like that? You like that? You got a little taste. Well, we've got more coming up for you right That's after That's crazy. A best of three here. First game and scaling to the moon. Okay, so what do we want to see different here in this game from FlyQuest if they want to tie this series up? <laughs> Again, it looks like we might see that same top jungle combination for lots of CC, lots of engaged potential. So Zach and right. Skarner are drastically like different bands here. here. Yeah, we're getting pretty similar. So they let Skarner uh, through. From both sides. Obviously, the big adjustment is... It looks like Masu Skarner and Busio are good. I'm actually so glad Busio's back on Orn. Now, he had such a good Orn game. Because of that... But they gave over yeah, the Ash. I like that and Tristana. Wow. All right, so we got Corky. Corky right. versus Trist. You're talking about the premier AD mid laner. Van so Mord here? Mode. That's super interesting. Uh -huh. Final pick here. I don't, I don't know if I've Four seen Mord in a pro game. What are we going to see? I saw some people. I was checking the threads, man, checking posts man. in between the games. People were pretty critical of Inspired's Mark Farming in the previous game on the Kindred. Not exactly hitting uh, crazy threads yes. on that. But it's oh, Karthus. I'm going to love seeing the Karthus. What a scaling comp right here. I'm really excited to see uh, Skarner as well. All right. Ooh, we Ash Kalista. Ash in the bottom lane. Double Hail Blaze, maybe? Lots of threat on these. Do you think we might end up seeing a lane swap? Triple ADC uh, I mean, with two we, tanks. We very much That's could. disgusting. I personally hope that we don't. Uh, but However, yeah, the Carthus is also gonna going to melt half their team. Ash, uh, it's this will be interesting. Brutal, super early on, so we will keep track of both teams looking at the level ones. Uh, now All we're right, see let's see. Up, though. Look at this bottom side of the minimap. Team Liquid are going to head up the river for our little bit of a, of a party. Oh, APA, APA just walks up. JJ are going to be the ones to face check the brush. APA got better a losing the most health. Now FlyQuest is going to find themselves in a pincer attack from Team Liquid. Ooh. But TL still going to be worried about these health bars. APA down to 300. Oh, Core JJ oh. at about wow. 200. The Ash still trying to get out. Oh. A little bit more poke comes through. FlyQuest almost got some kills there. Team Liquid critically low on health. Oh. Have to keep running. 
Whippo and Inspired still going to chase these guys you down. You think they're going to be able to back? does have that Q. He can keep throwing those rocks. Because they have to, right? He does right? not have an incredibly long range, but can still contribute a little bit of extra damage. Oh, I thought Masu was going to be able to stop the back the for Ash. Fire's got a Dark Harvest stack off of Core JJ as well. And Dark Harvest? The flash, plus, they get the end Oh, yeah, Karth is Dark Harvest. I love this. So this is a very good ARAM start for FlyQuest. Mm -hmm. to be able to get this Karthus farming now empty okay so now I'll be able to see quad on uh Corky as well over, uh, to the other side so he's gonna be able to start off and I'll be able to see inspired bit. on uh Karthus this will be fun get a little bit of a lane swap Ooh, poor impact as well so they can poor top laner that brutal Lucio has been able to get some farm pretty safely because Ash and Calista had to back the after the uh every single the level day, one basically at MSI yeah and uh and FlyQuest at least will be able to avoid I that. I think Maokai is going to try and changes on this patch, go down and the damage reduction on top of dive? turrets in the early five minutes of the game. Plus, your first turret wow. has been doubled from 150 up to Oh, wow, Busio. So I'm so sorry. That looked, that looked rough just to watch. Can get all the way through the turret, and you get a bigger reward for your opponents trying to do that. And it's not a complete lane swap coming out of the side of FlyQuest. Just Masu moving Ooh. up to top. Ooh, do you think, do you think Inspired Nobody saw that? For this. Yeah, it's just going to be Inspired trying to guarantee that he takes it. And he and Inspired does grab it. Bumpty, not fast enough on the Bramble Smash. Inspired going to feel great about that when you were talking. Yeah, that kind of feels like a waste for uh, Umpty. Advantages. He's already up. He's down and he's double down and farm at this point, and he's not going to be able to come down and kill Busio yeah, either. Completely warped this game. Starting out with everybody uh -oh. mid. Busio's just it dead? Died. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. He's leaving. Out, allowed Busio a lot of extra ah. experience. Meanwhile, on the other Ooh. side, he's back also. Gonna Wait. Skarner's looking so strong. Face, he's a level up. charges him into the wall. And it's so dangerous to be next to the wall against new Skarner. You have to think about it in the same way as if you were playing against Poppy or Graves. <laughs> Any champion that takes advantage of a wall bang like that. Skarner I like how just he point put Graves in there. The wall with e, and it's so dangerous, man. The burst I mean, I guess with the Q and everything, but I don't know. I don't feel like... So, I personally am not scared of the Q from Graves compared to the E from Skarner or Poppy. Like, look at that. Uh, to contest oh, that's so rough. Ripple's just absolutely uh, and, stomping and on Impact. On impact well. still level one. Then he goes back up to top side Scuttlecrab here and continues wow. his first round clearing to meet up with Umpty towards his top side where the top did it again. side has been brutal with Whippo. Impact can barely get into uh, EXP impact range. Into the wall. Now is going to have Inspired. You think they're going to dive with Inspired? These Krugs. So yeah. Karthus farming is going to be ahead three camps as Umpty tries Ooh, to finish up. Ooh, FlyQuest is really kind of taking over this early game, it feels camps. like. With the exception of bot lane. Whippo is playing this so aggressively against Impact. He knows he's level three against level one, and the stack cannot do anything to him. But now back in the bottom lane, Jan and Kojic oh, are good route. to try to use the power of this double marksman, double Halo Blade lane. Oh, Whippo, oh and stack. Impact's dead. He might have flashed he almost... over, but there's still too much trouble here for Impact. It's wow, first one going over to Karthus. And Buipo served it up on a silver platter. Oh. finally answered the question, how many times do you have to slam Zack into the wall before you can actually <laughs> kill him? And it was five. Five? On screen. <laughs> Best five number ever, five. Plus a Karthus, and then you can finally kill the Zack. Nicely done. Impact did survive a long time there. Flash for flash up there that was really good. Laners. If you go even on summoner spells and you still accomplish your goal, yeah. you're feeling pretty good. So FlyQuest, gonna enjoy that one. Meanwhile, Ooh. talking about flashes. Flash from Yo? Forced back underneath the turret. No. You mentioned how oh, early on that bit of a lane swap technique was used to oops, try oops, to avoid oops. the pressure, the power of this double marksman. But now it's the FlyQuest bot lane who are unfortunately staring down the very same barrel. And, and honestly, if they can just keep this pressure up, keep getting fired us money, so much uh, form right now. And closer to a first or a bonus gold cash in. That is the dream. But He's almost the got top form as a jungle. Be an issue here. Remember, he Ooh, beautiful played by Yon. Dark harvest stack. So uh, I assume, let me see if he got one off of the Zack as well. Kind of cool that Masu was yeah, able to go pick up that soul from uh, the Krug. Now as well as the extra kill gold. So you see just... Sork shoes Ooh. upgrade rush here first for Inspired. Nice little this route. allows the Karthus with the extra move speed to cruise between Oh, do you think Bribo's going to get caught out here? Very high impact level one, but now Whiplow 
He's trying to get away. Notice how they're standing in between him and the wall, so he can't try to tunnel through it. Whippo's trying oh, yeah. to get but Team Liquid's got the All right, so Whippo, Whippo does get punished there. With him, but it ain't gonna happen. APA gets paid. Oh, so wow. APA got the gold? Kill on the That's rough for FlyQuest. I think APA is just going to be able to carry this game again. APA played so well last game. Oh, Boozo's dead. Wait! Wait! And Gorgia's just dead. I'm really surprised. I thought Yon was going to kill Masu or Lucio. Wow, and Inspired is 3 and 0. Oh. Well, 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 Parthus is up like 1,000 gold. Want to make the most out of this best of three and not go home oh. with a zero two start to the LCS. This is a that's actually a little surprising. I feel like Korja J and Yon were just playing masterfully. That was so well done. I wish I kind of watched what happened right before that that gank. Maybe they were just a little bit too deep, a little bit too aggressive, because they were doing so good. Trying to be the only early spot for TL that is supposed to yeah, have Yeah, is about to be huge. Yeah. It's supposed to have a lot of pressure. You know, on Karthus. He's not, he's a 6 now too. Early part of your composition with this huge Karthus. And, and that's going to continue. So ABA is now top with Skarner. Their composition has 3 marks. An impact went mid Karthus for, really you know, to match game, quad. He's 3 and 0. He's already really far ahead. Yeah. Karthus does this again, gets up to 5 or 6 kills. He presses R. All those marks and then lose half health before the fight even begins. Yeah. yeah. With the sword shoes rush, with the magic penetration, all these marks. Oh, and he went dark seal too. With one ultimate, and if they take any damage for anywhere else. Oh, quad's fine. Good dope. job. Yep. Corgi does seem really good. Like not when I play him, but when I watch and other people quad, play him correctly, he looks uh, really good. Well. Oh, and Busio's just getting there. bullied again. Or Busio. So, Stuck down here with the. Uh, Double Halo Blades bot lane. Yeah, mid lane feels a lot more shaky this game. Last time around, everybody, they were both just trying to knock each other out they the entire time. another plate here, too. This time around, all right, cool. We'll farm it. No big deal. We're Not even nine minutes, yeah. and they very, took down four plates bot lane. Marksman champions in mid lane, but now up here in top side, it's Whippo and Masu working together to get themselves some plate turf plates. Well. Whippo is level seven. Impact is level four. Look at this. Uh, LCS on live patch. Try this at home. <laughs> I would say try the Karthus side of it. Try, yeah, be, you want to be Skarner. You yeah. don't want to be Zach right now. <laughs> That's fair. Some trouble. He gets slammed back into the wall. Oh, his impact is dead. Yeah. Wow, poor impact. And Whippo, Whippo dies again, though. APA and Umpty, make it an even I think that's okay, though, because they gave Karthus over another goal, kill. But it's team wow, nine minute? Finally got turret? Yeah, Yon and... They're yeah. just kind of letting Yon and CoreJJ do whatever they want. Open, so the Are they just that... There as well that strong? The no, they just can't match them? <laughs> or are they, are they saying that <laughs> it's not going to matter late game? I don't know if that's right. They even be right. Um, let's see what else they can get back here. At least APA going to get some two up on the top side. In oh my goodness. Flowers, this Karthus is just going to be the story. He yeah, this Karthus is huge. Zero. Cleanly finished the clear up to another wave that's been pushed <laughs> up to the tower and had collected another... Uh, let's see, what's he going to get on this back? Off the second Ooh! Stack. No, five Dark Harvest stacks now. Yeah. After the ultimate. Oh, yeah, I'm his, excited to see what this uh, Garth is going to do late game. This is bounty. Four, zero, zero. This man is absolutely rich in this game. For I, the Maokai, it, it feels pretty bad. This dude is outpacing you. He's outganking you. He is outplaying you so far. Yeah, yeah this is what jungle feels like sometimes. Like, Maokai is not even playing bad. It's just Garth is playing really good. At least he can also build the Faded Ashes. So both of them have the... Uh, the faded Ashes is <laughs> such a strong <laughs> item. Go. I also get the OP item. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Karthus also has like five other uh, very strong. You know, yeah, Karthus is so far ahead here. Seal, but we don't worry about Umpty is focused on the objectives here. Collect the dragon for Team Liquid. Again, this game is not out of your reach. Yeah, it's really annoying to deal with a fed Karthus, but it is not the end of the world. We saw how close the last game went and how long the last game went. Yep. It's just that the. Uh, the comps there, they, they have a, a little bit less of the possible scaling options. When you invest in a Kalista Ash lane, 
it is not exactly supposed to start out. Whippo gonna go bully impact yeah. again. Alright, Whippo. Arming his rock, but does not want to commit to E. Remember that your your rock timer pauses while you're in your Ishtal impact charge. So you can you can easily grab the rock, oh. go for your charge, no matter what the timer feels like, you'll still be able to start getting those smell what the rock is cooking auto attacks. <laughs> That's interesting, I didn't know that. Pod, stuck back underneath the turret, just sort of flashing those emotes, trying to uh -huh, uh -huh. trying to dare him in a little bit. Uh -huh. Well, he's made a good use of the E so far this To be fair, APA is still ahead of quad. Receiving end so many times. AP has just been playing so Wick well every game. Doing the intelligent thing here, rotating their duo lane up into the mid lane so they can try and make use of the power duo while they still can. Infiltrating enemy jungle, getting the deep jungle vision. You want to keep track of that Karthus farming. Maybe you can interrupt it uh, on one of the rotations there. Try and make your incision into the jungle. Put a stop to it. At least put him under some pressure. PA recognizing, okay, don't want to deal with this Karthus. 4 zero, and zero. I also do not want to, want to deal with this Karthus. Team Liquid taking control over the top side river right now. Remember that they oh, didn't teleport. get any of that teleport first set of Wow, Jonas okay. is getting more and more plates, though. Here comes the though. Buzio, ready for that, but it ain't gonna work. He gets stunned up, so we can't Oh, Buzio got stunned on the old. Just barely doesn't get oh, it's fire. Super now, dead. To get away. Meanwhile, the Requiem coming down. APA's in some danger, flashing away, trying to keep the Requiem did do quite a bit of damage. He's stuck in the pit. Oh, and actually, I was like, oh, wait, is APA gonna get away here? taking the money. Now back in the mid lane. Great engage by Tia, the impact. One, Wait, Yono, such wrong. a good old on Core JJ kept him alive. Anyway, FlyQuest got themselves the six to three. Unfortunately, Yon wasn't quite able to get out of that. Garner Ultimate trumps the Callisto. It's kind of heartbreaking. I thought that was a really good engage by Impact. Right back in, they get the extra kill. And with APA, I I want to click on him to try and see what the cooldown on the rocket jump was there, because he invested the flash yeah. to avoid the damage and get deeper into the pit, but then had no way of getting outside of the pit. So maybe in replay we can see on the W cooldown or see if he yeah. can get an E resets to try and get an explosion. Uh, Great ult by the Ash. Let's take a look here. Because it started out with the Skarner engage onto Yawn, onto the Callista, which got pretty low. But then our attention towards the APA side. He flashed away from the Busio charge, but yeah, I guess we don't have the information on That was actually so well played by Whippo, getting right onto the Callista. So then flash plus the kill on the Tristan, it's even better. And then Whippo is able to answer here. Boom! Gets off the Skarner ult. I didn't notice it. It was the uh, Skarner ult. ult. That's why that looked so weird when I first watched it. I was like, oh, I really thought Yon was going to get away. No, Whippo, that was a great Skarner ult. starts charging that animation, you are not interrupting his ultimate. I think it's one thing that some players don't fully respect and recognize yet is that is inevitable, right? It is Thanos' that is inevitable. He is going to snap anybody that's in range of that thing. So right now, Whippo, he has that That's so satisfying to watch from Calista. Winter. This is kind of the core item for top lane Skarner that you usually see. And it's very, very powerful. Yep, certainly. Is. Oh, really? So much Which is approach? There with the constant shield, easily able to proc it on the Skarner. Meanwhile, Team Liquid, even though it looked pretty rough there, they yeah. lost the flash and the kill on the, onto APA. Uh, they also lost their kill onto Yon. They can kind of say that before the replay started, it was nice that they got their kill on Karthus and cut down on the Dark Seal stacks at least. A little bit, but that doesn't really slow Karthus down that much. Oh, here we go. The Ornhorn summoned up, throwing Yon up into the air. And Yon died again. Oh, no. To knock him down. FlyQuest, they find their pick. It's going to translate into a tier one. Man, poor Yon. At the same time, he was playing so good early jungle. game. The Karthus is up 40 far. Yeah, that just continues. That's right. So if you get any sort of lead on this, then you just turbo farm both sides. And you see there. Wow. Jungling, okay. And came over for Great job by Impact. So in order to force Core JJ Love to see that. Position. So then Core JJ had to end up flashing and loses another summoner spell on the side of Team Liquid. Flowers, after our hmm. banger opener to this series, this one a lot more muted. Because both teams know there is this, this giant dread hanging over <laughs> the side of TO where they're like, oh my, this 
Karthus is level 11 already, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Karthus is just uh, an issue. Level 2 ultimate is going to be coming in. The worst part about Karthus, it's not like you can just kill him and it just gets rid of the, the issue. You Pope kill him and he still has time to ult. He has his Leandries on top of the Sork Shoes that you were already talking about, so the extra burn. Just on three Dark Seal sacks. going to hit you. This guy hits like a truck. Wow, they're starting Pope to drag. Pope oh, they're melting it. Oh, they're melting this answer. with the Kalista and the Tristana. Oh, cleansed by Masu? For Team Liquid to fire back. Buzio here soaking Ooh. damage on the front line. But now Whippo is joined up with the rest of FlyQuest. Team Liquid, they don't want the honest 5v5. That was a really good pull from Impact. The Drake is their prize. It has a smart lesson from Team Liquid to FlyQuest of the importance of those small timings of pushing waves. The reason they were confident in burning the dragon, Whippo was under tower on the wave that Team Liquid had previously pushed on bot side of the map. So then with that kind of like pseudo vision, extra pressure of the wave, they burn down Dragon. They even give a bit of extra damage uh, and Maokai ultimate here in order to burn the cleanse and force the rest of Fly Quest away. Then as the Skarner is coming over, they respect the okay. extra so they're gonna get the mid here. And TEL, despite being at the deficit, were able to maneuver themselves into... Oh wait, I guess not. Two. Dropping Herald in mid here is not going to oh. get it. Core JJ's got nothing. Core Wait. JJ. Oh, okay. Core JJ holds it. Wait, doesn't matter. Look at Whippo. And he's going to be left behind now. He even uses the barrier core. Oh. Oh, using the barrier there, buddy. He is dead to right. I'm actually so glad this Yon was Scarner able to survive one of these engages. Poor Yon has just been and not bullied all game for after yeah, laning phase. Thing. Because he was doing the bullying in laning phase. Oh, how the tur tables have turned? Turned have tabled. Ooh, disgusting to watch Justana just melt turrets. He went a little bit early, uh, just kind of reaching it, uh, reaching for it. A lot of times with Skarner, you got to have that trust in your teammates yeah. that they will hit the setup CC for you. So then oh, wow. APA, like is he going to try and jump on quad? With your ulti. Exactly. The trail oh, with yeah. I see Yon and uh, Core JJ coming down. Or, I'm sorry. Ubti and uh, Core JJ coming down. Click. You've got to have teammates usually to set that up. Or you set it up yourself by slamming him into the wall with E. But now Quad's got a backup here in the bottom lane. It's team Liquid. Quad was able to Instead smell it. Like Look at him. Case, the Corky got he knew something was happening. Forward a little bit too far. The TP from FlyQuest. We're going to send Quad up. Oh, and then he the TP's top. Now. Impact still only level 9. Has a Sunfire Cape at least on the Zac. Finds a little bit of quick burst there on Oh, do you quad. think Impact just solo is Quad? To have more men nearby. Quad is not really afraid of Zac 100 to zeroing him. Umpty at least here to reinforce. Actually, the Impact just did a lot of damage. Out for nothing. Arrow flies through. Honestly, that ult skin, through. the ult uh, dragon that was circling the ult for that skin on Ash was beautiful. Away. Yeah, they also they had the ward on the Krugs. Plus okay, so let's see. Masu's here, so up here. Zach's gonna engage with the Umpty ult being a possibility. Forcing the flash into the Corky. Oh! A TP coming in now from APA. TP from APA. Requiem what an ult. It doesn't really hurt enough to threaten a whole lot of anything. Kind of just a, hey, you guys don't want to keep this up. Warning ulti. Yeah, Warning ulti. Um, he got one Dark Harvest stack, so it's not the worst thing in the world uh, to pop ultimate. But maybe TL see this as a possible opening. Hey. Oh, and then, then other TP. I guess that's an impact? Something. Yeah. Frozen heart now completed. They traded uh, TPs. Well. Quad went top and back went bot. Items, but I think in a game against three marksmen, building frozen Skarner heart just seems so strong. Damn good, even if there is just throwing no rocks around and everything. Item. So I'm liking the purchases we're seeing so far. Yep. Up there in the top side from him. Again, the Sunfire Cape on impact is going to give you a lot of value against the Corky and the Senna. But it still feels bad when there's Also, that Malignance on Karthus just feels completed. disgusting. He's got the Malignance. He's got the Leandries. This yep. guy is going to hurt, man. And it's not just because of the fact that he's a mage into an armor builder. He's a mage with really high DPS, right? Like, this guy is scary for the Zack. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Trinity that. Force on Corky really is just the move. I don't know if I've ever uh, even tried that before. Malignance, malignance, malignance. I guess we, it's hard to keep track of Karthus Ultimates when you cut your malignance as well, so we'll see about that. All and right, so, so I mean, TL has two drags. That's the win con. You know what I mean? Being able to just one, stack drags. Two tanks on one. Yep, they're trying to deal with Whippo here. But I, don't I don't think, think they're going to be able to get really Whippo, bad. right? I actually think that he feels pretty confident in this uh, in this 1v2. You yeah, saw Bruce what he did there when Impact now. went to use the elastic slingshot on him. Whippo can actually knock Zack out of his out of his jump the same way that like a Jana Tornado or a Gragas hmm. Belly can. And you can just grab him in the air and slam him into the ground with a Stone Cold 
stunner. It feels really cool. Stone to do. Cold Stunner. And that just means that Impact is going to have a hard time trying to engage on this guy unless he does it from the shadows, from the brush, right? So, still at two and a half thousand. The drag's almost quest. up. We got our next Drake you know, spawning here in 15 seconds. Team Liquid. How much do you think TL will fight for this? So far, if they can grab it seems next like one, they know that Soul Point would feel great. FlyQuest knows the same, and they want to make sure they stop it from happening. Nice. Wow, Buipo. APA has the rocket jump away. Meanwhile, Umpty now the target, flashing out of the way of the Ornhorn to guarantee that he stays alive. But Team Liquid now have no control over this bomb. Oh, by Masu. Oh, APA. 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 Buipo. The Skarner will not be denied. I guess it, at least it went to Bwipo instead of going over to Inspired again. That kill on the enemy mid lane. Yeah, Wait, are they just going to Baron? They got APA, and they're just like, ah, oh, they have nothing left. From the Carthus, uh, to be fair, oh, the majority of their gold, I guess, is on uh, no APA. Also, no flash on the Tristana again. FlyQuest. Easy time grabbing wow, yeah, they here. just and grabbed honestly, Baron here. They can try and run team that was a great pick by Whippo then. Trying to get some quick counter pushes in here. Yep. Hopefully they can in. Rich aid by Young. Zach pushed on bottom side. Yon's able to get the outer tower in Oh, mid. and then a good trade by Impact. So, around for that you know, FlyQuest got a uh, Baron there, but TL got quite a bit as well. Drake as well. I don't think it quite oh, matches up to Baron, even with this Drake. For TL for but you could argue that that's really good. Actually, it might be worth it. This is so point for a lot of your territory of the map, but honestly, counterplay of two towers picked up, which were fairly low, plus the dragon for TL. Look, it's a great counterplay to to the enemy getting Baron, but counterpoint to your counterplay, mm. the enemy still got Baron, <laughs> and that's uh, yeah. pretty big problem. Yeah. Two minutes into a game of League of Legends, as Wimbo having Baron is pretty rough, the fly quest but it's better than them getting Baron and not being able to do anything. Lane. Red Bull Bear right, like you gave up Baron, but like you were able to get some turrets and again soul point. Mid lane, Not bad. It could have been so much worse. And ready for another potential tier two push. Ooh. Ash arrow looking for Masu, but doesn't find him. Masu fast oh. reactions there to avoid getting that Baron recall saved his trouble. life. Not for that, but did still have the clan, so should have just been able to disengage anyway. Oh, do you think inspired and Masu are dead here? one of those infernal cinders to give him the extra little. No, it doesn't look like it. Burst of move speed. As Busio now also joining Wait, are they going to turn it on uh, they knew Team Liquid wanted some kind of a punish there. They get away for now. Ornhorn coming in. Great hold by Busio. Oh, he into the Whipple ult. Oh, he's going to be your first to die. Oh, he's and dead. Oh, he's dead. APA and Impact looking maybe for a counterattack angle here. But Wait, Whipple. Oh, Whipple, you're crazy. This Garner looks so strong. Oh, APA was able to get a trade, though. He's trying to hop back out and Wait, APA? But the knock up into the air might be enough. APA, he's too bad. Whippo got another stun. Elastic Slave Shot will make the turn. He's gonna burn. Oh, it's Ace. With another stun. So do not give Whippo Scarner is the. Oh, wait, look at Quad. That's crazy. Flyquest. That looks so rough. Dicey there for a minute as kills got traded back and forth. APA. A yeah, APA did so well. Try to outplay there, but Team Liquid now eight thousand gold. Scarner, bro. Just didn't have the firepower. Is my question to you. Now, yes, sir. How long is Busio going to be on Orn duty? Because the Orn. <laughs> yeah. Has been so Where was Orn? Busio's Orn has been amazing. So Look at this double knockup. These picks. And of course, uh, Brippo just needs to play more Skarner, I guess. That was amazing. He's been playing amazing. He's the one that pins uh, APA inside. Yeah, look at this. The alcove. And Beautiful. Towards the end of the fight, I feel like Lucio Orn is very. So APA getting Masu is actually uh, really good there. I actually thought he might be able to get Busio. Like he was playing really well. Here. It was big in the first game, even though they lost. It has been big here as well. Although there are ah, what a great fight for FlyQuest. And other Skarner like this. Guys, Skarner might be broken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I honestly expected us to probably see our most Skarner picks of this split in week one. Because once teams learn what Skarner looks very balanced. He yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. Skarner. Skarner He's looking really strong right he now. A little bit of nerf on this patch. We're on live patch, by the way. Yup. Oh, oh yeah. APA uh, just, yep. Does APA just melt this, right? Nerf With his bomb? <laughs> That's my emote. <laughs> I didn't even need his bomb. Oh, okay, no. Okay, there. Yep. Wow, he melted that. <laughs> and he got away before Whippo. <laughs> this is post nerf Skarner, so here yep. you go. 
Uh, oh, LCM interesting. Try this at home. Still good. Still very, very good. APA trying to get away there. Remember, oh, he must have saw Masu and everything abilities. coming up. Have CC on them, but the Q and the W are only soft CC with the slows. You have to use the E or the R if you want to interrupt the teleport there. Although he was able to ding him with the damage on that seismic bastion, it still doesn't matter. APA escapes with a nicely timed TP. Oh. Well, here we go. Uh oh. Requiem Quad punished. Wow, that Requiem almost killed, killed Opti. Trying to stay alive. APA picking up a kill on Quad. It's a nice shutdown, but it will be traded one for one. They Opti almost got Opti there. Opti, they get their man. So, Opti here, the general, I think as long as he just recalls, no one's going to go looking for him. Nope, yes. Gone. gone, gone, gone. As, l as l oh, oh, there's no way. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, but these, these I think that was actually a pretty good trade uh, from APA. Too. Like Inspired has just been perma farming while also delivering massive damage to the rest of the team. This is, Let's this see is like here. a cooldown game for FlyQuest. Like, oh, Void Staff completed uh, for Karthus. Take a deep breath after the craziness Six seal stacks? of the first game of this series. Since the early game of this, uh, this game went so well for them, They've been able to relax mm. and feels like this player just has uh, so much farm themselves over the course of game number two. And they have a Senna too, and so they like Senna's just really up. dominate late game. What I'm gonna already say is a banger in game number three. I mean, they are 7,000 gold ahead. There's a chance they could lose the soul somehow to something crazy. Like, they, yeah, yeah. Field, no, soul is an actual win con here. Probably the only win con here from TL, right? Mine is something spicy like just acing the enemy. Two or three okay. times. Impact has not been spotted out here in this pixel rush just yet. The Carthus wall did not. Okay, good. The Malkyalty flying. Are they going to be able to? Is APA going to be able to melt him? He did. They okay, so the they didn't get soul, the quad, but they were able to get quad. The Drake might have been secured from FlyQuest, but what about the follow-up fight? Whipple's already Are they going to be able to punish him? Skarner's going to be your target here. The nah, it looks like they just walk out. They lose out. over the Eastall impact, but now coming back in here with the ulti. Looking to turn this one back around. Up down to one-third. Core JJ. Oh, the Skarner ult missed. Okay, so Inspired died, but then does just ult. What an ult! Just does so much damage! Forces Yon back into the fight. Whipple's chasing him. Jeez! And it's a rock to the face! To guarantee it! Oh, ABA just kills ABA Busio here, right? Busio. Wait, Busio, you're insane! With that whip oh! Double kill for Skarner! Fly quest! What? The game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you, Whippo! You were talking twice there. Yeah. Alright, how much y'all wanna bet that uh, TL well, absolutely cool. bans Skarner next game? I got double flowers action, and we're gonna go. That was insane. I thought APA was going to be able to get Busio, but nah, the knock up from Busio into the Skarner stun. Insane. And they will do just that. I was about to say, and you can, you can, you can see what Team Liquid were thinking with that chase. Mm -hmm. They got themselves. The chase actually didn't look bad until Busio uh, ulted and made it look awful. In the game yeah. They got the kill on the quad. Where quad, quad some water. In. So it's a 4v5. And they're Ow, Whippo. That was aggressive. He finds the ulti, but it's only onto the enemy top laner. FlyQuest. They got a couple of compromised health bars here, but they ain't afraid. They know they oh, wait. Knock up. Behind him. Still firing oh, him. Impact stays away. alive. Impact he, he does have his passive as well. Okay, what's this ult going to look like? Yeah, little little wide. Impact's just dead, so proc. So much damage from Karthus. Yeah, so Umpty dies. APA dies. Wait! APA, you beautiful, beautiful Tristana, you! What a double kill! Trying to put the finishing moves here on Busio, but it's wow, is Busio just unkillable or something? This is work. disgusting. Bubo comes back over the wall. He misses the rock, and Yon is still fighting. Busio coming back. They have to be careful because Inspired down. actually does a disgusting amount of and damage. Wait, oh! What? I don't even know. I, they're talking so fast. Inspired damage, even while dead. What a beautiful fight. So AP is able to Even jump in and kill Inspired, but Inspired's still able to get enough cues off to turn it back and kill APA there. after the knockups onto the, the wall. Able to take them down because they have plenty of tanks there to keep what an the insane fight. On that APA fighting his heart out here on the Tristana. Got the two for one explosive uh, kill. Yeah, APA is playing so well here. Huge. Trying to make some heroics happen. 
and then almost oh thank you i'm gonna be able to watch it again okay so this does miss oh actually no it does hit it it's empty scarner was able to lock him down on top of the carthus bar what a disgusting old by carthus here's another look at it yeah the api is going in he's like you know what so gets the uh thing off on quad which kills masu and just jumps away and then after he's able to heal up comes to join i can't believe whippo just survived this fight please get me away got the old from yon and uh, they almost made some hero. I was, I was, oh, I wish I could have actually seen that last little bit as well. Still able to recover themselves and still able to bring this giant gold lead over to Baron. This Karthus just feels like an unsolvable problem. Yeah, right now they just rush Liquid. Baron. We've seen them have a couple of good fights now, but no matter how good it starts, it doesn't matter when Karthus R is going to take Oh, flash by Umpty. And here it comes. Bubba's just Everyone going to stop all of them from even getting close Core to Baron. JJ with the burn and the malignancy. Core JJ just... Dead, just no, 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 okay, okay. Dawning Shadow will not hit him. Yeah, they just grab but Baron. The they can't get close, unfortunately. The from Masu, and the amount of pressure that Karthus holds puts on them is insane. the Baron for themselves. Yeah, Whippo threw a rock at him and popped the spell shield. And the spell shield was going to block and save you half your life. But then they pop the spell shield, so the ulti comes down and just... Let's see, drags almost up. Uh, oh, 40 seconds. That's almost. And, once again, and then you get the ord upgraded items as well. At oh, it's just looking block. insane. 35 seconds ahead. They just have to defend it. Whippo coming back in here. See him maybe yep. for something in the bottom side. But I love the fact that you mentioned Whippo throwing the rock to do that. Old Skarner couldn't participate in most game states, right? He would just try to flash ult somebody, and that's all he does. New Skarner, with the W spam and the rock throwing, can contribute <laughs> to so much in a poke war. New Skarner's just so strong, though. Spell shields or check brushes. He has so much more value. Oh, and his items are so weird to look at, that too. People don't necessarily think of because they're thinking of direct head-to-heads and team fights and combat power. So I love the fact that that got to be oh, showcased here in our first ever top lane Skarner game in the LCS. Oh, this I is a first ever. Mr. Bwipo, and it's only appropriate. Kobe, because Skarner is like the biggest champion in the game. Wow, Whippo is making it look <laughs> should play so strong. Skarner. They actually gave Skarner a wide rework. Yes. Right. A wide <laughs> rework. The tails wider. There's th three he tails is the now. widest now. Now I let's see. So Double Infernal for Fly. Kind of stopped the stacking the threat. And now Team Liquid are uh, it's, it's always there. Gold. You know, they they're at soul the point no matter tricks. what. They haven't been able to secure the soul. They can barely walk out of the base without these massive laser spawning over their heads and knocking off half so their health. just do like here? Rocks? Do you like... I you know do. What I, mean? I do. Do you like being OP? <laughs> yes. And you like Star yeah. ABA trying to get out. Here comes your card. That's ulti donning shit. What the? Where did, did ABA go? And now the ulti on oh, the ult. Oh, the ult. Hit back and empty both heading for the hills without APA there. Oh, did they just end it here? Stands no chance against the game ending push with a bear and off fly quest. That's kind of First insane. Turret's already gone. Impact Engage from impact in. and he just dies he too. Right That's out. their tank. Mastu's taking a kill and fly quest with a pad. Those stats. Oh, wow. They that is, yeah. Wow. That is game turn. over. They forced gone back into the fountain. Core JJ is going to be saved, but for how much longer? All right. So let's Team see. What did we learn from this drop. game? Uh, Ban Skarner. <laughs> Uh, don't let Karthus get ahead. Wow, that was a disgusting Thank game to watch. Skarner looked you, so West. good. Thank you, Mark Zimmerman. Mark we Zimmerman. Are go the full distance of our go. There we go. All right, game three. Some good games so far, actually. Really good games. Let's see how this one goes. FlyQuest had this figured out from game one. They were like, nope, we're not All letting right. you play him. It's they banned happen. Skarner because they don't want TL to it's get Skarner. Very much like game number another very, very high tempo, quick farming, quick invading yeah. uh, AP option here for Inspire. Please pick Silas. This is and can be much more oppressive than a Karthus can. Uh, at please, least please, 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 please. Stages. Oh, okay. Uh, does not. A uh, couple of uh, flexible. Really interesting Ziggs band. Right. I hope somebody can explain that to me at some point. Meanwhile. Also, I feel like I've never seen Jin anymore. The lock in here. Jin is a very controversial champion, even with the with the buffs. Um, a lot. Of I'd love to see a Jin play though. Really have a fun. Oh, they switch to Alistair. Jin I'm gonna love to see Alistair though. <laughs> Or ironically, Mr. Useful because of the inability to, to kill tanks, but uh, with a Corky on the team was a possibility because your armor shred can work for both, and then you can you know go uh, go the bursty option. But okay. they decide. Wait, they chose set. They chose set. All we will just focus on. No Look at this. Problem. Look at this Don beauty right here. Anything and everything later in the game. Uh, we have. They needed the boss. 
They needed a boss. All right. Zeri and the pentacles. There, Zeri makes coming sense, coming but I love Pace, to see this. Uh, got himself one as this well. right here. So, uh, I'm hope I'm hoping I'm hoping it goes well. Here it is going to be the Zeri and the Corky behind, kind of. A oh, what beauty! We're talking about. I almost don't even want to skip it. Alistar, yep, with plenty of magic. To our finals matchup are two MSI representatives. All right, Brippo, do set proud. And throwing down so early in summer season, which is going to be filled with best of threes between these teams again. It'll also be really interesting to see. Uh, Gotta make See the matchup between Umpty and Inspired. Uh, yeah, very big matchup, which people expect. So you saw a lot of the tier lists at the beginning of the day, too, from not only the Analyst S, um, but us as well. I wonder if well. AP is going to have another amazing game. AP has just had so many good games. Everybody pretty like, I, know, I mean, he's good, obviously, but I am curious to see that. I'm also loving seeing the uh, Alistair and Leona. And we'll take a look here as Core JJ... Gonna go for a little bit of a delay move here on Alistar, hovering around mid. And meanwhile, over the ward goes Whippo and Inspired. Over the ward and through the brush to the enemy jungler we go. We're gonna go for the trap here. Looks like uh, gonna... Bottom lane's just leashing. Bottom yeah. lane's just leashing there. Trying to get the Sejuani accelerated versus Nidalee. I do like that. Have your both your bottom lanes add a little bit of damage. Uh, Nidalee aggressive clearing is always an issue and yeah. They are also splitting the map for this Whippo counterpick. Uh, okay. Whippo is a guy who's known for lots of. Oh, it says it's just going straight there. Picks. Interesting. Um, Gonna grab Raptors or anything on the way. Try and make sure that Inspired can't fully split the map for that matchup. Yeah, Umpty still has his smite as well. The Inspired already used his. Oh, got Lee's back. Up. Wow, so really well played by Umpty. Total priority over securing this large wolf. So Inspired's just immediately going to give it up. Head back into his own jungle instead. He's going to be able to grab and the Gromp yeah, as well. Umpty, honestly, the only thing that he lost was one little baby wolf and the, <laughs> and blue, the buff. blue buff. He's not feeling too terrible about that considering the state of the Yeah, no kidding. Level. Definitely so. The, the defensive vision. I kind of doubted Umpty's play, but that was beautiful. So he can't come cross over. And Rumble pushing on this. Wow. Great damage. Kind of from both of them. Push out on the wave. Since Whippo was helping steal the blue. It looked away. a little bit like Tristana won that fight, though. As well. So Impact has been roasting Whippo. Ooh, Brippo. Steal the blue and tried to walk back up the lane. Yeah. Plus, oh, uh, please don't get dove. <laughs> Actually, he's only level two. Umpty's I wonder what he has. So the info is you think he has QE and set or QW? Or maybe he has EW. Hmm. The, the outplay potential on set is quite big. Yeah. Haymaker is huge. He kind of needs to have two. level 3, though. Or, unless he grabbed EW. If you don't have Q, I think that's fine. But if you have Q for anything... Whippo should definitely be able to hang on long enough to stay alive here. Hey, man. Yeah, okay, so he didn't have Q. Followed up with a phase breaker. Has boosted. Great job. Forces the enemy jungler to stay within range long enough for the extra turret shot to pick like, up. It's still rough that you ended up dying, but at least you were able to so, trade something. While that is eye catching, I also want to draw your eyeball to the bottom side of the map. Okay, both of them are just one. Uh. <laughs> I, that, you're making me pause. You know what? I was going to talk about Nidalee, but. Uh, Let's go over the flower's ability to split his <laughs> vision as well as his cognitive load, I, I would assume. <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> cognitive. Cognitive. What your brain is thinking about. Yeah. I don't know what, what the heck is everyone else. Anyway. <laughs> Flower reactions here. No. Oh, wow, a flash. Seen it played into the top lane as Impact tries to get away, but Whippo's ready. Yeah, Whippo's all right. Breakers, haymakers. That was pretty good. Two to one. So Set is super behind in farm. Farming, so. Yeah, Nidalee, but Nidalee, 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 he's going to be able to pick up some. And is going to be a little. Uh, and Impact doesn't actually lose that much. Just TP's back. Uh, farming cognitively. <laughs> it's, it's a. Common, fairly commonly used term. Uh, it's going to be able to finish up the outdoor. Nidalee is kind of bullying the sedge and farm, but <laughs> yes, it sounds like that was expected important. by everyone. Got to make sure you're pathing well in the jungle on these... Uh, Ow, Whippo! Like a Nidalee, as Impact oh. still has control... He actually chose set into That's this matchup. What's up? It's going to be two extra divers coming to join. Oh, oh boy. is on the warpath. Oh, oh boy. Whippo's wait. Level three versus level five on Impact. Finally hitting level four here, but now he's got to be careful. Goes for the immediate face breaker. Gets himself back away, saving the haymaker. Now there's enough oh, wow, he's just walking it out. Okay. Off, he didn't have to flash, but I anyway. really thought he was just he dead. Have a TP. He doesn't want to give up the death. Inspired's so Inspired's top. Now. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, FlyQuest 
They're thinking about maybe. You think Yeon's gonna die to this? Uh, this Busio. Whippo still just has to watch outside of experience range as all. No, Yon. Yon just kind of leaves in advance. I maybe just knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. As Yon just glides away there. Wow, Whippo's gonna be behind like all game. He's gonna make sure that he escapes from Busio and Masu, but again, he's kind of getting the same sort of treatment that Busio or that Whippo is up in the top. That's rough. Excuse me. As both sides are just really spicy, a uh, to bully. really spicy and jump by the uh, like inspired. Not done with <laughs> the pounce. Before JJ allows Yon to get back in, though, wow, Quad jumped the, in there. Uh, the bodyguard has arrived to bottom lane. You should have uh, another jump if you wanted to try and re-engage. Is again your jungle camps. Yep. The terror of every solo queue matchup. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what's Bonnie gonna happen here. Realizing itself. Oh wow, he just wanted the dark one harvest. <laughs> That's a mood. Able to take away the raptors as well this time. That's and funny. Saw Inspired just jumped oh, in there. Yeah, he jumped in and took one gonna... shot, but the reason he did it was to grab the quick Dark Harvest proc off of the Corky. Just guarantee that he gets a little bit of extra power there. On the Dark Harvest. Stone. I like the choice. Dark Green Harvest OP. Heals and make sure that the turret shot doesn't matter anyway. Plus, it's not like you're really scared of a 1v1 with that enemy jungler if you run into him. <laughs> I don't really think that Nidalee what? players uh, have to care too much about Sejuani and Inspired. Interesting. I didn't realize that first drink of the game. Six Nidalee and just stomped on Sejuani that badly. Long, but still a pretty early timer Overall, the boy grubs are active on the other side of the map. If that's what's oh, look, quads ahead right here. There will be no contest. All right, if you ever wondered who would win between a fight between a cougar and a pig, <laughs> wonder no longer. Oh, uh, I guess you know, I've, I've been pondering that for years. Yeah, now. <laughs> yep, there you go. League of Legends is finally delivering those hard Some real knowledge right there to the questions. You've been wondering your whole life, Flowers. Thank you, League of Legends. We, we don't need to do <laughs> one of those like virtual uh, fights that they do. Trying to oh try yeah, to like one of those that, like or... Ultimate Warrior, but it's a yeah, like dinosaur. Actually, I really gorilla, like those when I've seen them. Nah, we, we don't need to do that for the cougar versus. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know who wins in dinosaur versus gorilla, man. I guess it depends on what dinosaur you pick. Yeah, I mean, if you pick one of the little tiny squittery lizard things, that's. They like traded drag like a for versus a gorilla. <laughs> Grubs, right? So I don't know if that one's particular. Gale won that exchange, like that right? Versus Sejuani, man. Uh, you didn't want to stack uh, like, yeah, drags, so but now. Like, three crunch. Like it. Guess what? Nidalee's on the bottom side of the map. I really thought he was going to go for a uh, red quadrant invade, but I guess because bottom lane is pushing, he's doubling back to go protect his red hmm. quadrant. Yes, yeah. there has been so much TL focus on the top side of the map. Sejuani's level six, though. And Sejuani's just trying to I think to it's going to become an team. issue later Masu's on that Impact is just going to be so far ahead. Especially if he gets the... No! Wow! Arctic Assault into the flash to guarantee the interrupt on the rocket jump. But wow! But first through the Glacial Prison stun. As long as you've got that timing on Tristana... This that was beautiful so by Umpty, but I'm still so surprised that Quad survived. It any better, but Quad responds in kind. It costs his flash. Beauty. It costs his ulti, but he gets away. Yep, honestly... Well played by both sides there. Yeah. Uh, quad staying cool, getting his. That was a off. super sexy grab, but oh, oh Quad still gets out. Sejuani showing in mid lane did allow Inspired to finish off clearing uh, through the top side, although it is over vision as Impact and the rest of TL have done a good job uh, keeping up their wards up there. Let's see. But yeah, honestly, uh, pretty good defense being played here in mid lane throughout. There's no objectives Astro up or quad anything like that. Burns, you know, Busio also showing up to match the core JJ room. So yeah. there's not this big support difference. You never want your mid laner crying to you like that. No, sir. Don't worry. I'm here too. We protect. <laughs> well, you know, I'm looking at the, the scoreboard right now. And the difference you know, I feel like I'd rather have Zeri here than Varus. Up there if they're just going to be free farming. Lane. Impact has 67 farm and Whippo has 31 APA. Got the flash, flash from APA. As Busio came around trying to make a move on him. Leona has the <laughs> ever stronger X Flash. Yeah, top lane is over a 1,000 gold lead in Team Liquid's favor. Whippo is so far behind the curve of the game right now. He's got his Swifty. It's half farm. That's it. Okay, so not anymore. But it, it was 35 to 70 like a second up. ago. Yeah, that gold lead, it more than makes up for the gold deficits. On the bottom side of the map, but it is uh, I, Yon for, on Zeri has just kind of been able to free for, farm for a while. So, I mean that that's the massive lead. It's all of the investment from Team Liquid. Yep. They put all their ganks up there, uh, or at least the majority of their ganks up there. Splashed a little bit mid as well, but investing a lot in the Rumble early in Impact. Plus, it's always worth noting this mm. is even though this is nerfed uh, first strike uh, on this Double map. Double TP being used. Of course, they took down the early stage a little bit. No quads using it. I guess. Uh... Quite good. APA is just going to walk back to lane? A decent amount of gold generation. Oh, yeah. Money feels great in League of Legends, turns out. 
Well, let's see how this goes. I think Whippo can definitely survive. He has six. Wow, interesting. What, a, what an interesting flash. Ah. I see what Whippo wanted, but Team Liquid saw the same. And yeah. Didn't let him have it. Yeah. And they. Didn't I'm guessing the Flash was trying to set up the old, but. Do it. So, just a little bit of fancy footwork there from Impact. Whippo was slowed, and Flash then just kind of the, the walk around there. Those are the worst huh. ones where you're. You're, you're so sad because I'm actually so sad that that's die, looking so outplay, rough right here. Lose your giant wave. To be fair, big, uh, wave up there on it's the against the Rumble. But I feel like if I was going to choose set, it would, it would you'd want it to be against another fighter or something like uh, like Renekton or Fiora, yeah, right? Feel bad about the I don't know what I'm talking about. but can't get locked down. Pretty easy for him. And Umpty building that uh, Zeke's convergence, I believe, is the name of the item. Very, very oh. so good. Popular choice for junglers right now. It costs 2,200 gold total. You're getting 25 of both resist. You're getting 300 health, and you're getting ability haste. It's pretty much everything a tank jungler wants. Yeah, and I for one. And Zeke's is the one that when you ult, it uh, use, has a little blizzard uh, around, right? Jungle option. Oh, is Bubo dead again? Which makes it so good for. What was that again? Mana. Anyway, Whippo's in dead. some trouble. He goes back in for the ulti. Oh. Trying to turn around. Whippo, Whippo yes, you away. beauty. The set ends off. Look at the set. Umpty trying to lock down Inspired, but it ain't going to work. There ain't enough damage there from Sedgwick. Oh, bless. Look at you. Whippo's got grit. And APA gets hit. I like that. Nice work in there. So I'm actually really surprised. Back up. I super thought uh, Whippo was going to uh, die. Pressure continues. I mean, kind of, kind of rough to keep on going for it here. Core JJ is walking around. Like they're, they're Beast, that's so strong, guys. We need to off. see more set and profile. Them access to the wave. I am not at all biased. So, still gonna get grub here. This is a very unbiased. As well as still get some tower plate money for impact. So, Whippo living is is very good for FlyQuest there. Yeah, I'm just, just gonna finish all the grubs off, though. That seems really world, strong. But TL still got turret plate money for impact, pushing them off, and are going to be able to collect what I assume will be all six grubs. Yeah. As I mean, drags up, but really it's not like FlyQuest so is in such a position to be able to grab it right now, option. right? They will have that turret killing power of Maybe. the double void might spawn. Well, we've got first items coming online across the board. Not just that low econ first item for the Sejuani like we were talking about, but Impact has his Leandries. APA wow, Impact almost got that turret too. Slayer is up for quad. Set has not touched Impact's turret. About how this just feels like such a great ball of stats for these ranged auto attackers to buy first. There's your static shiv on Zeri, yeah. role player item plus also good. And opportunity for Varus. This has been a favorite for Lethality hmm. Varus builds, just having that extra burst of Lethality, plus the move speed if you get a kill. Especially oh, so Fly is going to be able to grab this drag. I'm kind of surprised. Engages, it can help you reposition for the rest of the fight. Yeah, 100%. But they were able to, you know, with uh, Quad going down bot, they were able to position for it. All right, so it's the argument of like what's better, six grubs or two drags. They don't like to think about top side. Yeah, I don't know. Side, you know, I think it's it depends a little bit on your you your team nice comp and with, with, with how everyone's going to be playing. Around, but still going to lose the tower uh, up there. That thing was going to be gone regardless. And impact got yeah, impact got that turret. I wonder how much the uh, grubs actually helped, or if you know, I mean, impacts are so far ahead of the set. When you get all six grubs, yeah, that early. I so think he strong. should be able to get a turret plate in mid. Meanwhile, AP has got 10 seconds here to work off another turret plate. Bottom two. Ooh, Jan's not going to get that extra wave up there. So. AP might be on one, but though, yeah, he has quite a bit of gold on him. He's got one more second. Nice. Got the third plate with one and a half seconds to spare. Team Liquid at a 2,000 gold lead 14 minutes in. Nine wow, Jail has nine turret That's plates. That's an extra 650 gold. Just Ow. Feeling, they are up 2k gold in the game, though. Free gold. That is kind of track. Oh, yeah. Now. Quad, okay, Fly's gonna grab this, uh, they're gonna this rift. This top side There's five there, actually. Attack. They invested a lot there while so APA is just gonna push by. Yo, she just leave, right? Might just find the equalizer. Yeah. Engage, locking down Great equalizer. Oh! With the cleanse? Wait! And fly quest. Is there is a menace? To escape. Impact's gonna be the target now as Boozio tries to turn it around here with the Zenith Blade. Whippo wants to make his escape. Oh, wait, impact. that's two? That's three? Next. Double kill well, it's a double day. kill, but... Fly quest collapses, and Team Liquid are the ones breaking And not just that, that was a 4v5. That was a 4v5. APA was split pushing the whole time on yeah. Yuki with no teleport available. They just engaged. Wow, the they just got a tier two. And decimated. They got a tier two and won the fight. Like they so lost the rift, massive. but 
Yon Are they going to get tier one mid too? On this area now. Solo tower gold. Look at Just the, the gold diff right now. Over, that's almost five and a half thousand. Five point three. Okay, so let me see here. So it was a good. That was a. Oh, it was just a rumble. Oh, the rumble with the knock up and the sets. Oh. So impact's actually the one that got the kill on uh, Masu. So I was wrong. It wasn't a triple for Yon. It's, it's just a double. Four v five. Oh, another great knock up by the alley. Entire time. Oh, uh, rough. Just clean up on all this really, really well played. Oh, that was beautiful in so many areas. <laughs> Such a good ult by uh, Impact. I like how we got the and Sedge, actually. Just good ults all around. <laughs> yeah. First person, yeah. XD, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's funny because APA literally just was PVE that whole time. Yeah. I mean, his team did all the work. That's amazing. You know what? I got you guys. You still got to talk to your trash. Push. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if you didn't do anything. And the split push. No hands needed for taking the tower. FlyQuest, I'll save you the time right Whip, now. Oh, no. minutes and 30 seconds into the Yeah, game. Whip has really gotten the short end of the stick here. One, because when you're going back and looking, yeah, it was a And I wonder if he's the one who wanted to play the set or what happened. Because I'm so happy to see set just off. being played. I mean, that is but I... Would take the this is a rough game to watch. Like a beautiful drawing of the position of Team Liquid on both sides. Because not only the positioning and then the long-range ults... We're going to watch this next. Two members right in the middle pincer movement with with the rumble ult on top and then core jj immediately following it up getting maximum burn damage and yeah. allowing freedom for azari this early to get early kills <laughs> i mean just, that that's one where you do the replays to do the full drawdown and be like well this is uh, i don't know what that nice emote is that uh where's jet where's APA keeps right <laughs> yeah where's i mean jet? we we basically right there we just we, like set up the analysts we're like yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, random intermission has ended. We're back on it. All right, Team Liquid's up 5,000 gold. There's one minute until the next Drake. FlyQuest already secured the first two. Yeah, Team Liquid's really far like ahead here. If Team Liquid cares at all, this next Drake is theirs to lose. You're 5,500 five thousand gold ahead in open territory. What does FlyQuest even do? Well, some of the FlyQuest members are building IKEA furniture sets right now. Oh, hey, wow. hey, hey, look, he just put the couch together. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's completed. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. See? Guys, one item to two. One item to two sounds way better than zero to two. Wow, aggressive by impact. Uh, does not want to be a part of this play. Oh, with the TP. They want him, and they got him. How about a cougar versus a helicopter? Which one do you think wins that? Uh, All right. So they just grabbed this drag, right? Yeah, yeah, that one's probably going to, to come out on top. If they want it. I assume they do, though. Dead. For the next 20 seconds, the Drake is spawning in 15. Remember when I said earlier, FlyQuest probably can't do anything about this? <laughs> now they, uh, definitely they definitely can't, can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upgraded. Yes. And that's what we did with the pick. We upgraded. <laughs> You've increased your confidence level, huh? Yeah. Whippo might have put together his... Uh, wait, Ikea furniture always has weird... His Whoa! Break. Whippo! <laughs> it's, uh, it's not going to be enough. The extra living room function. That's so aggressive. Will not get this done as the Zeri laser comes in. Wait, Whippo? The front line on Couldn't Liquid even get the W off, bro. The, the Haymaker. haymaker. Guarantee the kill on the enemy set. Beautifully and played by Yon. Quad and Masu trying to get away. Inspired back alive. But he's you know, only if, here in time for the uh, You know, if Whippo got that Haymaker line. off, that might have been a team, different that, fight. All this credit should be going to TL's front line and the setup. Because, man, 4JJ on the Alistar, Umpty on the Sejuani. Yeah, actually, this Alistar has been filthy. So easy like, 4 JJ has looked really good. With the, the work the front line is doing and setting them up, is just, it looks beautiful. You know what this is like, man? You ever watch those Gordon Ramsay shows where he critiques pasta and he's always mad it's overcooked or undercooked? <laughs> the carries are the pasta. That's what everybody focuses on. But man, wow, like APA! He's out. Looking he crazy. Mints meat out of him. He was ready with the emote too. That was oh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. The Insta question mark. That's how you max out the APM because you're emote spamming you alongside. <laughs> Impact now. Um, he should just be able to walk this. Oh, what an interesting on the rumble. rift. Goes down the equalizer. Ready to turn it back around if he needs to. Umpty locking up Busio. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, the Core JJ didn't even need to be there. A Busio. Uh, APA just wiped the out Quad there. Just have and Busio's dead. Misses. Doesn't That's even rough. Matter. Impact goes on a rampage. Seven and a half thousand gold 
for Team oh, Liquid. Oh, Umpty's just so tanky, bro. Completely falling apart. One and a half items built in. Umpty's huge. Well, one and two thirds. You know? He's got all the components. Roast them down. Uh, TL the own hurts. Over the jungle. This is therapeutic for a lot of uh, solo queue jungle. Oh, yeah. That have been on the receiving end of the Nidalee invades. But FlyQuest got a okay. counterplay of their own. Oh, well, let's see what FlyQuest trap. is able let's to do see. here. APA has no teleport, so APA is not going to be able to join. I, honestously, even 3v2, I think. Uh, difficult to do wait, okay. You can still Decent ult by Whippo. Quad flashing in, trying to get the kill on him to guarantee it. Ooh, Ooh, quad wasn't Jay quite able to kill Yon. Yon needs to try to get away with a wall hop, I think. He jumps back over the alcove, trying to provide his own okay. countering fire. He'll okay, so Quad got Yon. That's an important Yon part of the fight. Whippo with the Haymaker. Okay. Really well played, although FlyQuest is really low. Fly quest, find a fight. That's huge. That's huge. But that was oh, that was really wait, good. APA is going in. Masu flashes out. APA still gathering. Oh, it's AP, AP. Wow, APA oh, double kill. It's a double kill of an APA. The equalizer, burning inspired. Oh wait. Might just be taken down. Fly quest and oh, it's the L. Oh, they're both going so well. Quad. What is happening? Oof. I mean, League of Legends. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. That was a fun one. Inspired burning down at the end actually is able to live. I actually thought that Inspired was going to die to the burn West from uh, Impact. Back and getting some more kills. I mean, they're oh, great. Let's attack. watch this again. Okay. Some, some so at this Flyquest point, FlyQuest, really I, I didn't notice FlyQuest was really low. We're actually I... APA really did melt Masu here. I was really scared that APA was going to, like, wipe him out or something. Because he it looks like they could have. But Busio was able to get some good CC on him. Nice bonus damage. So oh, the Inspired is so close to just death. But really well played by Umpty as well. Uh, so critical there that he got the second <laughs> kill, getting the Foss Bomb uh, going in. But Rumble Ultimate also... No one's happy about that fight. Endeavor. <laughs> FlyQuest, they knew, like, we have to make it scrappy, and we have to get... Oh, it's so far ahead. It's kind of their game to lose at this point. These gold bounties, because they still have a yeah. long way to go. Flyquest. They just, I, I don't they just need to kind of kill Inspired? Gold for them to right, like, nobody else really has any gold. When TL has a lead, the most dangerous place for them to be is the enemy red side quadrant. Because remember that that's where their big throw was in game number one. That's where they just got punished the most here in game number three. Now Team Liquid oh. on the Baron. Uh, is it going to be stolen? Oh, I thought we almost had a World yeah. 22 Finals Gumi. I thought Masu was about to do something arrow. spicy there. But it doesn't happen. Now Busio here on the front line. FlyQuest maybe so looking TL for just... angle. Equalizer comes down over the top. Does Corey TL just kill him here? Masu's gonna be in danger. Oh, that's what a great headbutt. Masu gets cooked. Masu's it's gone already? The game's just... Or the this fight's just the over? Yeah, Whippo's dead. But it's too little. I didn't even it's see how Busio late. died. It's too good of a play for Team Liquid. <laughs> the team fighting with TL when, when they are set... Wow. Really TL's looking real that strong. Easy like, they lost game two, nice but game two, I feel like a lot of things went wrong there. Keeping them there. But this is a pretty dominant performance. Have they been behind at all this game? Definitely not top lane. Wow, impact just, you know, this there was a small this matchup either was really, really was good with the uh, no push to get that with the set, or he just really knows how to play team, it. Because, yeah, he bullied set so bad. Right back onto the winning pathway here with Baron, with the ten and the Rumble ult have actually been so three. spicy as well. Trying to work this one down with their void might. They're definitely gonna get this one as well. They can to secure this as soon as the inhibitor drops. Looks they have two inhibs. Fall back. They might. I drags up. Well, not currently. It's gonna be up in 15 seconds. Too far forward. They're walking into a 10,000 gold lead TL that will be more than happy to take the fight. Turrets for FlyQuest to fight under near. How would FlyQuest win this game? Three in the bottom lane. The two next dragons. Shut down. Is it just like getting lucky and? Two seconds. Like wiping them out a whole bunch. And it looks like Quad just waiting for the spawn immediately. Oh, to okay, interesting. And try to burst it down before TL can answer. Huh. So the rest of the team stopped at Raptors. He has they were Kraken seconds on Raptors and Navori. Still get the burn down. Because this is an objective bounty shutdown. That is a big 500 gold. Oh, oh no, Umpty's yeah. there. Umpty comes over the well wall, played by Umpty. The Dragons are oh, oh, and they just win the game here, right? Beautiful by TL. No just too aggressive and by FlyQuest. I get their idea, though. The they just didn't have the damage. Busio dies to Yon. Yeah. Whippo's just chilling top. I mean, they have TP, so he can at least try and come back to help. 
v3 next is turrets in their sight and a tp ready to make Ooh, sure that and minion is, does is that not TP take from, uh... damage wow Whiffle what a knockout another engage monsters out of the picture Whiffle will continue i still love the haymaker game. He takes i might be biased for the set though Wow, yeah. APA has just had a great series. But this last one, oh, I feel like Impact was there. I, everyone played good this game. Beautifully played. Wow, that was so impressive. Again, game two was the only one that... Game one was really close. Game two was really, like, FlyQuest really got ahead, but game three, TL got really far ahead as well. So just, like, a good mix of, uh, of games and possibilities. I'm excited to uh, watch the rest of this. Or watch the rest of FlyQuest and TL's games this uh, split. That was really, really good. All right, let's hop on now to Cloud9 and Dignitas. All right, so this is Cloud9 versus Dignitas, and I'm loving the Skarner ban. Looks so good when Buko played them uh, with FlyQuest versus TL. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I think that not only comes from the roster itself, but also Reaper. That was, that was actually such a good drawing. Will instill a, yeah. Okay, Vi is so strong. It was banned like almost all of MSI. I'm really excited to see how Vi looks in a game. That same choice instead. Nautilus is still available on the table. If yeah, I think Vi is really, really strong route. in general as well. They did lock in the Vi but I haven't seen a lot of her lately, I mean, it feels like. Split all over again. Be ah, with the put respect on Ezreal. Matchup. We love that. I look Actually, I would love to see an Ezreal game, regions, though. So I'm also a little sad. No Cassante ban, though. So I'm assuming we're going to see Cassante, right? Toss ends up locking support here. They're going to be saving counter pick for Licorice, which I think is pretty important when you have a welcome to the LCS game for Thanatos. Wouldn't be shocked if the Cassante gets locked mm. in because it's a little bit of a safe pick. The Kaisa, though, is a little bit more surprising. It's I love to see the Kaisa. Ten percent presence globally. In terms they still pick the Cassante, but they switch it over to Kaisa. Kaisa. Love that. Caitlyn, yeah. Them, but the and then they grab Poppy against the top. Is looking to go in. Yeah. You would have thought that with Nidalee, you want something that guarantees lane dominance, but with Kaisa being locked in, you know, every Poppy one of stops the ult nine, from uh, Kaisa, right? And, that's and then the, the Valkyrie from really want to play Forky, and establish in this first dashes game from Cassante, the pounce from Nidalee. Does it stop the E really from no matter what happens in this Leona? game, we'll be playing at least one more. Because if so, LCS, Bobby actually seems like such a huge, you know, grab here. The summer split, and it just. It puts so much stake on this. I'm so excited for this game, actually. This is the only time decade of winning. He started his career in Origin, made it all the way to the World Semifinal, won many titles in North America, won titles in Europe with Great Rizzi Hope so by he's Jojo. Just someone who really understands how to win. And it's in terms of coming back to AD Carry, like, yes, it is hard to hit the ground running on AD Carry, but he boot camped in Korea throughout the spring split and hit over 1,000 LP in Challenger. So if there is a guy who'd be able to come in and just quote, like, look fine and as the AD carry, it would actually be Zven because he's basically put in the hours and he has so much experience. I'm excited so I'm uh, just, to see I'm Zven really bot lane. interested to see how this plays out. He was playing Zven. support last time. Sure. And he's been putting in the hours during this split where he was not playing professionally. I was always LCS. curious about how I know that He's been playing a lot flexible of role assignments were for pro players. Like, if you're a pro-level top lane, could you also be, like, a pro-level mid laner or something like that? Either rank 9 or rank 7 on the end. I mean, for, for some people, right like, now. the answer is like, oh, yeah, of is course. But for some people, it's like, no. But, like, generally, I've always been curious about that. Especially, like, if you're at a high level. So, like, uh, you know, like Jensen, for example. Like, would Jensen be able to, Jensen or Jojo, would they be able to go, like, play top? I don't at all like would they be able to even compete at a pro level uh, you know what i mean and how different would it be in our first series but i'm more wondering uh, how they're going to overall impact the map as we see in the well, Vulcan just getting feisty with Lyles, just establishing lane dominance as they're crashing a big wave you already see blabber has cleared towards the bottom side of the map almost done with the pull clear we'll be making towards it's such an interesting bot lane to watch we'll looking for that bot crap where Spica cross map on the opposite side playing and midland has been super aggressive yeah so jojo has Blabber, been uh, i mean putting out some put damage on jensen on him for Italy because that's generally what's going to happen <laughs> now that it's going to be slightly more efficient with the experience changes that have happened and to go into a little bit of detail about why you might be seeing more farming junglers is Ooh. especially as you hit like the 
you know, 10 to 15 minute mark, yep. the jungle camps then will be giving you more experience. So it's interesting like that the backing here, is like, wow, you're suddenly and they get something, or are they going to grab like a coal? It's more about nope, just, just got longsword. The They're like high in health, high in mana. Same thing with bot I'm curious about that back. Is it just like a timing back maybe? So the supports themselves and the AD carries will not be falling as far behind in levels from the rest of the map. Yeah, it gives a lot more value to picks like the Karthus or even the double tank top lane, so it'll just be a little slow. Are able to trading grass so fast that I think around Ooh, that nine mark. Nice Q3 by Cassante. As long as the game hasn't completely exploded around them, which I feel like that is going to be Speaker's job this game. It's not like Vi cannot necessarily keep up, but definitely have a, has a slower clear speed. And for Vi, that power comes from level six once you unlock the season desist. You want to be coming mid lane. You want to be linking up with Isles. So interesting to watch pros. Uh, wow, another great uh, Q3 by Kante. Like so it's so far, cool to watch pros uh, far. Like, I really struggle with uh, uh, wave still management. So it's cool to watch people who are really good at it. No, it's been a very conservative start to this game. But Jensen won uh, at least one trade there. A little bit of training, but it's basically likely just that looked really painful. Contesting it really aggressively when there's no way they're actually going to fight in that wave. So it looks like uh, the dig um, bot lane definitely reminder, seems to be winning. You know, the last time Zven was playing AD carry, but what was happening? Yeah, Berserk is going to be up in farm. 2021. Yeah, there was there was a few things. So Perks was on C9. That's how long ago this was. Damn. <laughs> wow. But at least Sven's more. played ADC before. Well, well, things that was happening in 2021. But it's, so Sven well, we being able to play I support and ADC out. at a pro level so is like really, really impressive. But I'm curious how many so other... Well, like when you watch Karia, just because that later. seems like a good We're example. This, though, it seems like Karia <laughs> could probably play ADC at a pretty high level. He plays a lot of ADC champions anyway with his Kalistas and Ash and whatnot. Oh, wow. Both of the top laners are really low, but it looks like... Asante is like pretty much out of mana. As well. Spica, so they couldn't even like ult if they did reach six first or something. So it looks like Liquorice ended up running that uh but not in range that late that two, two really early laning phase. Blabber. Up in farm and everything. Up dominance over the bottom side of the map so far, but neither the junglers have really committed to either the neutral junglers yet. No, I mean I think from Spika's side, as long as he doesn't get invaded or out pressured by the newly early, he's gonna be okay. He wants to level six and then probably pull a gank off and whatever that gank would be would be when Dignitas wants to go for their first objective. Very controlled early game for both teams. Um, one thing that I'm interested with Dignitas is there was this video put out by Travis Gafford where he had oh, Jensen? Oh Jojo Pion with Jojo with first blood, blood. solo That's how kill you gotta start off a series. Okay, Jensen. Well played. I mean, really, okay, JoJo. That's the second quirky mid lane solo kill we've seen today. JoJo definitely coming to play. And that was well played. To, to go to the earlier point, so many of the coaches and players that Travis talked to when he was having the power rank the entire LCS put Dick and Toss, like, towards the bottom half, which when you look at the names, you wouldn't think that's possible, but then you do wonder if there's going to be a little bit of rust. Dick and Toss and Jensen wouldn't be one of those rusty players. This guy was second place in the LCS, went all the way to MSI, but he just steps up. Oh, great flash by JoJo. Far. JoJo doesn't do anything fancy other yeah. than landing a Q, pressing E, and auto-attacking, <laughs> and then flashing over the Jensen seismic Didn't do anything so fancy, then a, aimed everything that they did. <laughs> there while trying to push the wave in, trying yeah. to create some minions. Yeah. JoJo no, that was pretty, able to spot that was pretty well played. Making the punish, and that's flash for flash. That does open huh. up JoJo to getting punished by Spika if he wants to roam towards mid with the Oh, Isles is a little caught out. As I guess it's all right, though. Vulcan missed the uh, engage. Here. He's got the dredge line, and he's making his way towards the safety of Sven. So no need to burn any summer spells. Yeah, I think if that first E landed by Vulcan, So many good Q3s. Would have had to threes. They would Thanatos have is killing it on this Cassante. <laughs> I'm still a little bit behind from the Poppy, but... Goes back to farming. During the commotion, Great, engaged by Jojo. The first round of grubs away. Meanwhile, there has been no answer. Oh, or it looks like Jojo might just be dragon pit yet. It's been a dominating this mid lane. A battle of both of the bot lanes trying to gain. And I wonder how much the champions have to do with it. Enough to commit to the dragon, but neither team has. You know, is Corgi just better yeah, than? Once uh, Berserker hits level six, his what you call Italia right now? A lot more potent because then. I'd say C9 would also have a little bit more one shot potential with Kaiser. The Berserker is six. And uh, Sven's six. So far, even though C9 is looking actually pretty the support's good, getting six seem more important. That much you know what I mean? When Nautilus uh, and a lot of the uh, criticism from C9 my, Leona gets six, that that's way more important. Take a bunch of winning lanes. You have to respect Sven's uh, like ult though. Get a couple. Then hit by that root and then like an empowered take, Q. <laughs> that hurts really bad. 
I'm blanking. Yeah. Riff scuttlers. I, what are those yeah, called? Yeah, the, the grubs. grubs. The little grubbies, right? Yeah. And then they wouldn't really know how to convert that lead. But right now, 700 gold lead. Blabber getting stronger and stronger. He will be a stronger force throughout the game. Just that was really cool to watch for Blabber. The experience changes, and they haven't given kinda, up. Kind of kitten the uh, no the Raptors to onto Red Buff immediately being able to do the Red Buff. Yeah, it's not like Cloud9 have to completely bank on early game or bust with and his composition. Been able to One do of the that. things that changed about <laughs> probably helps that Leona was there, but I don't, you know, even that I don't know if I would have been able to do that. Got a lot of utility packed into her E. Thank you, Freak. I'm an Italy main. I've been abusing the solo queue so far. Blabber now does not have to rely on completely steamrolling the early game. If all goes well, it was, it's a really close game. Like C9's up we'll almost a thousand, a but in general, it's really close. To either of your two marksmen yeah. for JoJo and Berserker, and you get insane healing as the game goes on. And so you grab the grubs. C9 grab the grubs. The moment, you if they're able to grab the Drake, they'll be pretty far ahead objective-wise. It looks like yeah, the they're going to be able to. Makes them very confident that no yeah. one's going to be approaching. Really good vision. Hold on, I have to, I have to remember this. This is beautiful vision. Simple dragon for them to take at the like obviously, no one person alone couldn't do that, but that is beautiful. Oh, wait, Jesse got grabbed. Flash. Gives him a little bit of distance, but Vulcan doesn't have flash but he gets anymore, out. and they cannot close the gap. To wow. On top of Jensen. Maybe that was almost really dangerous for Vulcan. Was thinking about trying to look for a wow. engage, but he doesn't. I was also a super crazy I mean, uh, there, proc of the demolish from Poppy. Just taken Drake, and normally there'd be a counterplay on the top side of the map, which is what Spika was in theory moving up towards anyway. But can they even kill Cassante here? Position, like Cassante just seems so so strong. broken. He is down. Doesn't see us in the licorice. That doesn't necessarily matter oh. since C9 was making a play elsewhere. But here comes Spika. Okay, Thanatos with a path maker. Dodges a little bit yeah. of damage. But the season desists and even the all out is they not can. enough. I guess they can. Thanatos alive. Spika equalizes. I think a lot of that helps from the, uh, the, the Licorice LCS. W. He did have his jungler on the way, but that big wave was going to push in towards him. So he didn't necessarily need to be up that hmm. far. But he definitely wanted to be up that far because you don't want to just concede the I, I'm, I'm really surprised. Good gank by Spika. But, you know, probably being able to stop dashes. I didn't know he was up there. And that is one that Thanos Strong. is going to want back. It was really good ult and everything from uh, Spika as well. Like bounce uh, the spells up, and everything. You are getting that was beautiful. Off the map. Whether it's a summoner spell burned or you are getting a kill. Because it seems kind of heartbreaking that Spika is the one that got it. But fear of Nidalee starting to outpace you as the game continues to scale up. I guess it doesn't matter which one of them on. did. Neither of them are like minutes, super so carries or anything like that. All the turf plates fall up. The second rotation of but despite that, you know, I'm just going to grab first ones all there. six grubs. So I think they're going to get a lot of these grubs. Jensen is yeah. For plates on wow, Jojo just deals so much damage with Jensen Corky. Gold on right this now, this champion is just looking lane. disgusting. No matter who plays them. Um, so six grubs, which. And the Jensen gets some plates in a position bought? Of towers, which yep. they have not yet. They've actually taken zero Ooh, plates. Ooh, licorice! Team, but now they're going for licorice. Four members committed. You think Poppy's to gonna be able to survive four man gank? Oh, actually, with burning. Nautilus there, we'll maybe. See how well he can use it to punt away members, but Thanatos oh, with nice the block. Pathmaker will be unstoppable, and Isles is forced to flash away from the pound. Oh, the wait. Might get yeah. So beautifully played. So beautifully played by Licorice. Away. The Ignite ticking down. Licorice wants the kill, Ooh. but he cannot close. Wait, but Sven! Okay. But Sven is there! Hello, buddy! Did you miss me? What a follow-up! takes him out with the arrow. Nice roam up at the end by Sven, but I'd say mainly it's a really a good roam. play by Licorice finding the initial slam onto Blabber, chunking him out. And I can't believe Licorice turned a four-man so dive into uh, killing the enemy jungler. The Nidalee of all people, too. That, I mean, being able to grab a Nidalee there one plate and lose their jungler, stopped so them from getting really too far ahead. That's great. Gold lead not massively ahead for Dignitas, but... If we bring up spring split games where Cloud9 were behind gold at 15 minutes, chat, remind me, how many games did Cloud9 win? Not a lot. So I, at a lot. certain point, it was zero. Uh, I think they might have won one in the playoffs at some point. Maybe. But yeah, we're, we're ticking towards that 50 minute mark and they are- Interesting, they didn't win a single gold. game when they were down at 15 minutes. In, in the Seems kind of- A consequence of all the lane swapping as That's well- That's really surprising. Also, yeah, it was zero. Uh, it, it was it zero, also, wow. See, not such a good team. Bonus gold is increased to 300. It looks like Dignitas is going to be able to get that. It was 150 previously. Yeah. So they might be even further ahead by 50 minutes. The only person ahead right now is JoJo. Right, so that's so from the uh, the solo the kill on Benson. For Cloud9 throughout the solo but, I mean, C9's definitely not out of this How game well or anything. I mean, Cloud9 play their game even they're when only they're down like 0. 0.3 thousand. Yeah, 300 gold, 200 gold. It's super, super close. 
not just regular They're season, also up also in, in the playoffs all of the well. objectives. And I know that Thanatos coming in over Fudge is not necessarily going to solve that right away, but yeah. maybe with Reaper on board. You know, I was really surprised by that. that. I thought Fudge played fine last year. That would be the hope. But I didn't watch enough games, and you know what I mean. I I don't feel like I can confidently say that. I think he's supposed to be just an amazing laning prodigy that you want to be able to get on your team and have him grow over time. Uh, but but so far, it does seem like a pretty slow start for Cloud9. A lot of the same strengths we've seen from them in Spring Split and some of the same weaknesses. But that's based off of, you know, only 14 minutes of play. So it's mm. too hard to make a definitive move yet, as I think... The Rift is the up Rift and Dragon's going to be up in 30 the seconds. Dragon will be the next point of conflict. 30 seconds on that second Dragon. You've called out Rift Herald already alive. Yeah, it's it super close. Like either team is set up quite yet, but Cloud9 having the first... They got so many more turret plays. I didn't notice that. If they can fade 62. Into the That's why it's such a close game, despite us, you know, having all the uh, objectives. Jungle, but I was able to contest it with Spica. He's going to be hovering in the mid lane. You know, yeah. with how many points they've Spica got, if they can get this, they might be able to... Can they just wipe out bot turret? Also doesn't have a flash, so it's kind of hard. Wow, they got it anyway. Never mind. want to get involved right now. They got first turret. The weaker of the two jungles, if he does show his face somewhere, they get the first turret. Increasing. Oh, Blabber's making his way down. If Liquor stays, then I think uh, they're gonna get him. Oh, with the TP. This is Cloud9 committing towards the bottom side of the map. Wait, Liquor just walks out. Going for the Rift Herald, they want to fade on Yeah, Liquor just walks it out. Even think Liquor needs the rest of Dignitas. They're gonna have priority on the first. They have an opportunity. How much are they gonna get? this mid down from that that was almost an overextension wow, it looks like by jojo and their bottom lane started roaming down licorice that's too bad has to walk i honestly thought that they'd be so able to punish licorice a lot more there the licorice really does just I walk away it does give c9 drake number two which is definitely a win condition but it's going to set them further behind in gold so definitely a trade rather than a win so C9 gets the uh, yeah. drag, I mean, but I think Dignitas wins big on this. They're gaining way more. Jensen gets top turret. Being fell by them, this puts they them didn't grab now, a solid two Rift though. Of gold. The Rift Herald will surely, if they set it up correctly, will get another tier, uh, tier two turret in the meantime on huh. the next siege play. I have to ask. Obviously, Dignitas has a roster with many players mm -hmm. that have built up accolades over the course of their career. That's really interesting that they didn't grab Rift. They're two tanks. Yeah. Sundered Sky Poppy, though, so he is going to have a lot of damage over time, and it's definitely a dueling item rather than a team fighting item. But, you know, now the laning phase is over, mm. uh, looking at the, the bot laners... It's really, yeah, like, it didn't look like either of them would be able to kill the other, but it was just kind of interesting and to watch. Just remember, like, the last time Sven was playing AD carry... <laughs> <laughs> what did the world look like? This is the second of three. You're a coach! Apparently, I was coaching Team Liquid. This is how wow. I remember so well that he won 2021 Spring, because I very much remember that I lost 2021 Spring. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of beat your booty a little so bit. So I'm never going to forget <laughs> that one. But uh, it's good that's to rough. Back Mood. As the AD carry. We yeah. have one more. For Gotta me. respect that honesty. Players, oh, Vulcan going in? Steps it, still has flash and cleanse if he needs it, but no fear. Wow, Sven doesn't even use the cleanse. And Licorice will follow up. Now on Vulcan, who oh, was the one that super punishes Vulcan for the play, and Sven picks up his second kill of the game. Two super punishes Sven Vulcan, sniping down Vulcan, his former support. Great right, followed by Licorice. Have a chance to flash or saw the okay, so now they're grabbing Rift. Now two turrets to zero, both side lanes are down. C9 isn't really able to get mid. I mean, control. Dig is looking they're good. Not necessarily pushing the side lanes. Dig is looking pretty good in this game one. Jet. My not the only one who thinks, though. Predictions are not looking too hot right now. I think <laughs> I put Dignitas at the lowest because I was on the unconvinced side of putting a new roster together. But this, I mean, this game's so far from over. Click. But They're up 2k gold, but I mean, I did want to that's far from enough to be able to just win the game. And C9 does have drags. Nine, that's a really, really important win con to remember. Dragon's so strong. So far, they're looking pretty damn good. They absolutely are. Uh, a lot of other teams weren't putting them up there as well. And uh, this is a thing that happens with Jensen teams. I will just get out in front of it and say he's not an incredible scrim player, but he's a very solid player on stage. And, and that's Kentech, with him being isn't solo it? killed. But after getting solo killed, he played the side lanes uh, mm. so far quite well as we're 18 minutes into the game. Also, the I'm last to see one if is I Sven can picked up the second kill 2 0 in mid lane. Find something that would tell me exactly what Jake it is. That Sven was playing 80 carries. And maybe, maybe it tells me I'm just not seeing it. Was, was <laughs> Looks like Chemtech. Okay. But it's I, I I saw this over here. This looks like Kemtech. Actually, I could have seen it right here as well. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Kemtech's not the strongest uh, soul, but still. 
Oh, anyway, yeah, Kate Winslet. What is this? Yeah, if you haven't seen it, she seamlessly slipped into the voice of Big in Pennsylvania. With well, the voice. Uh, that's gonna have to wait. A fight oh, Volk is dead again. Over the wall as he went a little oh, wait, but Spica dies. Save him on that one. All out for Thanatos. Grabs Jensen as he flies. Yeah, oh, Jensen. To the damage in the long range of Cloud Nine's backline. Wow, and, and, and Cloud Nine just like that. Cloud Nine's doing great. Terrible timing on that, by the way, from from me for for calling that out because that could have been the turning point in the game. Jensen and Speaker both go down, but Lickers okay, Lickers just walks it out. Maybe, maybe he's got a bit too far. Oh, they the got all the tier one mids though. Oh, that's a bummer for Dignitas. Cloud Nine able to stem the bleeding. So they they have a lot of uh, pressure. The They're game. able to put a lot of pressure onto the map. Still have two dragons to their name. That next dragon spawning in a minute and thirty. Very Let's see, Jojo's gonna game. get top. Look who's going up the there. Ability for Cloud Nine to get to Soul Point. Uh, see, see, such a close game, guys. We got this. And Jojo. Do you think Lickers just kills Jojo, Jojo oh, here? That was good no. By Jojo. No yes. mana left, though. He has Flash. Blabber's here. The Spear connects. Wow, that was Lickers so much damage from Blabber. Oh, but the steadfast presence. The out, neither opponent dies. I'm telling you, Poppy just seems like such a good pick into this enemy team. He's got a strong front line in front of him in Leona. And okay, Sanjay so yeah, let's rewatch this. I didn't see how... Let's watch this fight one more time as it's Isles who sees the window to go in as Jensen flies in over the, the top. Great engage there. How does Jensen die exactly? So Spika is just on the wrong side of the map. Don't even get him. Spika who is sneaking a... Wow, yeah, Jensen just took damage from a little bit of everywhere. And C9 very... Just cc for too long. did a very good job of reacting yeah. to that engage by Dig. <laughs> you see just a little bit of frustration from Spica, knowing that the burden of playing Vi is once you commit with the ultimate. We got more action though. Vulcan getting tagged up by Licorice oh, as he's trying to now kind of run away. Jojo Pion has arrived to the party with the teleport. The rest of Cloud9 able to maintain Fosher in this river as they are getting ready for the spawn of the third dragon. The rapid fire cannon completed for Jojo. Yeah, this is oh, interesting. Just by the ultimate, so now oh! Fell down for Dick. It's really hard for them to actually get the E for uh, Varus doesn't quite hit the Cassante after getting hit by the ult. That probably would have been decent damage, so even even on the Cassante. They don't have mid push, so C9 actually get to dictate this if Vulcan can find a good engage. Vulcan's actually hoping that they come into him so he can hex flash over the wall. Okay. Oh wait, Licorice and the speaker on the Jojo. Oh, and Jojo flashed out and just turned the whole thing around. Ooh, Berserker wasn't quite able to finish Licorice though. The rest of that could have gone a lot worse for Dig. Without dropping a single member. Oh man, that was that was. And they got Blabber. From Cloud Nine because Vulcan I didn't even see him get Blabber. I was so I was so busy watching I watching the mid lane. As Jojo was deep within that was the mid lane. huge for Dig so being able to confirm this drag. A cohesive way that that fight would ever work. That is to me players that are on completely different pages. But Dig and Toss make the decisive play, get the Drake they need, and stabilize to stop. Oh, but Jojo trades it for sword. top. I think that's 100% worth it for Dig. Is going to hurt Always. The way they close out the game sooner than but later. good that C9 was able to pick up as something. Dignitas, now they're not quite Zen as pushed in everywhere. Not been dropped this entire game. I don't even think he's burned his flash or his cleanse at all. He has been, he's been playing a remarkable game so far, and I know that <laughs> this would mean so much to him as a player who. Once again, like we talked about at the Ooh, top of the was it series, demolish? How much do you think he had to do? give up his main spot to make room for Berserker to debut yeah. on that Cloud9 squad. If he was able to take him down, even in a game, let alone... Oh, really? Series, I didn't know Sven uh, so lost his spot to Berserker. The split as they're going to engage on the Isles. Oh, Isles. Super low. Oh, Maybe they can get oh wait, but but wait, that Q killed Blabber did so much damage. Sven, what are you doing? Blabber. This is crazy. Okay, Sven. Triple kill over to Sven. Sven I mean, Isles back, does still baby. die, but who cares? Sven just wiped out half the team. The first game against Cloud Nine, and now These Qs are looking so strong. That was just Cloud Nine trying to make a big play. Remember, I, I was saying Cloud Nine should have banned the Boris. Absolutely <laughs> annihilating him on the backside. Oh, that's rough. They led with ultimate, just blew up Blabber, and then the I mean, yeah, they, they do uh, get some damage on the mid, I guess, but... Situation and making it worse. Really well done by Dig there. Dig. They are now well ahead of this game. Yep. And Three and a half? need to be extremely Good. careful, especially around Jojo putting the next fight because this fight. Alright, so let's see here. What exactly happened? Them. So yeah, so Isles was kind of getting melted here. Wait, why is Leona ult the ult the Nautilus? That's so interesting. Beautifully played by Licorice. Actually, Licorice did so much there. And then like at this point, you could just with the steadfast presence, the ult hitting two people. So much damage. 
kills all going beautifully played by dig completely chunk through the court interesting ult by the the leona maybe didn't see everyone or was he thinking they'd uh melt the nautilus a little bit quicker can stop the bleeding Sven's got a 400 gold bounty on him. I know if I'm Cloud9 that he has got to be target numero uno. But the problem is, is that... <laughs> I mean, I'm really glad that Sven's doing good. Cloud9 is severely lacking. You don't have you know, move, single target. Moving over to play ADC uh, again. Abilities like Spika's Vi with the cease and desist. You have to hope that the solar flare will Yeah, Spika land. just has like a guaranteed engage all the time with his ult. Into the back line. And that, that's just pretty much it. If Leona doesn't get so there's the four down, down here as well. Sven, I don't know if they see Jojo. Is untouchable. Absolutely, both summers up. Baron minions now crashing. Liquor's they definitely see Jojo now. Top, so they're not, yeah, they're not going to get this. Teleport in. There's that ward behind that they'd want to jump on. In that, you can see it on the mini map here, or just above Speaker's head right there. Same ward. Oh, but they're getting um, mid. Liquor's just push pushing mid. Deep, Thanatos could and Thanatos is top. And try and flank, and that would be the window for C9 to try and come back. Here wow, tier two mid is just huge. Teleport. Oh wait, okay. So look at the TPs. So Licorice and then Thanatos. The jungle, Licorice. Be the first one to take up the damage. Oh, the Spika! They knew that he didn't have flash. It was an easy setup. Spika is able to get away from the rest of Cloud Nine. And now Licorice oh, is trying to Oh, beautiful engage by Spika. Still has oh, wait, great by Thanatos. Keeps out, Berserker alive. Go down. He's blinking on HP. Oh, but Licorice is so tanky. Licorice, you're playing beautifully. Great hook by Isles. Takes him down as well. Ding oh, Dig just grabs it here. Cloud Nine, Cloud Nine had so the well played set up, by everyone. Great job by Licorice so on multiple counts. Then really good engage by Spika. They were able to grab a. Uh... Absolutely annihilate him. So watch this one more so time. So this. We called out the TP ward. We knew Licorice in mid lane, so we saw Cloud Nine could have a chance. Because Spika grabs, I think Blabber here, right? They just straight up missed the Solar Flare as Dignitas moves up. They get the root from the extended Verisol. Oh no, actually grabs it onto Jojo. Oh, Jojo just just get melted there. Oh, and gets out. He, he did flash, but he was able to get out. Oh, and Licorice is just playing so good on Poppy all game. I think Thanatos played it really well, trying to grab the Licorice. Chad, if you told me last year Dignitas would be absolutely curb stomping Cloud It was rough on Berserker there, actually. I, I don't think you could do anything different you, there. You were, you were at like six health. <laughs> with four familiar faces who have all been passed up during the spring split. Ooh, the that hook from Isles was close onto JoJo. That you cannot undervalue them. And they're up now 6k gold. Six and a half yep. k gold. In fact, and they're about to grab drag. They might not count at all. That's how the narrative could shift throughout the rest of this. It's the, it's the interesting thing about best of threes here in the LCS. This would usually be like, wow, Dignitas takes down Cloud9, but they're going to have to be able to be consistent. Yeah, they have to beat them, to beat them at least one more time. They can't give up two, uh, two losses here say, on though, the best of three. In terms of the questions of is, how's Licorice going to look winning first team all pro top lane in 2023 summer, not getting a team oh. and coming back. What's he going to be able to do? Wait, so Licorice won. He was, won. Was, up 10 CS against like, he was he's declared the best top laner. 2023 Summer Split of the LCS. And then nobody signed him? Same question. Yes. Honestly, you feel like it has to be like a money thing or something, but that's still really surprising. Who's not signing, you know, LeBron James or Tom Brady or something like that? That's insane. the biggest one. With all the winning he's done throughout all his totally different sports, How totally well different scenarios. I totally get that. To so many of but still, if you if you're you labeled know, the best, wins throughout their NA run, and now in his first game back on 80 carry since 2021 spring, 5-0-3 on that bear. Yeah, Sven is looking strong. Splash, still has his cleanse. Like he's played so well and so clean in this first game. Yeah. The 80 carry king Let's is see. back, ladies and gentlemen. For those who are so bears not up for another minute or so. Remembering the time that Sven was and it's two on drags and two drags. So Soul is not really within that. Uh, 2020. So ADC inactive. They bring him back as support. Goes and inactive and then he's ADC Sven again. Has had quite the up and down career. Having I hope you do great, Sven. This is awesome. This this could be like your comeback on ADC. Taken. That would be. This is gonna be a really Even cool storyline to keep up with. because he just wanted to play on a team. So much damage. Championships. And he even developed into a fine, high-level support for the LCS caliber and said, you know what, I want to play AD carry again. Didn't get offers or one offer that stuck for him in the spring. Took his time to grind solo queue. And he is back in form. What an incredible That's really way cool. to open up your summer split. 
So we're definitely keeping Still track of Sven's uh, ability throughout this and, and see how he does. First flip back onto ADC after a while. The time the last Baron spawned now a 7,000 gold lead. Uh, let, let's look to see how Dignitas controls. Yeah, Baron's up at 15 seconds. Even though they're veteran players, sometimes combining a lot of veterans can have some big issues because they don't have oh, a Oh, C9 seems to expect something game. around yeah. this part. Uh, they're actually a little bit off timer on their resets right now. Thanatos so is making his way up too. Sven just came out of mid lane, but I want to see how they play around this Baron to find what could be a game ending engage. It's all about mm. how they can game Actually, Sven is Loki so protected. Edge of Night and Plus, has cleanse and flash. Out the river. Will be He'd have to really get out, grabbed or something. Vision. Great damage from Blabber I mean, Q. Liquish is behind him! Wait, Liquish! Speaker! Oh, Blabber's dead! No for them! No oh, C9. Oh, C9 just loses it. Great job by Thanatos, like, doing his best, but there's nothing. Great job by Liquish. What an engage by Liquish. Blabber just... Blabber couldn't do anything. Play because they were actually able to hold the mid lane and even win mid push 3v5. Oh, you can grab, which you can grab Baron again? The rest of the team time to run around the Ow. back flank. And even though it looked like I don't, I don't, I don't see how C9 is coming back from this one. Was way ahead of the rest of the team. There was no hesitation with everybody else flying in to follow Ooh. up. Spika and Jensen flying in to kill Blabber and an easy, clean team fight win and Baron take by a Dignitas. Licorice is playing so before. well. Making Nearly Poppy look 10, really, really good. Gold lead for Dignitas in their first game of the summer split, thirteen to four against Cloud. Oh, okay. So we're gonna be able to watch so this again. I didn't even see Licorice at first. Yeah, I didn't see him like make it way on a map, Dignitas but this is really well done. When they win that well, I even fight, tried so to flash. Oh, it's just rough. Oh wait! Unfortunately, Chad, Dignitas are not done with this fight. Wait, okay, Licorice is dead. Oh, were they traded for Thanatos? Okay, so top laners are dead. I didn't see how Licorice died so quickly. Oh, engaged by Spika. No oh, Spika got melted. So another one full in trade. Oh, okay. 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 So they were able to grab uh, Jojo. So made, made it a good trade on uh, Dig's, uh, Dig's side. Pretty aggressive build by Speaker as well with Sundered Sky, Black Cleaver. I wish I saw a Licorice die. He's so tanky at this point. The fact that Jojo was able to take one with him, I think will potentially extend this game. If this is a four... Ah, Sven does so much damage. They might have been able to go for the end. Oh, Blabber! I think it's going to be the mid lane inhibitor. 19th LCS all time for assists. That's crazy. Way to go. And respawns, they'll have a faster approach to this fight. Yeah, 10 seconds on Thanatos, 20 seconds on Jojo. Yeah, they're just going to grab this in him and leave. Probably probably set up a drag. Time to reset after there is another dragon spawning in the next 26 seconds. Oh, there they got. They got the edge of Nile off of Sven. One out of three, uh, <laughs> three safety things. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the gold at, at the moment. Jensen's sitting on 1,500, but it's just going to be as... Okay, so let's see how Licorice died here. Time. Licorice wants to kill Berserker. Wasn't on Berserker. For this turret, but the rest of Cloud9 reacts pretty well in this situation. I mean, Berserker does steal... Oh, Vulcan and Vanitone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so a little, a little aggressive by Licorice, but it really... That sky. That's so much There's damage. Really high damage build by Berserker there, so he shreds him while that's happening. Yeah, Berserker build. Now, uh, Berserker has the the three item spike that they need. So many Chemtechs. Yeah, nearly every player on Dignitas is an item ahead of their counterpart. This is that's insane. This is quite dire for Cloud Nine, and we already knew that the track record did not speak favorably for them when it came to. Being able to down. win games when they were behind the curve. That's such a that's just an interesting stat. Because at that point, it feels like you should draft into an earlier game team, right? If you know that C9 struggles later on, if they're behind. Not being in the right position at the right times, and Cloud9 are going to have a lot of questions to answer going into this. Ooh, game. they're just gonna. I mean, they still have Baron. They're just gonna rush down this tier two top. Oh yeah, they definitely get it. All right, Jensen. Let's see what you got. Oh, they're stuck. Like, uh, like a uh, fish in a bowl. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So they they able to get Vulcan and push everyone else out. Oh wait, they got Thanatos as well. Oh, three and M's. Just game. But we already know that against the team with 13,000 gold ahead, it's not likely. Wow, they're just happen. melting these Dignitas. turrets, guys. So many questions around this team, but the way oh, they came in the game. They dive and kill JoJo. Split, it's looking like a big dig summer, baby. Eight 
Zero, seven that was percent. really well played. They want to get this Berserker kill too. They want to go for it. Here wow, they really went all in. Getting more kills for the KDA stats. Pad them up. Dig the top. Takes the first game. Win wow, the that was pretty dominating on Dig's side. It was really, er it was really close Just early on. But after like 15 minutes, it really, really went to Dig. All right, so let's see how this game goes. Or this could be series actually if Dig has another dominating game. Timo. That's Wait, Timo. Pivot for Cloud9. Yeah. Timo. I mean, they they shifted away from trying to snowball. Wait, this looks like the exact same bands, actually. Cloud9 banned all these ADC support right, style champions, and then the Skarner, Triss, and Rumble. Also, they didn't ban Varus. That's just Ven just had a beautiful Varus game, so they must be way more worried about these guys. And they're strong. I get it. But they're okay giving up the Cassante Blitzers when to grab Cassante. And I think Cloud9 might be. Setting up uh, some type of bruiser pick, maybe a Camille for Thanatos. They're oh, wait, are they just going to grab the Rakan? I didn't realize that Isles liked Rakan that much. I'm not too familiar. Or maybe it's stronger than I, re I realized. A, you know, main myself, but, yeah. Or Dignitas, but yeah, they choose to ban they, they, they chose not to ban the Rakan this time, and Dig grabs it. Having to blind pick it, and boom! Hey, I feel mm. smart. Okay. Oh! And a Poppy support. Support, well, that's probably cool. it's Poppy or Camille support because either one of those. Wow, oh, what is Con, it's you, not you just that Kisante, much right? And when you have yeah. a play, you need a tank in the top lane. Yep. So I think he kind of just has to pick. So C9 no probably knew what, that they were going to be grabbing Camille and just didn't want to have to deal with the Jax. Right away and there's Poppy support. But I mean, Poppy's really strong in Rakan and Vi. <laughs> okay, right. they're back. Game two, Dignitas can close Let's out the best of three match against Cloud9 with the win here, or C9 can send it to game three. And this is the question we a had to ask team? earlier. Is this Dig team a super team? It depends on your definition. I want to leave it <laughs> ambiguous. Vote now in chat. If you look I at the I do wonder, you think super players, team? I think you'd they have do have some, some have different strong veterans on. Team. I, have my I wonder answer, what the we'll definition of like a veteran or a super team on League would be. All right, now that my right arm, you know, is it like, like it's about to fall what was it like 2016 Golden State Warriors for basketball? I will call that a super sentence. team. I absolutely appreciate it. Day one, opening day of LCS summer, new format, new teams. It's worth it. You got to do it big for the return. The Camille counters Cassante, right? Too. I'm so excited for. Everything that's to come, and it's wow, just, that's some good it's only poke. the first day of the first week. We still have plenty of more action along the I'm way. Also, the next couple I'm also, I'm kind of months. excited to see a little so bit far, of a Raquan. Or, okay. in the level one. Not Raquan. You know, I was gonna say Huey, but then I looked at the Raquan. I was like, I am also excited to see the Raquan. But Raquan and Huey, uh, so I don't see a lot of them. I see a little bit more Huey, but yeah, I, I feel like I haven't seen Raquan in a long time. Despite really thinking that Raquan's a good pick. I think they're gonna be trying to stack a wave top lane and bring as many people as they can to take down the Cassante at some point, but we're pretty far away from that. And Trying to get really some gold on the Camille, making maybe? Making sure they can get to a point where Thanatos feels safe to play aggressive in the lane as Camille. Oh, wow. They yeah, got they quite a poke on Vulcan there. On Poppy as well. Poppy support, I'd say, if you watched MSI, uh, Mickey made it look absolutely broken in certain <laughs> instances, but I haven't seen that many players really It is crazy how you can see... You know, certain players make certain picks look just unstoppable, yeah. uh, but in a traditional sense, they're not that much better. <laughs> it's you really just have to be super sharp on this pick to make it work, because it's not like he's got a Callista or something that he's able to shut down. Yeah. You do see. have a lot of all-in power in the early laning phase, especially since he took that hail of blades. The wave clear by Huey just looks so disgusting. Try to just burst either the There's no dash from down and see if you can Jensen, so he doesn't have to be worried trade. about. Also. That at if all Vulcan from uh, out of this laning phase early and Talia. Like roams on the top side of the map, then it can get really dangerous for Jensen and Licorice. I mean, Jensen missed the cannon, is over. Jensen missed cannon, yeah, heartbreaking. I've well. been there. See, that's FFable right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jensen. So he got solo killed in game one, didn't end up mattering. I'd say one thing about Jensen on stage is he is able to create uh, like stabilizing huh. forces in the game. Uh, like after 10 minutes so so much those champions are like really mana like hungry JoJo that's crazy i was watching their clear at, at this stage in both their careers like jojo is a better laner than jensen Good but by jensen's ability to keep his farm up keep his gold up and always contributing team fights is almost unmatched i'd say yeah. for mid laners in the lcs 
I mean, we saw a testament to that in their last playoff series in spring, where I think Jensen didn't drop a single death in the entire FlyQuest Talking series against Cloud9. <laughs> yeah, JoJo making sure he's having a good Father's Day. Either. And it looks like Chat has voted no dig is not a super team. No I think I'd agree with that. Is not a super team and the fans are not happy in the so, right games. Arena. Hold on, I agree with this and it's not a bad thing if you're a dig fan. Like, Cloud9 was called a super team last split and look what happened to <laughs> I love the you fact that the crowd's upset about it. in a reasonable place mm. if you want to have the success at the end this, of the day. This is true. Super teams in NA do not have a great track record. I think so people are just are so quick to pull the term super team Dignitas out. is not a super team. But yeah, I'd have to see have what other people home, think Super literally. Team yeah. means. I mean, they're, they're definitely not. To Three me, Super Team is something like just unstoppable. Like, right. Yes, their peaks so like, you, or there, you could call, for example, T1 a Super Team if you wanted to. Like, they won Worlds so and they kept the exact guys. same team. Like, if you wanted to call that a Super Team, like maybe, but that's because they have proven results, right? The org gets deleted. That's interesting, yeah. he find a team for Spring Split. Now he's back, one up against Cloud9. Similar stories for for Spica and Sven, just different ways of getting Most there. Support from mid. Oh, are they rotating up for like? What are they rotating up for? I mean, there were so many rumors. Of like, I was thinking like, oh, maybe our grubs are up, but grubs not even up. Amount of slots. Unless they want to try and pressure for drag, but nobody looks like they're even posturing for drag. Leaving the league, I meant fewer spots for someone like Spica or someone like Sven. Wait, they are they really are doing what the announcer said earlier. They're trying to target uh, Licorice so they can get Thanatos ahead. Hey, they wanted to start the Thanatos train early, Six. but the all-out is going to bring Vulcan over the wall for the Ignite. Wait! No way. Licorice! Okay, JoJo's there for the no! Ignite. The Ignite gets the final tick first. I was like, wait, that's so spicy. So he walks out, the Ignite and everything. I don't know if it cost them a huge amount. That was and then JoJo just walks really up and... For that game <laughs> from Cloud9 because Licorice Could be worse, really though. Vulcan's the one who got the kill. Six. He was trying to get the wave in, and he felt like if he get level six, he'd be able to get out alive. He gets it's incredibly close. low before six, so he can't fly over the wall in time, and C9 is able to execute the kill. The one unfortunate thing for them, though, is the kill does go over to the support poppy, so it's not necessarily going to slingshot Thanatos in any meaningful way. Yeah, yeah that was first blood, too. Immediately back into wave, like, if that first wave, blood would have went to JoJo, this, so that could have been totally be different. Completely fine, despite dying there and losing his ultimate. And check this out, as Berserker's going to face check Isles. See, so dude, Rakan is just so strong with all his dashes. All bottom side jungle, so there's nothing to play for I really thought that, nine. like, uh, Berserker had caught him out and everything. Licorice, no flash, no ultimate. Thanatos just dinged six. So Here Blabber can return and set up an easy kill for Thanatos, but it looks like he doesn't want to commit. Ooh. They're just going to bully Licorice. Licorice saw it. Lic Licorice noted it. That, all right, I see you. But they still get uh, grubs out of it. So no matter what, that's a good rotation by Blabber. Unless you're actually bringing JoJo on that timer. So Licorice... Good game sense. Ooh, Boy, wait. Actually makes a roam here, and oh. JoJo. JoJo flashing the fear from Jensen. Crucial as that could have been lights out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, what a like great... Be able to you don't see a lot of really good uh, rotations by top laners, I feel yes. like. But that was beautiful by Licorice. Along the way, but he's got no backup. I mean, Blabber should be able to... Yeah, I don't think Blabber needs to be afraid of this. I think Blabber can posture very aggressively. It, secures all three grubs. Not yeah, that Licorice, you know, that's a grub for isn't Drake threatening in any way. It's more of Thanatos can come on down, and then JoJo was pretty available after uh, Jensen back. Isles down in the bot lane, actually, just getting vision down. So, uh, am I reading that right? 87 to 60? No, 67. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was about to say. 87 to 60 would have been insane. Well, they changed the Wait, what an ult by Berserker. They just want to clear out the wave that quickly? Everyone's adjusting to their new environment. There you go. There you that's go. interesting. Yeah, only up 7 CS, so... It's See, it's, it's plays like that that I'm just not at a high enough Next level play, IQ to Spica understand. Right, like, I would've just cleared out the wave, slow but sure. Target, and, and then JoJo up, dies! And JoJo has no way Great out. job by Dinatops Jensen Spica. Hell of a combo. Flash from Licorice Rome early. Jensen keeping yeah, because Licorice got the flash position. earlier. Nice Spica call out. Converting on that position. Look at Thanatos just dancing well, around Licorice. The board, that also takes Jojo off the map. So this stacked way. Uh, they got a plate from it too, and Thanatos just leaves. Meals disgusting. To be fair, so is Cassante. Both these champions are disgusting. They deserve the hate that they get. As we talked about before, when you are playing Vi, and every time you have that ultimate up and available, you need to be hunting for summoner spells. You need to be hunting for kills that guarantees that you are still relevant as the game continues to progress. He even pros misfarmered once in a while. <laughs> has not found a chance to use this ultimate, I believe, because he wasn't six when they made the first gank on Licorice early on. Let's see. 
Nice thing with since there's no objectives up because they grabbed the uh, blabber grabbed those krugs like a minute ago. If you get something cool, you can a couple minutes ago, actually, now from the looks of it, it's fine. They're gonna be up in two more minutes as well. So, Cloud Nine are gonna be thinking about where they can big wave being able to get picked up by Thanatos. No flash, but it seems a little difficult to try and take him down. Oh, okay, that's some aggression by Berserker. But Isles is here to make sure that he can safely catch this wave. Well, Sven just having to back up a bit. Berserker's ultimate's going to make him less lethal in a potential fight. Great, engaged by the Poppy. Wow, Isles actually took damage there. What's the? I wonder what the cooldown on Zeri ult is. That's a nice amount of damage on the Isles. Because he's using it kind of aggressively, I guess, is the best way to put it. Above it. I'm curious if Blabber's gonna slink on over to the bottom Oh, side that's a lot of damage onto Jensen. Really well played by Jojo. He didn't have to burn any of them during that Speak first there. game for a majority of that game. But Spika's here to protect it. Yeah, good defense by Dignitas so far, as long as Blabber can't find an angle. Blabber's able to just kind of chill of there. Do you think they'll be able to dive? Because Spika's going up to Jojo's Wolves. Moving over as well. they might try and oh, they saw him? If you can do it from fog and hit Oz before he has a chance to react, maybe. Great ult like, by JoJo. JoJo Cone follows up, and the cleansing. Ah, uh, spend, spend flash and cleanse is just, uh, just too Only much. To a CC. Distance, but he still so it's a TP by uh, Jensen. Oh wait, Vulcan is the uh, the ult. Let's so see what's gonna happen here with Jensen. Spika goes in, and the steadfast presence is down from the poppy. Wait, there, there's so much going on. Jensen! Jensen triple kill! Wait, that's actually so insane. The only one to survive, but it's a triple for Jensen. Jensen teleporting in the day. I feel I didn't I didn't realize that TP was gonna do so much. Absolutely everything. And that's the reason that was able to be a neutral play because the setup here. Actually, so this is such a good ult by uh Jojo. Like Sven does everything right too. This is just you just get caught with so much CC, so that happens. There's four down here though. I honestly did not think this was going to be that great of the uh, of the TP, but Jensen, beautiful. Kind of interesting that Blabba walked back too with the ult on him. So Jensen also grab. Oh, just beautifully played. Severing bolt? Severing bolt, yeah. The I, Berserker I spoke, survives. So that's that's good at least. Zeri's surviving. Yeah. So uh, also, a little hard. So Poppy did miss that ult. That would have been a totally different ult. scenario if Vulcan hit the Poppy ult onto Jensen as soon as he got in. Looked like he was maybe a little bit too far away from where he needed to be and like slightly mistimed. But like the vision, I see the vision. Flowers can attest to that is just like, oh man, all right. Well, three abilities on Q, three abilities on W, three abilities on E, and then ultimate plus passive. We have to live as Cloud Nine. Jensen Hui is so GG. Yeah. Once again, this time it's the second. It was, that was really well done. Way, whereas Dignitas gets the second rotation of grubs. And already the community is talking. And they're saying, talking the we trash. We cannot be sleeping on Jensen anymore, guys. You just can't. I mean, he had a really good split on FlyQuest. He yeah. wasn't good on Annie. Like, that's... Yeah, I, I'm really, I would love to know more about the also, whole them getting rid of Jensen. Fresh start for him uh -oh. on Dignitas here. So Jensen oh, might be dead here, but... The curse commences. Yeah. This is not just the caster curse, Jat. It is the community curse. They hype him up, and then he is caught overextended. He is caught overextended. Away, and it still doesn't matter. Ah, first turret likely going over to C9 here as well. More and Jojo's getting Jojo some gold there. Turret plates. Uh, a couple of to be fair, I think uh, promising things about Cloud. I think the wind cut here is uh, Berserker Zeri, right? Did get the triple kill and it did backfire a little bit. Um, it's their ability to create their own play, and I think that's one of Thanatos the biggest is pretty things far ahead top lane as well, that stop them from ever coming from a 15-minute gold deficit to win a game. But yeah, and no, no. Uh, going back to kind of no Jensen. Up. It was, no, it was really interesting to me to hear that they that FlyQuest no was choosing to bench and Jensen. They created two plays around bot lane here. One got them the first kill and then the triple kill for Jensen, and the second there actually ended up killing Jensen. But if they can set up the map into positions where they can actually get things happening without like needing a dragon to be there, yeah. it's a really good sign. Oh, so Vulcan jumped time. into it. Oh, shove off of Vulcan's wall kind of aggressive by Dig. Uh, might be in trouble. The Ignite and the Keeper's Verdict interrupting his Vault Breaker. One more threat of Volley would do the trick. But Berserker cannot get in range. Oh, Berserker's going to be able to follow up here, though. He pops the ulti. A couple more on attack. There it is. Yeah. Despair dissuades him from participating. Wait. Slightly deleted. Jensen, what the fuck? The Vulcan's a little too tanky for them to take down. 
so much damage. He just got blew up. He got weighed right there in in the eventual. I mean, he hit the the hole in the seven strike and everything. Yeah, but that was so much damage. At the end of the day, more gold over to Jensen. Let's see what happens here. So. I, did, I do feel like they were maybe a little aggressive here on Dick's side. And then they, if they could kill him here, it ends up being a really clean play. But then the extended play. Great follow up by Jensen, but also really great follow up by Berserker. I, see I don't feel like Berserker played this wrong per se. Sparring the spare into severing bolt. I had so much damage yeah, yeah. by way. Yeah. Because it's it's all about the passive as wow. well. You get two abilities hitting on the same target, it deals bonus damage. And oh, interesting. Also does execute damage, mm. or at least more when it's below a certain. Oh threshold. yeah. So that will always catch up. I think yep. the, the other thing that caught Berserker by surprise is after the triple kill, Jensen got super accelerated. Jojo Kun in that fight was on components, <laughs> whereas Jensen still had a or had a full Archangel staff. It's still not a Seraph's quite yet, but just having that extra Yeah, Hoi's gonna be an issue for sure. Time, definitely just gonna oh, wow, great job. Oh, wow. World of trouble, the of Way to go. Line. That was a huge pick on Isles. Yeah. They just take the clean kill. Huge play. Look where Thanatos is. He's been pushing the bot lane yeah. the entire time. That was a 4v5 where they picked up a kill. Like, the fact that Dig sat 5v4, didn't get into the half action. Oh, but that's rough. Focus is right dead. <laughs> trying to get vision. Trade, yeah, trade for the support. Still a good game state for Cloud9 overall, though. They're pushing, pressuring side lanes way I mean, more. I mean, Cloud9's up like 2k game. gold, though. They have a lot of threat on, on mid-wave because they always have the side lanes pressed in and the Camille or the Talia, if they ever go into fog of war, can threaten yeah, the mid lane. Yeah, Berserker has so the majority of that gold lead though. So the I, I do think it comes down to that, a Berserker's uh, Zeri. Jensen has four kills, the team but... itself, Dignitas, is down one and a half thousand gold. Yep. is gonna hurt. Next Dragon is not spawning for another minute and some change. Rift Herald, I think This could also come down to just who gets the better earlier. engage between the Sedge and the... Can they look to punish Licorice? Blabber's in the area, but he was spotted, and Licorice oh, is no, just going to throw the teleport. He's not seen. Blabber uh, checks the wrong bush. Didn't think that he would be in the Interesting. Uh, it, it's always fun to watch uh, people use TP as an escape. Yeah, I wasn't willing to throw a blind ult with a guest there. Can't fault him for that with Drake coming up in 45 seconds. Ocean, Ocean Soul for the day. Not going to be a huge Drake for either team, but... Still a potential win condition if they are able to stack it and get the soul. This has been a really good game so far. Game so far, it hasn't been blown out by Dignitas like it did in game one towards the mid game. This I feel like C9 around, has a little bit of pressure on them compared to Dig, though. Ahead of Dignitas and Gold. If C9 loses, this is a whole series. For the stats, if they as a first series too. Out, but obviously, there is a lot of work to do. And clearly, this is a far is looking cry good. from what they drafted in game one. A lot more objective setup and engage power now relies on Ooh. Blabber's shoulders. So that Vulcan isn't the only one that has to be fishing is coming down. those picks. Yeah, I will say, Dick has more range. So if you try to severing bolts. in the mid lane, a lot of times Dick will win the poke battle. I think C9 will need to be able to push side lanes and then collapse on them. Uh, I feel like they, they, they know that Speak is there, right? Checking space. But you can see there... Even without Vi showing I'm sure they assume so, but do they do they have a they do now for sure. Thanatos has been doing that work on the bottom Because if he could get an ult onto like Jojo. Wow, okay. Vulcan got Isles out of there. Trying to see if they can continue the engage. But no Honestly, I think that's a really good ult by Jojo. Just gotta stop them. As the rest of Cloud9 back off in the fight. Uh Blabber's Sejuani ultimate went in the wrong direction. Yeah. For sure. He threw that backwards. Totally in the wrong direction. Uh, so a little bit of a Could have been maybe a different fight. I don't I don't know if it would have led to anything, but they would have been able to disengage a little bit cleaner. Maybe not lose the drag here. They had from Thanatos. He actually has to reset to base and dig just wrestle control of that Drake away from C9. Yeah, they took away one of the long range engages from Cloud9. Both mid laders with uh Blabber despite the tank. His first item is yeah. really a support item, so he's not as tanky <laughs> as you would think at this point in the game. So he cannot be the one stepping up, and if both he and Vulcan are not willing to contest, then yeah, these objectives Sun are super sky for the easy for to toss hmm. the control. Yeah, really it does output quite a bit of damage. For Blabber coming up, I think obviously everyone was just you know despite Jens or uh yeah Jensen being so far ahead like kill wise and everything Jojo has done such a good job staying I mean almost even in gold the 14 off right now 15 
What a good job by JoJo. Yeah, further down that ranking than I've seen him for years. Game one here, one and seven on Italy. Game two here on Tijuana. One Great job. Oh, the engage by Spica. JoJo, he flashes away. Oh, a Berserker. He's in trouble dancing away, but Spica doesn't have that mobility or the flexibility. Oh, Thanatos. What an engage. With the ult. Oh, that's rough. Jesse was able to turn that around. Doesn't respect the damage from Jensen. With the licorice as well. Picks off Berserker, and now Cloud9 are on the run. Oh, Thanatos goes too deep. He yeah, that was kill, super deep. Ends up falling to the turret, and what had started with this. And then a good follow-up by Licorice. I didn't even see that whole thing from Licorice. In Dignitas's favor, it looks like they killed Berserker, which is huge. I want to watch this one more time because. Okay, so great engage, I think, by Spika. They kind of go all in on JoJo. Great ult JoJo for JoJo staying alive. Get bursted out. Seraph Shield comes in huge for him there. Yeah, a lot of right the output here, damage from Berserker. Berserker. And Thanatos yeah, Thanatos just a little bit too deep. Jensen, but when he so look at, like, okay, so I do see how Licorice got into or onto a Berserker. The severing bolt probably helped a lot with the slow. A winning situation, but they come out of it with an extra kill. Yeah. Cloud9 are still slightly ahead in gold, but it's nothing to run away with the game with just Yeah, yet. they are still a thousand up. Still very Which is crazy. I feel like Diggs won a lot of these fights. Of the Do you think series. the macro on C9 has just Baron been better? Because they've been able to, I mean, like they are setting up be up like the whole game. I don't think there's been a time where they were down in gold. Maybe, contest for tier one, maybe for a little bit. Maybe when that first the triple kill first came through for Jensen. Look at that huge wave right there. And JoJo's gonna pick it up. Type of game that you want C9 to be able to win. Yeah, JoJo's been able to consistently be, be up in gold. Like this, well, like he's down from Jensen, but minutes, keep but up with gold. That's, that's, that's the way I was thinking of. A little bit uneasy, losing control of that third so drake. When Thanatos is going down to match the Lick Rush. But they still are able to create these. You know, this is actually all of C9's up by this Baron. Deeper vision, actually execute the flanks in in strong ways and get the lead. I think right now with Baron up, it's not exactly something anything any team can rush. No one has crazy Baron damage. And the next Drake being in two minutes, you're just kind of holding steady and needing to see a strong Drake set up here for Cloud9 for the next Drake. You know, Berserk is up a thousand in gold. Berserk is gonna hurt. Time can Cloud9 buy I, you know, I assume he's going for Lord Dominic's, right? They can contest for it. Berserker is on two items. He doesn't have flash for the next fight. Would have to wait another two, three-ish minutes before he feels... Look at that amazing vision score by the, uh... The rest by the Rakan. 82? No That's kind of insane. Flash and Vulcan. No flash on Thanatos either. Blabber's the only one that has it. But this gives a plethora of options for hmm. Spica, who can commit with a cease and desist. And they know that Blabber's there. It's really easy for Jensen and Sven to follow up with their long-range folk. Just looking at, at the waves, though, it's like so pushed in on top, so pushed in on bot, mid lane pretty deep. Yeah, Cloud9's doing a good vision, job keeping him pressured. Here, it becomes a lot easier to start actually getting picks at Drake, but it's just so difficult for Dig to group up and feel safe. Because mm. So not this is so point for Dig. It seemed like it was working that, that well for Thanatos early on, but now without a flash, it's We're getting a ready for soul point for Dig. Extended on the side lane, he has teleport so he can always join on the cross map if things get a little hairy for Cloud9. <laughs> That's funny. Away, and that buys enough time for Cloud9 so they got they got top tier two. Game. That's pretty good. Yep. So That's some great macro right there. In that tier two turret. Thirty seconds until the next Drake though. See and Blabber's been able to just kind of farm it. Being a little bit slow to that objective. Dig just needs to so everyone's up on Cloud9 sure side. Gold wise. But then I think Dig is going to have pretty good position for this next Drake, uh, even though it seems like a nice play for them to get that top trick. Oh, they actually overstayed in the top lane just now, uh, trying to get Jensen, but Jensen threw Ooh. some skill shots and pushed him back. So they're incredibly late. Five seconds before Drake is not necessarily when you would want to recall. Uh, but it, it, okay, so, so C9 now, now back. Be a battle but that back is up. For the third Drake. Yeah, and Berserker's the first one to touch it now. He can't really step up super aggressively because he has to take caution. Licorice is going to be able to ward it. You know, I, I'm i pretty sure C9's going to grab this drag no just based on what I'm looking at. Jensen's top. Yes, he P. I guess it depends how aggressive everyone wants to now trying to fight for posture kind of posture for river. it Berserker should be the first one to touch this wave again but a teleport coming in from Jensen so he can join the fray the 
I love that he TP'd on the cannon to, to hold the cannon the back. Ones in the river, and that just makes it even more difficult for Cloud9 to contest. Yeah, it is a little tricky. If you're the team to start Dragon, and you're not ready to fight... So Dig, yeah, uh, Dig starts Dragon, just the Blabber's the there. Other team to collapse on you, because they're doing this without mid or top prio, so that's actually how C9... Oh, and C9 just them. gives it up. C9 just doesn't think it win. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Not what they want to do. But Cloud9 will try to brute force for this next wave. They're early crashing it, catching it high. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut off Dignitas. They don't necessarily need to engage. Just bully them away from Wow, the yeah, they're going to get so tier 2 mid. This tier 2 and at least trade something for the Dragon. So they're getting more gold. Here's the fight. Thanatos on the Licorice, but not committing the ultimate quite yet. Dignitas oh, wait. Okay, okay great engage. Licorice is getting melted, but he's able to survive. Force to jump away. Huge ult by Thanatos, but now he's really deep. Oh, it doesn't matter. What a beauty. Has arrested Dignitas, now down a man. Do Cloud9 want to win? Wow, they're gonna start Drake. Or I'm sorry, uh, Baron. Thanatos with some really clever dodges at the end of that fight. After his aggressive play gives him the only kill. And that's gonna wow. be to start this Baron straight up. There's a they, lot yeah, of they're starting burn, it. No Varus ultimate, no Rakan ultimate, and that Baron's already half health. Vulcan's gonna hold out the Thanatos. So or I'm sorry, uh, speak up. Vulcan, nice keeper's verdict. Punch I saw Thanatos uh, they uh, teleport in. Was yeah. For the king okay, of Cloud9 was even able to grab Baron. Back on TSM, they don't even give him that chance. Get him straight out of there. You know, they, so they lost the uh, the third drag, the but they were able to gain the Baron. That's a pretty good trade. Already outside of the base and wearing a Baron buff. They did give up soul point though, so it is important that they make something happen with this Baron buff to extend this gold lead to a point where they Watch can have 900 these energy items next. differences on their carries, which they kind of have right now. Three items on Talia, three items onto the Zeri, and two and a half onto Thanatos, who really yeah, you know, Berserker. that entire sequence for C9. Yep. Berserker is just slowly but surely scaling. He's going to hurt really bad. He got he did get the Lord Dominix, by the way. He's going to start melting. Licorice still Ooh. no flash. He's gonna get engaged on by Cloud9. Wow, Licorice is just absolutely chunked that there. Dropping to only two -thirds of his they still HP. lost the uh, tier 2 for bot. Are <laughs> oh, they able to get something? They got tier 1 from Death and Splitting. Okay. Okay, so Licorice is holding top, but wow, Thanatos is just dead! Thanatos yeah, Thanatos down, is just dead. They got the uh, the tier 3 from bot. Tier three in the so over, overall, I think that's, I think you know, Cloud9 is very happy with that. Thinking about the worst and best things that happened when the other team has Baron, that's really high on the list for Dig. They traded the top turret for two turrets bot lane, sure, but then they get a kill on a Thanatos, and now we're even counter-pushing. Yeah, I mean, it could have been a lot worse for Dig, that's for sure. Wait, so so much damage on JoJo! Jojo. On Jojo pill and, he goes down. and he's dead! The JoJo's dead! And Dig just, oh, Dig just kills him! Flabber's dead too! The Berserker's not gonna be able to, you know, aggressively go in there either. What a great fight by Dig. So much damage on JoJo. Gold down, not having the Baron buff, and they just wipe C9 in the mid lane. If they had more minions, they could have taken that push extremely deep. Yeah. Jensen continuing to land the skill. Hold on, so let's see this. How did Jojo pick, just get? Pick here, oh, he, he gets rooted get because of turret, Jensen's. The first root lands, whatever that ability is called. Team composition works for Dig. If so much damage on Jojo. Blowing up the rest of the team. Jeez. Uh, the original pick on Thanatos, I think it started was just like a vault breaker from Spica. Yeah. They changed that with Recon. They changed that with Verisol. Wow, that that's huge. So an, a sneaky amount of CC, that that uh, doesn't put Dig back in the driver's seat per, per se. Like they're still down on gold, that CC on, but that made now, up for pretty much the whole Baron push. Rooted, but it is like they somehow won this whole the Baron power play. Gaze of the abyss. That's impressive. Oh oh, Spika's found another target on the fan. Oh, and Danatos is dead again. Another for 50 seconds, too. Ferris. It has been a little more competitive from Cloud9's side. That drags up in like 50 goal, seconds. Is still proving to be an absolute beast on this To be fair, Thanatos uh, with uh, Camille, with this is a squishy Baron. champion. You gotta be careful. With four players and facing soul. Oh, oh great ult by Jojo. Spika's trying to get the counter engage. Yeah, Spika's just too far forward. From the support of Dignitas. 
and he gets taken down. Ooh, but Dragon's that's some good poke from Sven. Seconds. Spica won't be up for another 40. This should Let's be see, Jensen's on his way down, though. Oh, it's a banger alert, though, because it is 44, oh, so Tim okay. is not going to want C9 to even TP start by Licorice. this dragon. They're going to try and push him off here and maybe buy some time for Spica to make Oh, Licorice is just so tanky, true. bro. Greedy, though. Thanatos will teleport in behind them, and yep. then C9 will have a 5v4. Yeah, there's multiple wards in the jungle quadrant right above. I think Maybe that's Thanatos the, is just going to TP in behind them? That seems really aggressive, well. and not like a... They nope, have to okay, okay, okay. Any teleport flanks from Thanatos. He's actually just going to teleport to mid, yeah. The yeah, push that, that, that makes a lot of Vulcan sense. Taking a lot of damage from the chain of corruption to the poke. Yeah, and Dick oh, so much Vulcan, they can't that's dead, right? They yeah. Ah! Oh, wait, but Alex is dead now, too. Let's see what Licorice is going to be able to do. Four on three for now. Spica just respawned and is running from the base. But I don't think he's going to get And C9 grabbed that dragon. So stop them from the soul. A lucky snipe. Maybe Sven can channel his Uner Gumuyushi, but he's already Ooh. fired the arrow, and the secure is there for Oh, Blabber. that would be crazy Jeez, if Justin grabbed it. With a lot of confidence there for not having Sven. I thought they were going to try some type of fight, but just didn't have the tools. Oh, we got Yeah. Game. Yeah. I mean, speak again caught out earlier that that's rough for uh Dig. Because really well played by C9. So incredibly close. So really, despite Vulcan dying, C9, they were able to trade it for Isles and then still grab the uh drag. That's awesome. I'd say early season jitters from Thanatos, like getting caught out in the side lane twice, but also making some incredible plays that open uh, up. Ah, you can't even blame Thanatos for one of and those. Then, just incredibly steady play from Jensen and Sven. Like they are putting out so much. Like that first one, I don't. Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit too far yeah, forward, but. That this is second one, yeah. Second one, sure. LCS debut. This is his tier one debut because he tier was one in debut. the LCK Challenger scene. For you know, so I haven't watched the Challengers. I maybe I should watch some of those as well. Banner, even back when they were. But I know they're going to be changing them like DWG starting next game. year. So I just. And he was on their academy team towards know. the tail end of 2020 before getting promoted. Maybe maybe this just isn't enough games. <laughs> Challengers team in 2021. I mean, this guy has been under yeah. pretty much one org for so long, yeah. and then now being given that chance to play on a tier one stage here in the LCS I don't know what that second Cloud team Nine. is and to be frank this isn't the first time that Cloud9 has made an investment into a, an LCK Challenges prospect you remember when Berserker came from T1 and he's had a, a remarkable career so far and, and speaking of which you uh told All me right, that so Berserker has three Zeri Pentakills in his career yep these are some of the Pentakill prerequisites uh <laughs> for four oh he has full crit now items at this stage. wait 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 does Runa sell crit i think it does if he doesn't get poked out at the beginning of the extended fight so yeah berserker has a hundred percent crit here on his on his autos okay. or his q Remember, whatever has a little bit more range so they can outpoke them but if c9 find a clean engage they'd have the advantage i'd say yep dick's Wolf playing pretty aggressively here on the right side keepers verdict will punch one they, oh, pop the spell shield they were able to get so jensen out of there if he gets too close keeping his distance oh the liquor's is just so tanky oh wow Licorice over the wall? But he's still Doesn't matter. For his Great job by C9. The rest of are on the run. Alt missed there as Ooh, the seven spikes are still hurt. Engage, but like, Dig could still win this low. fight if uh, Cloud9's not back careful. Back maybe they think about making a play for like, I don't think they're going to be able to start Baron. Because Spica's still alive. Items. It's not like they killed Spica. Or they killed Jensen or anything. They killed, they killed one of the tanks. Berserker saved Alt that whole time, so he still has it if Dig tries to fight. Oh, okay. To add to his career if he can find the angle for it. But Licorice would have to spawn and then give them another kill. 6k HP. Let's see what's going to happen here. They just, oh, they're just leaving Baron. They don't want to take too much poke. Hey, they were respecting the fact that that's a 50 50 foot play. Either with Licorice being up in, in eight. You know, I, I, I respect that, though. Doesn't have TP. The timer's close enough. Because, you know, Sven, Sven's going to hurt. Jensen's going to hurt. Speak again. Dash in with his Q. Now that he's alive. So. Just the He's pushing up those waves. And a reset. As the game intensity stays about the same. It's awesome, man. Drags up in a minute and a half. Backstage and I said, Julian, my you know, like, if Dig's able to grab it, that's huge because it's soul. But going if C9 all grabs it, it gets yeah. them the soul we point. Are definitely in position for it if Cloud9 can close out this game. Great job by Vulcan. Isles was caught out. Great job by Vulcan. Pop him like a balloon, and the rest of Dignitas now have to work with only four members, while Cloud9 have the freedom to turn on this Baron. And yeah, this is gonna grab Baron here. Is so weak without Isle, so I think they might end up giving. This oh, they're not even gonna try. Already at six thousand health, they just can't contest it. Yep. 
Dignitas, the best thing you can there. do is go for the mid wave, and even Jojo threw out the getting caught out there. That's rough. Cut off that minion wave to stop it from crashing to the turret. It, it was a great okay, job, though. Blabber really pressured him, and Vulcan following it up. up to Beautiful. Gets picked, it with Baron, though, they might be able to break two, open this base. This Actually, they already broke open the base bot lane. They might be able to... Just trying to brute force this turret down. Keeper's verdict. They go for Sven, but he pops the cleanse, and he's able to get away. They going to end here? Seismic shove with just a simple sidestep, but the tier three is fell on the top side of the map. No, they're gonna back the uh, drag. Now have to dig I was thinking, like, wow, they have see if so they much damage and CC and whatnot. Are they gonna try and, gonna try and like the grab the inhib and push them into end? They didn't actually kill the inhibitor, so they're not gonna have a push in the top lane there. Yeah, and they didn't stay for the inhib it's even. Sole point for dig. C9 just have to five v five this. With the Baron buff, I mean, they're up it makes 4k it gold. Mid -push, but they're still going to have to be able to push Dig But Dig can win, though. If Dig just plays smart. Throughout the game. This series of events in this next two minutes could very well spell the end of the game. Oh, for sure. Poking over the wall with the W. Being a toss, trying to find posture in this Oh, river. Isles needs to not get caught, though. Isles, it's Isles. Licorice. Oh, oh wait, and... Uh, Isles getting caught once again. A 4v5 okay. now in favor of Cloud9. Dragon is it's alive. funny He's how okay. important picking off Isles is. Sure. Second time he got picked. Vision. And Isles is running around trying to get it, and C9 have just put a target on him. Pick him for Baron. Yeah. Pick him for Drake. Both teams now. Not yet. So point. point. But the goal lead for C9 increases. Ooh. It's getting incredible. Looks like it might be going to game three. Isles is trying to move with Spica, trying to move with Licorice, and for Isles. He has a lot oh, of mobility. Look at that poke from Sven on the JoJo. The problem is he's not the most durable support either. Knight's foul and Locket is only gonna Yeah, Rakan's a little awkward. So <laughs> kind of AP, but doesn't do a whole bunch of damage. Like is not really tanky either. He really is just that CC bot. Gonna have to hold the line. Technically yeah, has a heal on his Q, but like, nah, not really. What are you doing, man? He's over by Raptors as, as C9 is, is pushing this inhibitor. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it turned out fine. Not punished, it seems like. The speaker is trying to catch him with gold a little bit. He's three the items. Bottom lane inhibitor for now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, with a minute left on Baron buff, I thought C9 was going to play more aggressive there, but I, I, they may have ran. Yeah, I think they should have played more aggressive top lane though. So I don't. <laughs> in case speaker, I don't know. I must know, be. I must be missing something really important uh, here. Maybe Jojo or Berserker. I mean, both of them have. Flash, or maybe they just and at least they feel so confident friends, they don't want to make any mistakes you know what i mean safe. they don't play, they don't want to play like too aggressive Same and then get caught or something like that yeah. they believe that they if they play slow they'll they're, they're inevitably gonna point, go win really go down right point. yeah i kind of feel like if dig wins this game it has to be through picks yep uh i think if you're if you're entering into a 5v5 but I, I guess they're also just giving digs more Camille chances which seems kind of weird items. look at that you damage know, from zary on the so speaker anytime c9 wants to make like a snap engage uh it's likely going to work. Ooh, but that was but really good poke on a JoJo in reverse. Picked, that's how Dignitas would have it. So it's up to Cloud9 to not dilly dally and take their time in making the siege happen. As soon as they find an angle, you have to hard commit. You have to brute force before Dignitas stacks too much damage from the safety of long range. The rest of Cloud9. No more Baron you really got to dodge side. those uh, Zeri Ws. Easier. Licorice is catching the wave on the top side of the map. Still has teleport. Are there any wards that Cloud9 have to be concerned about if they You know, they're down two inhib turrets. Couple. They really just need a pick, right? Is not that deadly. And then like 2-1-2 one, two, or 1-3-1 one, yeah, one, or so something? On so, Dick doesn't have that many options, to be completely honest. But I, like, I, I thought this game was going to be over seven minutes ago when <laughs> C9 had the first Baron and were pushing, but... Dig managed to fight back. Uh, it's 40 minutes in. Full mage items on way, if like, them being up, ahead on gold almost doesn't matter. Very reminiscent you know? Of Cloud9's game against 100 Thieves. Like, obviously it matters, but... It seemed like they had a strong lead. I don't know. Mm. Berserker was on Zeri. He got a pentakill, but they couldn't close out the game. And then in yeah. one team fight... Although, actually, Vulcan on Poppy has been really good. He's got some good ults. Game, it, it, all those efforts just completely. Yeah, Sven's 18 right. now. So they have to be cautious. Bloodthirster completed for Berserker now. Gonna make him even more lethal. New Bloodthirster as well. No crit. Just attack damage and a whole lot of life. The amount of stress <laughs> feeling about. As well as the old shield. This is the, yeah, this, you're right. This is the type of. Dig needs to dig deep. I love it. 
and it's the type of game that they had a hard time closing in spring. Yeah, so Berserkers is full build here. Their defense, anecdotally, I feel like it's very strong full build. So that I mean, yeah, that should be able to just end it, right? Not sure exactly. Wow, Blabber just, just walks up. Blabber just walks up. What is this? Space checking and gets hit by the sparling despair. It doesn't matter though, because Blabber is so tanky. For the sake of Cloud Nine if that was anyone else, that might have mattered. The stress and the anxiety of this never-ending seeming game. That was good though for C9. He didn't burn anything. Warmog's gonna bring him back up. I was lost Ignite and Reconnell. Yeah. yeah. So I was great trade for C9. When Baron spawns and C9 might just use that well, as full a health. way of creating a game ending fight. Ah, uh, you just gotta be, be prepared now. for this for the Zerker. Doing a great job of if, if you can pick Berserker as a uh, dig, that might be your only possibility to win the fight. And, and I think it maybe falls down to Jensen to hit like a really good severing strike. In his career. And so far, I do appreciate Bob seeing how good Warmogs has been. Out of the jungle quadrant quite yet, but they're gonna they, yeah, they're just starting it. Now. And Vulcan has ult up. Yeah, no ultimate. No oh, they're melting this. They get the scars, but they know it's around, but there's just too much to come out of pit. Nice Weaver's wall. Really, really well played by C9. And Vulcan pops the blast cone. No one can get in. Baron is secured by Cloud9. And Soul Point is on Antos the line. is bot. Seconds. He should just be able to push this out but and grab this in him. Still heavily in favor of C9. Same situation here for Dig. Their patience is going to be running a little bit. Oh, this is Dragon Antos Soul. Is threatening that inhibitor. He's just gonna take it. Yeah. I, think I mean, they can't really back and stop soul, him. Or do you want to save your base? Because Thanatos is making short work of the. Oh wait, inhibitor. he has. Yeah, he has Baron. He Baron just and minions. He can look to end. He's actually teleporting to make sure that he can get out alive. And the rest of Cloud Nine. Oh, Thanatos going in. This has been very well done by uh, C9. Uh, can they have enough damage to burst him out? Thanatos and Thanatos, Thanatos survives. Alive. Thank you, Ocean Soul. Cloud Nine sends you. Oh, that's huge. Do not get the pick on Thanatos. Wow. Even the guardian angel would have kept him alive with the backup arriving from C9. It is seeming more and more inevitable. That yeah, how does Dig come back Rafa, here? We're gonna go I, I mean, they could grab Elder if they're able to hold off that long. In the first day of the best but at this point, they, I mean, I don't know. They've been bullied out of every split. objective. I'm not Bonus seeing how they... The legends coming at you if Cloud9 can close this one out. Here's the Weaver's Wall. Really good Weaver's Wall. And cleanse, and he's got the spell Last in him turret, yeah. Night, so he's safe for now. Licorice, Licorice is trying to do to something. Damage, and Licorice is dead! He is taking it out! And Berserker flashes on in. Tries to get some damage down. Does not pop the yeah, three and him's down. Yet. I'm not sure. The cloud nine making the siege through all three lanes. Oh, as Isles is gonna pop the quickness. Jojo, Isles did pop ult, the but stays down. Protect him. Sven is taken. Oh, out of the yeah, cloud great nine. job by Cloud Nine. Just picking Take them all off. This series away. Ding the toss. We're gonna have to fight. Game back, three. Bring it to game the three. second series going to game three. I am loving this. Beautifully played that by Cloud9. Nine. Cloud nine respond. Uh, I do want to point out that more than likely the jacks. this will be Maokai So Cloud9 last night banned the uh, Jacks. But we've seen Maokai in the support so let's see what Licorice is true. able to do. We've seen Sejuani. Wow, Faithful, is he going back to Kai'Sa? Orion against everything for Jensen. It's a really good team fight comp they have yep, right yep. now, actually. And you have decent they ball talk about systems, too. They like maybe Jax banning the Kai'Sa. Leap in. Counter Strike stun to set up into the Orianna Shock. To be fair, Maokai could also be a flex streak into support. In as well. And depending on what Dignitas picks, I don't think they're going to. Who do they pick here for the support? Alka? Now, Dignitas. Braum! That's the final piece okay. of this composition. They do have Lux. Yes, sir, the mustache is in. Options and the Glacial Prison. And it's more See of a defensive goes? option with yes. the Braum because the Glacial Fissure is not necessarily a strong engage option, but it can slow down. Ah, yeah. The story okay. players that so they signed, giving Licorice another chance in the LCS. Maokai, no ben pot. Play AD carry once again. Sedge took a pot. Popping Jensen into the mid lane as well, I, even though it didn't I go so well the first time around. When I learned Jensen. jungle, you and never are supposed to take no a pot. But now some of them take of pots. Now, other than some and I have no idea when it's right or when it's wrong to do so because I don't play enough jungle. And I'm trying to learn it, but I, I just can't figure out when I'm supposed to take the pot or why why you take the pot or why you don't take the pot. You know what I mean? It's almost like what would happen in a Interesting. Interesting thoughts for me. Also, huge trade mid lane. Dig and C9 will be facing each other in the regular season. Jensen 
always loves and relishes taking down some of his former teams, so you know he really wants this one. And C9 as well, going in early bot lane. Level one all in for Berserker and Vulcan. Gets a decent a great chunk on the but as you called it, the Braum passive, stunning up Vulcan, getting a decent trade back, but it's still advantageous for Cloud9. The flash forward! Le e onto Sven, getting his flash out as well. That uh, flash almost super trouble. punished them. The Braum stacks on top, popping the cleanse, the ignite, forcing Isles away. That was so, great body so blocking no by Berserker. Sven, no heal Isles, no ignite Vulcan, no cleanse Berserker. Two, four, three, because Vulcan flash as well. It looks like he has his flash up because his head's flash. That's wrong for you, man. That, yeah, really that's hard half to of the. Uh, I want to see how Isles plays the Summoner's bot lane. Yeah. Rafa, because he had a. And really this was Bump only engages a Vulcan. Isles or Zvet hasn't really engaged at all. Award on Blabber's red buff, so they will know once he crosses into the bottom side of the map. Since there's so just many. They missed it. They just missed it. The word oh. expired. It was right here, but it just expired before he moved down. So they don't 100% ah. see him here. You're gonna think soon. Okay. So Berserker still has flash, but Spika is trying to make the mm -hmm. move first before Blabber can complete his full clear and affect the bottom lane. If Spika can at least get the summoner spell out of Berserker, yeah. it's a win. We got the ult, or I'm sorry, got the flash. Slowly move up towards his top side. So now the re-engage later camps. on, or the regain no later on by uh, Spika could be menacing. Around, trying to steal his camps. Like no slow. summoners up for bot lane on C9 so side. Make these little pit stops and lanes. Good job by Spika. Yeah, and just really great adaptation. Once bot, bot lane gets super volatile like that, I'm immediately as a jungler trying to see if I can get there first before the other jungler can affect the lane. They didn't leave wards though. And Blabber doesn't care. Okay. I mean, Berserker's not in lane anyway, so the gank wouldn't have had any real threat. Right. The sacrifice that Spika does give up is that he is behind on levels. Mm. As Blabber's able to complete the full clear, he gets access to that bottom crab. He should be able to get access to the top crab since yeah. Jojo already has first push as well. So Blabber is slightly ahead of the curve. But considering that it's a tank on tank matchup, I think Spika's okay if that sets up Sven and Isles for a success. Exactly. I think the way that C9 actually win the game is with Berserker getting far ahead or with Thanatos really pressuring the Jax and taking multiple plates early and using that side lane pressure throughout the game. It's not through Maokai having an 8 CS advantage in four minutes against Sejuani. Right. So we'll see. I, that was always incredibly efficient, but uh, I'd say it's just, it's just a trade here. Flash for a couple camps. Anatos is starting to proxy the top side of the map. Spika getting a reset in. Book or B lining towards the top side of the map. That was a huge wave to top side, guys. Anatos picked or uh, was able to put him, up a huge wave. As a Sejuani to really threaten Thanatos. Also, no, definitely not. Spika Thanatos saw getting pressure, trying to get some information with which Thanatos, right? It, but, and then uh, he walked in front of Thanatos. Really just fairly neutral at the start of this game. Aside from the spiciness we saw at level one, kind of right? <laughs> skill checking each other, ego checking each other, Jojo and Jensen, and then in the bot lane as well. A uh, couple skill shots falling a little bit sideways that could have, I think, led to kills on either side, but that's uh, that's the aggression level that Sven is bringing up against his former bot lane. CS is still even between the former duo. Now rivals in this 80 carry lane. We saw... Moments of brilliance from Sven on Varus in pretty much the entire series so far up until this game three. Where's the Berserker? Jojo Kun is he in trouble? Blabber's nearby. The shockwave just pulls him right back on top of the sombrero. But Spika gets flipped up. Hmm. And Jojo not in any real danger. Yeah, Jojo definitely wins that trade. I mean, Jensen probably even lost more health, no longer has the ultimate. And Jojo ends up maybe just a little bit too soon. Spika wasn't uh, quite, quite ready to help with that engage. Here now with the level advantage, this is where it starts kicking in. They can maybe think about dragon soon, but yeah, just not enough, not enough bot pressure at the moment to make anything happen. Yeah. And even though they have the summoner advantage on Berserker, it's difficult for Isles and Sven to really punish that. No, I totally understand the love of big water bottles. And having this silly little handle here is amazing. Concussive blow stacking. I deeply appreciate it. playing at range. They seed wave control, but he's still safe. So C9 has definitely been the one prioritizing grubs. Spika doesn't get a chance to really answer back on the dragon quite yet. I mean, way higher priority on grubs for Cloud9 than for Dignitas this series. I think if you're thinking about just the first spawn, 
of grubs. That's going to be nine grubs for C9 and yeah. zero for Dignitas. Which I, I, so, I think grubs is really strong, don't get me wrong. Because Blabber has a little bit of extra time. Their bot lane did decide... Beautiful. To I have to remember to do that if I ever play Maokai jungle. Or any jungle to try and do that. Because that was with these guys coming beautiful up, to watch. If they're going to try and dive and break this game open through top lane. Because Dick doesn't know this is here yet. Yep. Spika is in the area. Believing level 6 after this red buff. If he does, mm. then it'll be huge. I don't see where Blabber is, so I don't know. Oh, no, he, he's, oh wow! Berserker's there! Volgan's there! Everyone in the kitchen sink! No way, wait, 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 no, this isn't possible. Wait, wait! He's my Blabber! With the flash kill! And clips Licorice into the ground! Speaker's forced to flash, and that's first blood for Cloud9! That's the play, and also that the was beautiful. fortification is gone now. They so did they invest a lot up there, though, so they kind of needed that. Trading them with the bot side, but then since they didn't have someone die, Thanatos teleports into the bot side to check this turret. That was a great overall play by Cloud9, even if it very nearly didn't get the kill. Yeah, that would have been rough if Jax got out of that. Licorice dire, played it beautifully. I really thought that Licorice was about to get out for a second. But really good flash by Blabber. Having yet to make an impact on the map, maybe hey. can look. Oh, Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan. On a Jensen. E locks down Jensen, but he still has Oh, Jensen flash, just walks out. He is not pressed to use it just yet. Wow, really well played all over by everyone. On Oriana. It's almost like they're pros. A lot of people would have considered flashing that situation. Just holds completely strong. Let's the wave crash. Clears and the then Dig and does end up getting drag. With the swap back, end up getting the Drake for their troubles most likely. Unless On this Vulcan. Vulcan. No, okay, okay. I could hope. Would be cool if he sniped it. But Dignitas secure the first dragon of the game. No large inherent gold advantage for Cloud9 quite yet. Just just shy of 1k. But they're going to have to do a lot more to really snowball it in this game. As we saw in game two, they Let's were for see. the most part ahead. Despite not being a huge yeah, I mean, it's still just a really close game. A long time to close Most out of the goals on the yeah, Maokai, I mean, I funnily enough. If C9 wins this one, they have to win it. Who is actually that, destroying uh, Sedge and Farm as well? 21. How much scaling Dignitas has and how kind of disgusting. Their okay. Team fighting is going to be. Yeah. So C9 definitely needs to look to continue to make more plays. Like 1,000 gold through nine minutes is good. Like 1,000 gold, three grubs. It's a good start to this game, but they need to find. Ooh, that was a good engage by Renekton. With, that was really spicy. You know, I almost wish I could watch the rest of it. For the sake of Cloud Sven has been doing really good farming. Like he's been able to keep up with his Berserker all of these games. Sven's looked good. Did not find a window where they could punish him during. And he played Varus every single time. They just never cared enough to ban Varus. They did pick Varus pretty early on. And they must be just in their mind, like way worried about Senna or Ash or something like that compared to the Varus. Really about when they get their first. But yeah, Sven's been really good on this Varus. Losing the Drake will hurt them a little bit, but I think overall. If Cloud9 wins this Let's one, see. they know uh, where Vulcan is, one of those and then barons, they see what his edge is. So many pings, dude. They're so good at looking at their but map and way, pinging and whatnot. Uh, still, we've had pretty low kill early games, I'd say, in the series, even if the games themselves have been fairly active. Yeah. There's been a lot of meticulous action from <laughs> both sides of this series. They've been very reserved. And Let's see, Lickrish is pretty, where they want to move pretty on the aggressively postured. I, despite being a you level know, down, actually. Was playing on the Vi. Every time he had cease and desist up for the first 15 they, minutes, they he got Blabber. something done. This time on the Sejuani, has not found anything yet. He so no wonder he could posture so aggressively. He, he truly in, believed in that in time, uh, and ended up that ward. To flash away and Ooh, what a great grab from uh, Jojo. It didn't end up mattering a whole yeah, bunch, but like that was still Blabber good. Is camping out the next set of grubs. They really want. They really want these grubs. Yeah. Of those, it appears. Oh, we'll they got vision on it. First on so they know this. Well, I don't this think. I don't think they're in any kind of position to This is a huge fight when you are going for max control on objectives because now yeah. you start spamming those saplings and normally if this yeah. is Malachi, you don't care about the saplings but with Leandre's rush and early on in the game wow he already has Leandre's being so far ahead in gold really mattered it's even more difficult for Dignitas to challenge and contest these corridors very aggressive by Berserker be the recipient of another die but Miles is here speak up here oh and, and the turn up Thanatos early, the and maybe on uh, uh, Vulcan as well Okay, okay, wait, so Berserker was able to get Licorice, though? That was really, really well played. Okay. Ooh. So they did end up killing Vulcan eventually. It just took a little bit longer than I thought it would. And also, the teleport was expended there, so Jensen can potentially get more free time with this bot turn. Yeah, wow. Executed dive. 
Thereby I think it was a little aggressive by Berserker, but maybe that was what was absolutely necessary. Because they always didn't died. get so yes, licorice. licorice. But Thanatos goes down as well, which won't open up a huge gap between him and the Jacks. So this is actually a little I, bit I like ahead now. I see I really like okay, so let me watch exactly. Lane, so I'm seeing Vulcan the stun start this play. going in by Berserker. In early. They've already burned a lot of their CC. Oh. So they think they kind of just have to go. And it um, just, just got stunned up on so many different things. Being heated up and killing them. Great engage by JoJo. Now that I'm rewatching it, that was actually so well played by JoJo. A big win for I think that's the only reason they ended up getting him. Not they did have to invest everything up there, though. The play cleanly and rushing steps. You really want your tankiest members to soak up the turret. So they can Ow, kind of max heartbreaking that Sedge has both kills, though. Finishing off I mean, super tanky with now. With that, They're no longer uh, behind the Maokai. Now suffering the consequences as Dignitas equalized the game in gold. Yeah. Back to normal lane setups. Cloud Drake up in about 40 seconds. Jensen mm. trying to rush towards that first item, but it's How slow aggressively do you think Ding's gonna posture for this chapter, so second drag? Not necessarily either mid laner is gonna be super powerful. I like the uh, Jojo and Vulcan are still top. Answer into the Leandri is actually Sejuani versus Maokai here because you'll have the jungler checking the saplings. So Sven's gonna be able to pick up. At the end of the day. Yep. Ooh! Then, wow, they went for that ult. Able to sidestep the chain of corruptions. Very crucial since he is He's really without low a flash here. summer ha. spell after the, the botched dive on the top side of the map. Would have been able to use cleanse, but, but then at the same time, Jojo just picks up that turret. Yeah, to just go for this dragon first and turret top. Alongside the rest of Cloud9. Berserker below 50% HP trying to catch this wave. Thanatos is here. But there's multiple I mean, members of Cloud9 on the top side. Yeah, it looks like they just really, they were willing to lose top to posture for this drag. Yeah, Cloud9. And they did get bot as well. So, yeah, they just postured so bot for the top. Gold. Uh, that was they were able to get a little bit of damage on mid as well. Lane swapping early is that first turret gold bonus would be increased. But it does mean that second Drake for Dignitas. And I think overall it's kind of going as planned for Dig because they want to just outscale and absorb. Well, oh wait, are they also gonna grab the uh all the void grubs and all the rift heralds? The rift herald as well? And, 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 until that it looks turns like it, into nobody's gonna be able to come stop game, him. I think Dig is very happy giving it to him. Yeah, because normally wow. you have six void grubs, it empowers a lot of your long range marksmen to siege the turrets quickly. Unfortunately for them, their only AD carry is a Kaisa, and that's a relatively short range marksman. Yeah, so I think they're just gonna drop it mid. Safely, considering that there is a lot of long range disengage from Dignitas. The All right, Sven. All right, Sven. Still hasn't popped the flash. Finally does oh, it, but Blabber is already on the way. Just too much. Advance, that was a great ult by JoJo as well. I agree with everyone. Getting the kill, and I'll Vulcan was able to hit him. Well. Blabber was able to follow really up, nice and JoJo was able to stop nine. him from getting too far away. Descending on mid lane. Burning all four summoner spells and hey, still getting Sven. the kill. I would. And Sven used all his. Uh, Sven would have cleansed flash. Used his cleanse flash. If he would have been able to escape, but nonetheless, when you send five people mid, you'd expect to be able to get at least one kill. Let's watch this one more time. Oh so, yeah. All four summoner spells up. Those ults. As Vulcan lands. The Leon ultimate and like right here. Oh he wow, he actually got stunned there. I thought he was on the edge of it. A little bit earlier. Uh, that way he might have enough distance. So Blabber can't get that W. So does Ben cleanse and then walk into and the next one? They actually live. Is that what like happened? That, but live and learn as Thanatos is getting ganked up. He has flash and he pops. So you assume Zamdos just dies, right? Know, yeah. Gonna bail him out this time in the two v one. Okay. Easily get. I honestly wasn't sure at first with that turn. Staff. So rest the Dignitas able to collapse and pick up a clean kill. Whereas the rest of Cloud9 still laying siege to this. Wow, yeah, one. they did use it on mid. Will crash. They should be able to pelt the turret. Yeah, Varus ultimate misses means T9 can stay fairly aggressive. Yeah, Spence missed two ults there. It, That's rough. I think with no Varus ult, no Sejuani ult, they're just going to easily grab it. Just tap more hit. Tap it. There you go. <laughs> they got there eventually. They couldn't even. It would have been stupid to defend that turret too much right, more. Well, the map if you tried to defend a, a non existent turret that died, that would have been rough. ones on the top side and the mid lane as well. So it makes it easier for them to push so that. So the only turret encroaching that Dig the has is the bot side toss. turret. And when you have For the mid and like top that C9 has been able to grab. They are going to start littering all the jungle corridors of Dignitas. Gonna make it super uh, you know, Kaisa is pretty enter. far ahead. And if you ever step into two and a oh, he's a thousand up from Forest. Yeah, Vulcan is waiting. Or he has Kraken. Lights out. 
And the way C9 won game mm. two, even if it was drawn out, was through really dominating vision control. They, going rage they played next the side lanes well, and they kind of just picked off Isles uh, many, many times. This time, though, I'd say Dig, even though they don't have, like, an amazing Dig's way to, con definitely to seems answer to be that, they're just stronger fighting Drag fight. So they're more likely to be able to just group up and go than they were in the last game where they had to kind of group up, poke To be really fair, I think Dig might video. scale a little bit more. So... Not by much, though. I honestly can't really say who's going to win this game. It's been such an incredible series. C9 trying to crash down on this bot lane. They need to make these kinds of plays happen since they don't have any drakes. Uh -huh. Dignitas answer back with three members of their own, so they're able to dissuade the just dive picking up some R4 on <laughs> Finding nothing on Licorice. He's been able to Definitely solo farm quite a bit this game. As well. Cloud Nine, I mean, one it does look like JoJo's going to be heading up. The series was, can they grow from the big conflict from their spring split? Let's can see. they find a way to close out these Wow, games there's actually four down here. At 15 minutes, Looks like Sven's making his way. How they the oh, look at that! Game. Too bad to hit Vulcan of all people. Prison, but it is tanked up by Cloud Nine. No one is in danger quite yet. Yeah, I mean... You're not killing anybody with Sijuani, Braum, Jax, in every <laughs> four, no matter how much CC you land. And honestly, uh, I don't know how much damage this uh, overall, though, Sven's going to be oh, able to do with Varus. Hello? I mean, he's popping the Counter-Strike early. Him. Get him. Yeah, he's wow, going to make Killer Instinct in, Leap Strike, and the Flash from Licorice to answer Vulcan's own flash, flash. but that was really aggressive by Licorice. HP. Spica has to make sure he did, can did he maybe think he had follow-up? Out to safety. Double TPs! I believe it's coming in from wow. Jensen. Wait, wait, Lucas is Beyond. still backing? Spica, wait, what am I missing? Decent combo, seismic shove on the Spica. Oh, Spica's dead? Oh, Spica down, and he leaves yeah, just that's a rough. committed once again. Cloud9 punishing the jungler of Dignitas. Ooh, Sven dealt quite Barely a bit of damage on Blabber there. Okay, another positive play for Cloud9. Oh, wait, was Lucas backing to be able to match Stannis' uh, top? Or, I'm sorry, mid. That tracks a little bit more. A little bit of CC. Blabber can fly in. It's a little, little surprising. Kaisers still hurt as much as they always have. Wait, but it looks so like Dig set up pretty though, well to be able to do drag. That kill, I think Dig is actually just going to push this to soul. I think Dig's Blabber happy with this, aren't they? He's going to get vision on the dragon now, thanks to the sapling. I mean, but Licorice is blocking the top corridor. Yeah. I, I, I'd almost want to say suicide for this, but they can't get vision to make it a safe suicide. Yeah. And I think no spike on Dick. He could have just stolen it if he had vision. But That's I crazy. If Blabber was Dick does just grab that soul point. I don't know. Baron is still up for, isn't up for another 30 seconds. Maybe Cloud9 would have had time if Blabber died for the dragon. Huh. Got a chance to respawn. I looked Deploy like, it looked like that was really bad for Dick until they got the dragon. Now it forward. seems like, yeah, I'm in the same like, yeah, they're down gold wise, but they're, they're at soul point for the, I mean, it's only 20 minutes in. I've been trying to find this window to talk about Dignitas overall because it is actually very exciting that they're pushing Cloud9 this deep in the series. Just because the existing synergy between all of these players, they are a little bit thrown together. Like, they all are connected in a strange way, but to have three players that didn't play last split, oh, that true. have all played a long time, and in theory would all have slightly or very different views on the game, to come together and look cohesive off the bat. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah, for Dig this year. It's just really year. impressive to me. Or especially split, I guess is a better way to put I it. When I think about all the rumors I was hearing that Dig actually wasn't playing that well in scrims. Yeah. So I they were going through it in off season, trying to make all this work. And first game against Cloud9, like, good luck, guys. Yeah. Um, and they're they're going toe to toe with them. They I do expect that Cloud9 is just seen as such team, a household name in the LCS. A great series, and I'm just and everyone just respects them as, as the as a strong team. But Dig is playing great. I think the benefit of having so many experienced To be fair though, C9 has been Blabber up in gold like every game. Wait, the Glacial Prison is huge! Oh, he's dead. Yep, 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 so dead. It. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. For he got the blue buff! And actually, I, I think I'm wrong. Uh, Dignitas might have gotten the, the secure on yeah, blue buff. Yeah, Dig got the blue as well. Yeah. Oh, then it wasn't yeah. worth it. Oh, man. <laughs> And he, he, did that for dig, or he did that for Blubuff and died. Licorice has TP. He can block Thanatos from moving in. But, but Ooh, Berserker's wait. really strong. This is a pretty risky move for Dig. No Sejal. Actually, I don't think no it's risky Bravo, at all. No Verisault. And they're melting just this? just trucked him for a bunch of damage. Let's see. Everything would have to come down to a massive shockwave from That's Jensen. Teleports are coming in from Thanatos. Jojo Pion is going to use the Weaver's Wall to try okay, to... Okay, Licorice is there. The all they need to do... Wait! Wait! 
these the first Berserker melted them Vulcan is traded. Berserker beautifully played by uh, a Vulcan what a good ult and everything wait Sven wait doesn't matter prediction's huge wait that's crazy okay and Berserker should be able to follow up here are they gonna get the kill on Spika oh they got so punished for that Baron just in time for Blabber to get back on the map. Oh, are they just they just grab Baron now. What a cue by Thanatos. C9 now move towards the Baron. They can blow this gold lead to at least wow. 1000 here. Thanatos That might have been the turning second, point. Like he wasn't going to quite chase in for the kill, but he gets it and there's a teleport. Jensen wants something to happen. Mika, we know this guy can steal Barons, but he can't get into the pits. Well, thought 100. Yeah. HP. Okay, Blabber, okay. Fishing for the Glacial Prisons. A uh, flash from Blabber trying to go Wait, and they're, they're on Jensen well. again. Wait, Jensen Vulcan, you're playing so out of your mind. Oh, Wait, what a shockwave. Wait, Berserker's going to gonna be able to follow up, though. But Berserker ends it. The run. Berserker's Ooh. still alive. And he can still run amok on Dignitas, and they have to see the fight. Oh. Okay. That, that was, was cool. close. So it's not blown completely wide open. Cloud9 do secure the Baron. But Jensen is Zerker is huge right now. This game, and you can see how I did not put enough respect on his name earlier. Them. I'd say, where are we going back to? We're going back to the original. Look at just how much damage Berserker does here. They were just so melted. Low Baron. And it's great ult right there by the Vulcan. And it but why, okay, so watch this uh, Renekton Q right here. Job dodging the Berserker engage, but here oh. Thanatos, it's and it so heals nice him so much too. That's rough. He survived and everything. And then also Blast Cone himself into safety. Yeah, Berserker hurts so bad. Was the perfect set of plays at the end there by Thanatos. And Cloud9 do have the lead in this game. Oof. Cloud9 that was beautifully played by like everyone. <laughs> Little bit better played by C9 it looked like, but beautifully played by everyone. One more yeah, that was a great Renekton play. And look and try to put the finishing touches on this game because Dignitas are at soul point. Yeah, which is coming up in 35 Yeah, Baron seconds. as well. No cleanse flash on Berserker. So he's 503. So Dig, Dig's like real game, goal here is to just be able to somehow posture to be able to grab drag and not lose too many turrets, right? Soul, and that mountain soul is more than enough to make up for the 3,000 gold difference. So massive play here as Mountain Drake spawns in 20 seconds. Can Dignitas find the inner strength to withstand the onslaught of Cloud9? So Licorice is setting up pretty deep there. Almost 4, 000, 000 so he's hoping for uh, like a flank play. Coming up in five seconds as Cloud9 fights I mean, they have decent CC oh, the on the side of Dig. Oh, with the Glacial Prison. Oh, wait, but Vulcan into the back. Vulcan. And it's over. Wait, it's over. Jensen just kills them all. Huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Speaker survived. Dragon. Lucky, lucky on that point. But yeah, they grabbed Jack for sure. Going over to Cloud Nine. This, this series has been a banger, man. That wow. Engage was so. Crazy. Yeah, Vulcan's all oh. absolutely catches everyone on Dig in the choke point. It allows Jojo to combo up with the seismic shove and doesn't give Dig a chance. Oh, Licorice, Licorice is just and dead here. Licorice might be in nope. trouble. Okay, in the flash over the wall. No further lockdown for the rest of Cloud9, but that is a summoner spell down for the top laner Dignitas. As they oh, they're grabbing two turrets here. Yeah, I think that, that Baron just turned the game the around. From crumbling, Cloud9 just making short work of the tier two in the mid lane. And this is best of three So yeah, man. just watch this one, Vulcan. He e queued ulted, it's and it was so beautiful. Really right on his Ben. For Dig to actually make it through this narrow choke because they don't have waves, so they can't approach from there and look at Vulcan. So he actually didn't eat Sven, or, or anything. It was Jensen. I apologize. No real threat on him since they've been able to one oh, they just melted him all so bad. Sven out of the fight Sven was the only well. one who, <laughs> who like, and didn't die. Oh, and it's funny, because so Licorice set up so far away. Right, Licorice was really trying for that series. flank play, and then it turned into Vulcan just him being too far away. Finding his stride in the back half of this series now, the first game, a lot of the solar players were not quite hitting, but this time around in game three, he's landed two critical solar flares onto the backline members. Yeah, Vulcan's playing out of his mind. He played pretty good on Poppy last Sven, game too, but Leona's looking yeah. good well on him. Both the summoner spells from him and Isles, and now that last one near the dragon, denying soul away from Dignitas and Cloud9. If this is the form that they can try and continue improving on as the summer split goes, maybe they can eventually become the super team that was promised yeah. at the beginning of the super season. Super team! I'll say, if the meta is going to be tank supports that build warmogs, that's really good for Vulcan. Yes, sir. He 
he excels. Yeah, at lots of war mods. Fighting and finding angles. He was much weaker in the Enchanter meta compared to his greatness on <laughs> tank support. So even if it oh, seems so much paper, damage by Berserker. Like Cloud Nine just wow, look, he went the Terminus. Laner, the meta changed. So he doesn't even have, have uh, they the enhanced Reaper uh, W. As well. He went on a journey, in, so they're gonna have a lot of opportunity. Razorblade doesn't to give enough. He needs Nashus too, so he needs some kind of AP item. Reach the potential that we know they have. So instead of going and completing his, his not just passive on W, he chose Terminus. He up with JoJo and Blabber. I think the way they've been able to establish vision. Honestly, he's so far ahead, though. That might be the right a move. Large sign of growth from what we saw. He doesn't need a poke. In spring, he wants one person to get CC, and he's dashing sure in there. That Dignitas cannot enter these jungle corridors for free. They're punishing as soon as any squishy member walks into line of sight, line of engage, and Cloud9 have now garnered the seven. So Baron's up in 45 loot. seconds. And I don't, I don't know if Dick can do anything about it. Now just trying right? I think C9 just kind of boys him out. 6K uh, up. A little bit further behind than Dignitas would want to be because yes, they have this really strong 5v5 team fighting team comp. But if they can't push any side lanes and they need to walk blind into every situation, huh. bad. Oh, wait, JoJo! Oh, the Sarah Shield with the size of Shove does buy time. He's coming in over the wall from Blabber. Okay, wait, Will wait, they end up landing on. Licorice got him! Okay. Volkis going in, but Volkis dead. Volkis is dead. And Berserker's mid. Are you kidding me? Baron's up in eight seconds. Dick can make it right back into this game. Berserker is pushing mid at the moment. And they know where sure Berserker is, too. But so they're not even worried about him coming down to help. Jensen actually goes to defend. This is going to slingshot Dick right back. So I don't think the they're going to lose the in hit, but they're going to lose the turret. The of this tier three. Jensen will answer back and clear out the minion wave real quick. Yeah. But I think the price to pay. Now, Blabber could go Blabber in here. Oh, Blabber. Could he be the hero? Nope. Too bad. Okay, okay. That would have been exciting. Back this game. It's not happening. That is crazy. They're not. Yet, folks. There's an actually TP down there too, just to speed it up. With the shockwave Will I be able to see this again? Okay, okay. So I didn't see how this started. Stays in this bush. Oh, what a beauty! Very tail end of that shockwave, and then wow. the extended. Actually, chase. I thought this was great by Blabber. I didn't Almost think they were gonna get it because it hit Vulcan. It but beauty by uh, Licorice. Jensen almost got away though. That was a great ult. On C9, and then Vulcan. I mean, Vulcan just wanted to help. Great play. You know, that's the word. It like feels the really bad. That's not like that support yeah, feeling. Like Where in your mind you're like, I need to save my mid laner, and you just get caught. You get caught with your mid laner. Glitch you there. Couldn't quite hear what speaker was saying, but now Dignitas with the Baron buff trying to push up mid lane. I can make sure. And then they're gonna rotate down for drag, right? So we're gonna get some pressure mid, rotate down, and try and for Dragon Soul. In the mid lane. Cloud9, trying to fight for posture. Soul point is up again for Dignitas. This will be interesting, because Cloud9 is still up quite a bit of gold here. And the majority of it is on Berserker. I think they absolutely want to get into the So I think they ha they ha their whole goal here is probably to get Berserker, right? So they see Berserker mid. Oh, wait, they rush it. They just rush it, right? No, no, no. Great engage by Vulcan. Wait, and Berserker went in for the flash by... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so Berserker's so low, but Berserker's able to survive. Oh, he's been dead! Wait, he's been dead! Okay, so Vulcan ends up dying, but then it just goes in! Wait, so Liquish, Liquish has to do so much work here. Because Spika's still alive, and then with uh, Liquish, are they going to be able to do enough, though? No, 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 they just get out. Berserker was so low on health, but they weren't quite able to get him. was clutch. Yeah, they huge fight. Wait, speak us here. And they weren't starting that from a winning position. Berserker barely You think speak is going to try and steal it? Licorice couldn't make it in time. And now speak No, no, they're just going to grab. Play, grab tier 2 mid, right? Yeah. C9 hold off. I need some chance going between both of the fans here. All right, so let's see here. So Joja did yeah. grab him, yeah, and then Vulcan the goes in, then cleanses, and then flashes the ult from Vulcan. But Jojo up. jumps in. Sven does dodge well at the start, but then okay, yeah. So Jojo just kills Sven uh, from there. Vulcan was a little deep, down, but it was worthwhile. Xanatos was able to jump in afterwards. And then just now Licorice Wow. But the and actually, the fact that Licorice no survived here is really good. Flash ult, and then just then gets out with the Blast Gun. But the overall fight 
is super Ooh. in favor of Cloud9. Berserker that was a hell of a fight. Zero six. He's had great back-to-back -back games on series. Six zero six on. Wow. Yeah, Berserker's looking so strong. Should have banned Kaisa maybe. And Sven was able to yeah, bam, Berserker. Woohoo! He is not an AD carry you can sleep on anymore. And he's still been trying to do I actually do this. I, I do agree with not banning. Uh, I said last game didn't look that strong. Wait, double O. Okay, double O in. Good. And now the rest oh, of and they're just gonna they're just gonna punish them for being so deep. Yeah, Sven's just dead. Oh, Isles is dead too. And the rest of they're just too deep. I mean, it's been the Vulcan Berserker show here. He's just finding the brief moments. Great. I mean, Blabber ulted and then Jojo and ulted behind him so they couldn't get out. It was then beautiful. Is just so fed in this game that he has enough damage to take them down. Sven, even if he had really great game one on Varus, good game two on Varus, just wasn't able to help keep Berserker down here. Doesn't look like he can really uh -huh. cut through the Maokai Leona or even the Renekton right now, so it feels like Dig is blacking damage. Licorice isn't involved in these fights. Yeah. Sven has lethality. That, that is Jensen's interesting. It doesn't feel like Sven has the damage they need. And Jensen's not going to be able to... Wait, wait, what a flash engage onto Jensen. Wait, is Berserker going to jump in and finish? Oh, Jensen's just dead. Jensen just dies. Wait, that's game, right? They grab the in they're gonna grab the top turret. Oh wait, Licorice got caught too! What a beautiful play! Jojo, you insane monster! What a beauty! No, they're, so they're gonna settle with just the two in the back. I, I still think that might have ended the game. So I, that, I think the game ended when they got Baron. Like, just being a little sloppy, getting a little too I know, far out. Twelve minutes ago. Flashing on him right away. That's what allowed them to clean both inhibitors. In Dig really needs to just grab this soul. I don't think they're going to gonna be able to the win otherwise. Negatron they don't have like a super scaling comp. Well, since I think like one shockwave is the fear of him actually dying. No one else is a big threat to him at the moment with the amount of life steal he has. Yeah, and even with the terminus as well, you stack up. Yeah, how do you kill yeah. Berserker here? You're like hoping he is for pretty darn durable for a marksman. I don't know, like a double vital. ult by Spika and then Isles into yeah Jensen up. Shockwave. Maybe like a Licorice Flash E. So, Dignitas completely pushed back a W. Here. I'd Whatever. Say Cloud Nine bounced back e. extremely well after that really poor loss in Counter Strike. One. Whatever Jax's Counter Strike is. More so towards. Mao Kai Sejuani, instead of Nidalee, well, Baron's up in 30 seconds. More aggressive tempo game. They made fast enough plays, and now Jojo. Oh, to on the okay, Licorice. Licorice. It'll be a while before they kill him if they get him. This is a bit tricky to execute. There's no flash from the Licorice, Licorice. Didn't know Jojo was, was there, right? Find the size of the shove, which he does. Gets a decent sign nice. down, but Thanatos is not in range quite yeah, yet. Licorice, Licorice kind of tanky. Finds the blast cone. Pops out to the left side. Love to TP. Wait, 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 wait. Can rush the Baron? Yeah, do they just rush Baron here? Can Licorice buy? Baron's about to spawn in one second. Blabber's in the area. A lot, apparently. Yeah. Wait, turret. he almost got a turret. The, there is, the thing is, there's a teleport on Thanatos to match, so I don't think they want to He's so tanky. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't grab JoJo. <laughs> that looked a lot closer than it needed to be for the side of Yeah, no Don. kidding. He, he could have grabbed that turret low key. Yeah, let's see what C9 does with this, though, because JoJo... I'm really surprised that Dick didn't try and posture more around the Baron, but maybe they could have. Like, Berserker's just unbelievably huge. They're gonna get vision for Dragon Soul. Mm. Maybe they can find a pick if Cloud9 are not too careful about how they enter the jungle corridors. When yeah, you so they definitely down get Baron 6, here. Gold, I think that is your last shot. It's a bit of a Hail Mary for Dig. They have been uh, outplayed yeah. these last two games. I don't know what Dig, Dig's gonna be able to do has here. Had more cohesive engages. Big shout out to Vulcan. Actually, I'm surprised that so many plays happen. Dig now isn't just trying to push bot. For yet more picks. Oh, wait, wait, they caught Jensen. Still no flash this is dead. And able oh, to that's game. I don't think Berserker. they're going to be able to kill Berserker. No Orianna, no shockwave available anymore to stop these minion waves from crashing into the Nexus Towers. Wow. Another pick, definitely. Great job by Cloud9 C9 finishing the series out. Teleport. Buff. Can they end? I mean, Licorice is trying to look for the flank. Can he get there in time and threaten? Licorice Berserker is coming in. Waiting. Oh, they, but they hit it on Vulcan. They go balls deep into and Vulcan's so tanky, bro. They don't find anything besides the shove. Flips them all back. Cloud9. What an insane. To take out the back line. Sven is still going to barely survive. Oh, yeah. That's game right there. That's great. What? Well played by everyone. Oh. Oh.
great, great game. I know it's not technically a reverse sweep, but C9 lost one and won the next two. Next one is 100 Thieves and NRG. All right, Sniper, what you got here? As far as jungle bands, you know, being laid out. And, and this has been kind of controversial. Riven. Like I mentioned yesterday, we have so that makes many Italy players. And with Canyon, Energy also super mm. salty because then they lost the best of five. Yes, please. As you? After that as well. Yeah. And got kicked out by it. Yes. Of thieves, so energy definitely looking for oh i've had to see here. some like uh, actual high level ezreal and ezreal finally does make his way to the bottom lane so it keeps the oh, shot of flex alive tristana rel is a potent kill lane for bottom lane just married lcs honeymoon the Nautilus. that's the right idea so leaving that flexible option here until the very last pick for energy kind of hiding their hand a little bit Meanwhile, energy. What is it going to be? Show. Oh, okay. Just Renekton. This twisted fate. Ah, it's the Renekton that had got all the way through. So looking for a jungle uh, the here. So they just grab. Here. Not super exciting. I know, like uh, Sezwani. Thirty-one. Very, very heavily banned in the games Diego? yesterday yes. as well. Very popular top lane pick as per usual. I feel like this guy's the most evergreen top yeah, lane in the game. Yeah, I'm curious what this is going to be. But hey, that's the pick for Sniper. And pairs really well with a Talia because mm -hmm. anytime you have a roaming mid laner like that, what? Uh, you have the options. Or actually, uh, is this here Ezreal with top? Lock in as well. Gonna Wait, be jungle or, I'm sorry, so Kaisa mid? Talia pairs even better with the Renekton. I missed the hook. By Isla. Immediately gets caught by a dredge line. Ayla leads the charge. Rough on FBI. And Beach is right behind him. FBI can just walk. But it could have been a lot worse. Also, no summoner spells required to be spent. Should be able to recall. Get back I think, to the I think energy just scales better. Yeah, so I feel like I'd rather be on that side. But I could be wrong. I mean, Nautilus is just filthy. Wow, okay. Whoa. Okay, Quid. Nice. Okay, Put a little poke wrong, there. Delaying his back. To annoy him just a little bit further. All right, so Quid, Ezreal here in the mid lane, 400 Thieves, another one of these AD mid laners. We, we've we been going over the super common Tristana. So I'm a little heartbroken. I would have loved to see an to, ADC but uh, Ezreal, but I'm just glad seeing an Ezreal. Is, is even fairly rare in solo queue. I mentioned that it does show up from time to time in Challenger, um, and it had a couple of builds. Um, you know, there was a lethality version that went around for a little bit, but I, I probably think he's probably going to go with the Trinity Force see, uh, this time so around. And we will see. Bullies, but another one that a little early on, a right? lot of early range, early poke power, the level and one, then getting Kaisa the shove here and onto kind of Palafox, bullies, Tristana. Rel and getting the early, so early game, it looks like it's a little bit. A, the level one little you know top lanes going over to 100 thieves energy but bot lanes going over Palafox, to 100 thieves i think for a lot of energy fans, the he's a guy that they're looking for him to really step up in summer compared to spring we even heard from palafox last split how he felt like he had some seriously weak performances in a lot of those games back in summer of last year when these guys surprised everybody right, palafox, i respect that to become champions he was a huge part of it but now here in the bottom lane the jump or, uh, just not out, a jump to jump into ezreal when he eat over ignited, but he and who he can was really aggressive by Ezreal, really but scared. it looks like it was I mean, kind of an even trade. This is one of the most exciting things about, you know, the improvement that we saw from Quid from last year into spring. It was not only that he was playing so much better and had so much All right. synergy with his team, but first mid lane Ezreal though. Of fun I love it. You know, he was the one with the Aatrox counter pick, slamming mid. Mm -hmm. A lot of flexibility given to his coaches. Uh, and they have the confidence in him to be able to pull those out. Oh, so big wave stacked up there by Dokla. This time around. Meanwhile, uh, check on the but I mean, yeah, you expect well, that kind of from TF here. into uh, Always going to get the Renekton. early buildup of the minion waves. Whenever yep. you're running the Twisted Fate into a lot of these more generic... Beautiful farming matchups, from Sniper. Very easy to slow push your wave. You always want to slow push it. Don't ne unnecessarily oh. quick push it. Uh, so that you can get that extra wow. Power, Let's get, oh wow the flash yeah Ayla ready to lock down so Huey's dead River in first blood for Meech for support it's first blood over to Meech yeah and that was kind of set up again off of the level one but that was beautiful I was actually you know that was really well played for Isla. I didn't expect to flash auto I was really looking for the Q so I think that was that was really well played this is already just so fun to watch uh, obviously, bot lane scrap. Wow. You brought up, though, that these two teams have been really specifically flexible around their solo laners. Uh, and 
Obviously, Sniper. 15 most in LCS. Oh, most I heard about that. Because Sniper's really, really young. Um, but he did have the most solos. A previous headshot there when Sniper was able to solo kill. Now he has the target on his face, right? So we'll see how this top lane goes. For Summer, he has. I've heard that there are some theories of like people weren't respecting Sniper, which is why he got so many solo kills. More so than like he's just really, really that good. But I'm curious to watch him because he's he's now been there for a little while. He's been able to kind of hopefully earn the respect that he deserves because like, like, I, I don't feel like I've seen him play super bad or we'll anything like that, that and he's a pro player right punish him. but we'll see with the Renekton like we were talking about in draft great right, poke by quid shove, the point and click stun can really be a threat but we have to get that weaver's wall in line first yeah whenever you do have especially this pairing combo uh against the twisted fate top like that that wants to abuse your top laner as much as possible pushing into tower getting that turret plate money off of the slow pushes uh, and then looking for Love to see the farm. Well. <laughs> your big point, your big counterplay is a flash the drags stun up from the in five seconds into the Talia, mm -hmm. the you know jungle gank up on top side that should try and punish hmm. uh, the twisted fate. But if Dokla's able to to easily scale up there, actually Renekton get to his old even with farm right now, that's really impressive. To the rest of the map. Then energy have a go, lot sniper. of really good scaling options when you have twisted fate uh, and a Tristana on the same team. Not only is it a lot of global pressure, it's also a lot of tower pressure, quickly being able to take down turrets. Um, and then level six here, first, but I'm sure Doka's going to get level map, six on this way. Yeah, and we'll see where River decides to go uh, after this. He has paid just a little bit more attention towards bot and mid. I do like... Again, right River, we've seen him play this before, but my right. like, quintessential River games are always ones where he is going in and affecting his lanes early. Obviously, yeah. they didn't necessarily I, I'm need really curious him to, to see, set up uh, the bot side, but he was there already and aware of what was going on. Um, see, I think who's going to be prioritizing to Grubs compared to really Drag? Because Cloud9 really, really prioritized Grubs, and I mean, they ended up winning. I mean, I it did work out for them. He first came into the league, and he was the Jarvan guy, and he's it just looks like, uh, hundred thieves. Gangs all over the they place. They really want these Grubs. Obviously, he's evolved from that reputation since then but i feel like if you're ever known as the jarvan guy you've got to be an early ganker you've got to be an early playmaker <laughs> you've got to be some guy who wants to affect the lanes like that but right now it's him and sniper they're going to acquire looks like all three of these grubs all right without any sort of a contest from energy the drake on the bottom side not we'll see how important that ends up being but i i side. mean i think river and hundred thieves pretty happy about that yeah and that was set up because i think it depends know, a lot on the team and stuff you're playing it, but i think drags if you can get two uncontested drags I think it's better so than two uncontested uh, grubs, but I'm not sure if I'm not sure if anyone would be able to agree with that based on how the last couple of LCS games have gone. So we'll see, because there were a couple times that the losing team stacked up three drags and then just ended up losing. We'll see if energy makes that any different. We just got attacked Whoa. by a hex dragon. What was that? <laughs> that spooked I don't know. me. I don't know if that was as loud for everybody else as it was for us, but... Yeah, I jumped. The, the hex dragon <laughs> just that was super unleashed loud. on us. <laughs> okay, uh, as that's, it goes uh, down. Uh, that, that's, if that's what it's like in the game for the characters, that's pretty scary. The hex dragon was previously my favorite dragon because I really like the stats, but now, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a secure spot. Uh, <laughs> we'll take a look, though, here as we do get a reset. This is an uh, interesting uh, matchup, not only against well, Rel. Mention it, but uh, like Nautilus has better engage, but Rel is really good disengage. Uh, had a really smooth and I mean, Rel has good engage too. Don't get me wrong. Well, it's debatable, and some people are on the dragon side and looking for longer games and going for souls, and some people are on the newly buffed Grub side of it. I personally, and I know a lot of junglers, really like when you're the team that is built around going for the Grub Ooh. side because the Grubs themselves give so much more experience. Oh yeah. Uh, and, oh, I didn't know and, and that. Resources to the jungler that that takes them. Grub so skill gives just that, that nice much more experience. Little, little buff there in River with the level seven uh, on Talia now. Probably Excuse finally me. looking to make uh, some real moves here. He has picked yeah. up a Dark Seal. And whenever you grab your early dark seal, you usually want to follow it up with What's some uh, with some early yeah. kills, some early stats there. So I would expect at some point uh, a visit here to either the Nautilus or to the Renekton. Those are the two that are really going to set you up for the big plays. And of course, with 100 Thieves, bottom lane having that really good and easy, honestly, start to where it's they actually, got that very kind it's, of free kill. Maybe it's because the last games I watched were uh, so aggressive. It's been a really slow game well, so far. It's only one kill, nine minutes in. The top side and sending Renekton bot. So 
we have a little bit of a kind of a delay. It looks like mid laners are rotating towards on. mid. And we'll see what hundred. Kind of curious why though. Looking for a oh, Ayla oh. coming in, but he does not connect. If Ayla would hit that hook, Alphox is already low though. Okay, quid. Okay, quid. Meech. Wait, he quit and Meech. Great, great hook right there by uh, Ayla. Surprise play right there from Hundred Thieves. They that was still in the really well done. Swap on the the recall timing that you mentioned, Emily. And then when they go for the play. It's too. actually not even the Nautilus Flash that gets it off the ground. Yeah. It is River with the seismic shove here. Rivers to Leah flashes forward and 100 Thieves. They wow, so Quid got a kill, so now he's here. a little now bit farther ahead from this uh, from this Triss. Gold lead. And then Meech uh, with a second kill. close to the second spawn of Grubs, only 40 seconds away as well. Yeah, and it gets Sniper out, right, where he's able to push this wave in. Meech should almost be on his first item by this point, right? This really good game. damage right here by Quid. Dredgeline misses, but Talia is just such a strong champion. For oh, yeah, that was beautiful by uh, River. I did not give enough respect to it a minute ago. That was crazy good. The ult right into the knockup. Yeah. Great hook by says, Isla as well. I'll do it myself. Goes in <laughs> on the Talia. And Golden Glue's like, that's my jungler. That's my jungler. He's pumped, man. Uh, that was beautiful. Honestly, those are the types of plays that people were expecting. When they saw this river signing originally, even mm -hmm. in spring, everyone was so hyped for this squad, this 100 Thieves squad that kind of took spring by storm. And oh, wow. NRG are, are starting the, the, uh, uh, the so grubs. It's nice to see them here in summer. Starting out with some really big plays. It looks like River kind of wants to contest, but he's doing it very respectfully. 400 thieves, so could join it to make it the full, full squad. All right, first grub is about okay. to die. Energy's going to secure that one, but Ayla, Quid, and River. So really, 100 thieves test. just need Beach one. Oh, oh wait, Hui's dead. Quid just gets Hui. Great hook by Isla, And then an ult on the Palafox. But oh, River's so low with Isla, super low as well. All right. They're not only gonna take I, I think energy won that. That's for sure. And I think the big difference. They end up getting through the grubs too. So 100 okay, thieves doesn't really get that benefit of having the fourth grub the, he, with the little uh, little really might. Behind, as you can see, where the good. teleport is going, by to in, is going to come in. So I thought this was beautiful by Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> that was just beautiful. Let's see what happened to Meech. I, I think that's good old by Ayla as well. Flank, okay, so Meech just plays safe. Flank, but instead, energy, which is good. I think it's good because they survived. Given over uh, that bounty would not have helped anyone. Oh, I, they don't right have a bounty, there. I guess. Uh, and energy are like, oh, great. Two on one. <laughs> we'll just pick up some extra kills on top of our grubs. So huh. energy Ezreal has a bounty. I, I wonder why Kaisa doesn't. And Ayla's dead. Oh, wait. Is Riven dead too, though? And River might just join. Yeah, wow. That bomb was crazy. Ooh. Yeah, 100 Thieves with a head. But now Energy's going to grab the second Grubs, and it's going to grab the second Drag for free, because they were also able to kill the River, or kill River. But... In the last couple of plays here, Let's Energy see. really just taking what is right in front of them. Multiple objectives. Did get on three plays top? Stokely here now trying to. I only saw them get two, but the they might have gotten the third one earlier. I'm not sure. A bunch of extra turret plates in payment for that. Super spicy energy. to do that on Red Ecton. And now I'm curious to see how Energy want to be able to set up. This okay, hundred thieves are still up in gold wins, though. It's only a couple hundred, but. Picks, right, because. Contracts is going to be kind of quiet in relation to his lanes thus far, at least, you know. Wow, Dogla's 3-0. and oh. familiar with him, right, Kobe? So Sniper has to be careful. Dogla's so, got Kraken Slayer. I mean, he's going to hurt. Such great setup for the damage to come All the gold is on uh, carries at this on point. Ezreal's 2-0. Kais is 2-0. TS 2-0. Or I'm sorry, 3-0. Freeze people on the back line as well. I'm really curious how FBI is going to, or when, excuse me, FBI is going to hit those big breakpoints on the stacks. Yesterday when we saw Jan playing the Smolder in the series against FlyQuest, he hit that 225 mark just about 21 so minutes in So they got to play bot lane. Right now, Did anyone get that gold, though? Four stacks, 13 and a half minutes in for FBI. So I want to see him accelerate that just a little bit. Yeah, definitely a, a lot slower. It didn't look like it, but I could also be wrong. For Smolder, and 100 Thieves still have oh, wow. the extery that, was that they got a very quick the, plate the for Quinn. And Stipe's just getting another plate. Play, so 
they still have really fed AD carries here. Like, Dogla them, is uh, very clearly four, ahead of Sniper from this point, considering he's 3 and out. But Sniper's getting uh, so much well just for free. Getting a bunch of the kills uh, for me cheer, so... Are they just the, not? Yeah, the wow, you got the turret! The, same here. the first turret at 14 back. minutes! Also just got level 11 on the Ezreal, which, by the way, they keep buffing That's his That's so ultimate. interesting. The rank 2 on the ultimate <laughs> is crazy now. This thing is, is getting to nuclear levels pretty soon. Uh, Ezreal okay, so NOG does get the, uh, the rift. The objective's already been taken. Yeah, objective oh, secured engage by on Ayla? They take the fight. Wow, they melted Hui! Oh, and a Sniper's beautiful engage by Sniper as well. Q hit everyone. And Meech is the one holding the axe. As Dokla, Let's see, FBI is Mitch going to be able to kill anyone? Away, he does have the cleanse with the gold card. And River and Wait, what a great pushback, River. It's beautiful. And FBI Three does get away with Pal Fox. Let's take a, another look at that. Okay, so Sniper's trying to set up the flank angle. Contracts um, engages. Energy, oh, but great engage by Ayla. Good for zoning, but then oh, and just so much damage Ayla from... I'm almost just everyone of 100 Thieves. Still so much damage. And then obviously... With this composition, 100 Thieves they are already weren't, They weren't even quite able to get Ayla. Spot. It was a really good ult by FBI, though. Really like, he output quite a bit of damage. Oh, good sidestep there. Dodge the quid. He it's forced out so the ult, though. Quid was able to force out FBI's ult. Right? That was like, really good. She's just such a great champion. It was a good fight. Yeah, 100, 100, 100 really Thieves is just a little bit better. Well. I mean, you mentioned it, but Huey just exploded across those rocks. And the yeah, double AD Huey, Huey just got melted. Were like, that was so much. I don't think he could have done anything differently. It's just... <laughs> and even though Meech was a little bit far away, he's Kaisa, so had an easy time joining off of the platform. Ooh, there's four into up the ultimate top there. side, though. So 100 Thieves increase their They're trying to pressure and even further represent, like, to to fight drop off. and rift. Still have some wow, but Quinn just got the bar for that. There's they, just so many people up there. Everybody kind of four people up on the top side and get defended, though, so... They're losing out a lot on the map right now. They had invested. Oh, so River. Many people, oh, River with Ayla. Wait. Oh, they got the flash out of contracts. Just to barely escape. 200 HP is enough to get them out. just wasn't quite close enough to be able to ult in. Who we talked about finding that nice play earlier, then throwing the game back over to energy. They're now 4,000 gold ahead again. Yep, definitely a very big one for them. We got a lot they of gold there. Successful defense on the top side grouping that we mentioned, and then energy. On top, gonna, baby. They don't lose the kill, but they, they go Kevin the with the six in instead the of an E. Ultimate. So that is a huge window now. Again, that Herbert hundred this game. have to continue to counter this smolder? lead with their fed she, carries. I don't know. About 50 People say counter a lot. I don't know how true that always is. That is the Some champions do counter others, but I think it's overused a little bit. Shortly, so. Get your resets in now. You've got 30 seconds uh, and wow. some to go get your control wards and set up your vision. Alpha Fox kind of looks we'll terrifying right here. Respond. They can obviously do the kind of drop Harold mid into Drake setup that is the classic. Um, if you look at yeah, with contracts up here, I think they just get the top right. Top side. Uh, oh, Smolder and Rel are also so just making their way up top side. Looks like I mean they're right in the top side turret or yeah, I'm sorry, top side river. Making the call here and a correct call, I would say, to just give up that dragon. They're not in a position to fight these team fights as we saw. In the oh, last and they're dropping one. it as well. Over, so they are dropping so it. They make the call. You know top. what? You get your dragon. It's fine. It's only going to be the first one for you. Yep. We will try and get some gold back in payment for that dragon for that objective. Pop the rip rail on the Ooh. top side. They got at least the outer tower finally. Oh, on the top side to get a little bit of gold. Nice themselves. try by uh, but, uh rip trail here. River getting 50%. Looked like it was a little late. <laughs> yeah. On that one. yeah, the the Weaver's Wall was intended to troll the Herald, but it uh -huh. accidentally trolled Sniper instead. He had to walk <laughs> around it to hit the stupid thing. So a uh, little bit of miscoordination there. It would have been spicy. Thieves top jungle duo, but hey, it all worked out. The turret's still standing. And the Hunter Thieves, thieves does just pick up the drag. Up there around that top side of the map, as River, Quid, and Meech will now finally move over to that Drake. Work to take that one. The 4,000 gold lead has shrank back down. Closer to 3k now. Wow, Dogo got hit with the hook. The and the Meech is just there. Melton with Quinn with a follow up. Oh, that feels so bad if you're Dokla because yeah, you're in your own jungle. This forest is dark and full of terror. <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. But really, really well played by Hunter Thieves. By going topside, and River did end up getting the, uh, give up the dragon. Yep. And then the you drag. Wander into I appreciated watching Meech continue attacking the blue buff until he's back. Ayla says, thank you very much. For the extra gold and hundred thieves, not only yeah, a great job by Ayla. 
but they Ayla? also hold on i have to listen next time is Ayla or Ayla? Yeah. i think it's Ayla. further punish energy yeah and we had talked about how like yes the mid tier one is not down yet that's probably what hundred thieves are going to go after next but they'd already pushed out bot side to your point kobe we'd already thought energy were going to give up this drake and on uh, side lanes, especially on that bot side at the time, they had complete vision control as well. Um, so, obviously, able to get that pick off of that. Um, and we'll see now if they end up setting up for this mid tier one. Yep, here the we go. 11 now. River makes his way over along with Ayla to help out on the push. FBI stack. Wow, what an old. Here is only 151 at yeah. 19 and a half minutes, so. It's That's another thing. I don't ult waves a lot yeah, of Ezreal because I don't uh, know when it's the, the proper time to do it. Farm up those stacks. You can see him right like if you're trying to the position, I kind of get it, and it also stacks your passive. So like, I get some of the reasons you do uh, ult waves, but I wave, never feel like I'm in a position where I'm like, you know, it's a great use of my ult right here. I'm gonna ult this wave. Well, hopefully they, for their sake, they can accelerate him a little bit. Unless they're like pushing a turn or something, that makes it a lot easier. But on the stacks right now, this dude needs to. Hundred Thieves is still up 4k gold. They're already down 4,000 gold. Oh, uh, Sniper just got out here. Sniper getting caught. But it doesn't matter. But he gets away. The rest of the team. Ready what to a follow up. Is Palfox just dead? No, no, no. And Jeff was able to get out efficiently with that uh, ult. The small ult's crazy. Another great ult. FBI is playing so well on this. And they were able to get the shutdown on Meech. Wait, River. They got River too. Consolation prize. Baron is now live on the map and energy wow. v3. That Great job, so energy. From energy. They go with the double split push and Dokla pops the ultimate. They fake out a hundred thieves and then get their re-engage with the wombo combo. Maokai ult into Rel ult, and now Hundred Thieves gonna try and fight them off the barrier. Just... Ayla goes for Wow! Engage. Great job, Ayla! Quid! Oh, Quid! Oh, Sniper went in, but they got stunned! My Sniper was able to get Dokla. Quid! What, what are you gonna be able to do, Quid? Okay, Quid! Okay, Quid! Okay, Quid! I see you! I see you! I see you, Quid! Oh, I see you! Oh, you just build different? Oh, you just build different! That's insane! That's insane! That's insane! That's insane. Quadra kill! Wait, okay, let's watch this again. So, beautifully engaged by Ayla. Sniper ends up going in and they get stunned the moment he goes in. This is almost beautiful. So Sniper flash and they got stunned by when he landed on the flash with the gold card. But a great Q, got Dokla, re-engaged by Ayla was insane, and then Quinn just cleans up. Just auto attacking, just doing whatever he needs to do. His ult's back up. Insane. And Palfox goes back in. Just, oh, just for Quinn to look even better. He got Baron too. Yeah, so <laughs> that oh, that's everything you wish for. Uh, very dangerous to leave a fed Ezreal. <laughs> yeah, shooting you over and over and over while you are in the Baron pit. Oh, and Ayla did just such a good go Baron job as well, engaging on that, keeping people the off the Ezreal. Yeah, the, the oh, I think Quid's just gonna just take care of the rest of this game, right? Seven and zero. Oh. The, the answer, <laughs> the answer to that last one was to try and turn. Ooh, a little wide on the old from Quid. Couldn't get close to it, so. They got the worst yes, that's end of it, where they did not finish off the Baron, but they did burn it so low that then Quid was able to pick it up after he got all his kills. So it's a Quadra plus a Baron. That's like pseudo Penta. Uh, I'll, I'll give it to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Baron counts as one. Baron counts as one. That's like, uh, yeah, you got uh, four plus the, the purple. Purple one as well, and now Hundred Thieves. <laughs> Quid's just taking those turret shots. He doesn't okay. care at this point. I, uh, I he says yes, and guys. who's gonna engage uh, on me? Do you guys want to finish? Uh, let's let's take some towers. It's pretty easy now. I wow, mean, Hundred Thieves up seven k gold. Swing the other way. If Energy yep. ends up getting the two kills, and then they grab the bear. It drags really up the actually. They what up twenty up seconds? Yeah. In the turrets that are still on the map, which by the way is pretty much every turret still. Energy has only claimed one this entire game, but Quid's hero moment is huge. Huge yeah, players. so Quinn might have just taken this over this game there. I know it's gonna all Beautiful. be around this Baron for this whole game uh, <laughs> for, for everybody. Uh, is to also be wary. I don't of think Energy made spikes. a mistake there. Sniper though, though is 
going to have to be more wary of energy members. I think we saw. Uh, Cyber's just dead here. Yeah, Cyber's just dead. Yeah, it's a little this too aggressive. Is unfortunately, a lot of the criticism that Sniper received last split as well. The dude is really good. Well, I didn't even queue. But his decision making can often put him in spots where he gets caught out, gets punished. We'll I think they should have just grabbed drag. Can make their I, I think I think hundred thieves are a little aggressive here that, that don't need to be. But they just melt Oakland. It doesn't matter. Meach went into the back line onto Palafox. And Quinn finishes up. Great ult by FBI, but it uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, who he's dead. As energy tries to get I think Contracts is dead too. Contracts oh no, Contracts gonna get out. Run away, Mr. Tree. It's only him and FBI trying to escape the smaller still. So never mind, I was wrong. They, it was a great engage up top lane. These guys cannot they believed back. that they were gonna be able yes, to do everything, to and they did. Sniper with them, but the fight still ends up favoring Hundred Thieves. And you still now. Wow, look at that poke. Zero and four. W E from Ezreal. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, poking at you from and, and taking down this turret here. I think the big thing is that tier two in turret? a lot of these setups, it's actually the team that ends up responding. So even when NRG are trying to make a play, 100 Thieves are still in a really good position to respond and collapse with, again, their <laughs> fed carries. Also, solo lane Ezreal, uh, when it used to be a thing, you know, years ago. Wow, Frozen Heart from Ezreal is super Always interesting third item. Frozen I love that. In the, the previous iteration. I'll make and notes. Frozen Heart right now is insane oh. versus this wow. lineup. Twisted Fate is basically considered he another AD quid. carry. So it's basically like Frozen Heart versus triple AD carry. So not only is Quid the richest person on the map, but he's kind of god mode this right is now. Pretty, this is pretty aggressive posturing. Item. They're not even uh, going for the energy here, so Quid, the dragon. Quid is basically a one-man army right now. Yeah. Uh, level 16 on the Ezreal. So the full rank on that ultimate with all those buffs that has, has been buffed over multiple patches here as well. Um, is going to be very difficult for Oh, and Cypress pushing into the mid lane? Back, Kobe. You mm -hmm. know, like Ezreal mid uh, is back. Yeah, Apparently, I want to go all the way back just... to Ezreal Jungle. Do you remember those? Yeah, ones? Ezreal Jungle? We yeah. lost yeah. so Ezreal many jungle, jungle items. <laughs> Ooh, Contract's trying to engage here. Great job by Ayla. Ayla walking right into that. Still a really good ult by the Smolder. It's just, oh. Quinn and River are just so tanky, it feels like. That poke was insane on that Smolder. Smolder's almost dead, bro. Got hit by two abilities. Oh, and then Meech, yeah. So they're going to get an here. Yeah, who cares about drag? What, do you, what, am I, what have I been talking about? Obviously, this was exactly exactly the right play you just push and win <laughs> and win all these fights this is insane they're looking huge Ooh. great engage by who he oh wait quid quid dies Doka, way to go! First time this game, it's energy making the I mean, they got two in hit, so. Quid, but it's still a two for two trade. It's still the inhibitor in mid, going the way of hundred thieves. Yeah. Doka makes it a three for two using the ulti. I think they're gonna get dragged. Oh, and objective bounties are up because energy were so far behind. They could deck this dragon. It would be number three for them and a big bunch of gold on yeah. top of it. That's We're how you get back into the game. Yet, Flowers. Even though 100 Thieves still have a massive, massive lead, that was quite a blunder. Mm. Yeah, they're not able to close out the game. I don't think inherently that was wrong by 100 Thieves. Like, maybe they could have just left a lot sooner, and it still would have been the right play. Are they even done yet? I've seen Quid this show is, before. Quid is four seconds uh, uh, away, okay? Quid, can he get there in time? Energy are going to race the clock I, i've seen this show oh before. wow they are I've melting that actually stuff. this is it's they do have 380 it carries down, it goes down quick. Call, right all right let's see palafox, palafox is low hey, oh and meets goes in oh and he's dead wait palafox is just dead all right let's see what sniper is able to do in that back line wait means you deal so much damage is fbi gonna be able to do anything with those stacks nope This time, this time, Meech just does all of this work. FBI ends up getting Meech, but that doesn't matter. Triple kill for Meech is insane. It is a blunder, but like, what else are you going to do? You found, you were finally able to kill the Ezreal. You found Oh, that's an insane game. And lots of two Barons. Well, one Baron seal, and then a fumbled Baron attempt. I love the poke coming through. Ezreal mid looking strong though, I won't lie. Looking really, really strong. 
great game. All right, let's check out game two. Meech, nine, three, and five on the Kaisa. Yeah, Kaisa and Ezreal both were looking super strong, but Isla with those engages was also insane. I'm around. Obviously, things kind of. Tyler Band makes total sense, but wow, Olaf is kind of surprising as well. Even further in that direction, and that's also why they ban out the Olaf. They're like, all right, if we're gonna Zyra, pick, and we're gonna have to play something more tanky. That was an insta Zyra as well. Oh baby, let's go. Get ready for some early speed, as that is one. Of the biggest strengths. But so, my memory is Camille counters Cassante, which is why I see the matchup so much. The team um, but it'll be good. We'll it'll be really cool to see a Nidalee first time jungle Zyra. Actually, that's going to be really interesting. And it's going to depend a lot on the. The, the jungle will be a super interesting lane, matchup so. right here. Everybody cheers. Everybody cheers in the chat for no lane swap. Yeehaw. <laughs> we get Yeehaw. regular lanes. Hell we get to yes. fight it out. That's my favorite thing is when we don't lane swap. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot, one, I forgot that you're lane like swap the lane swap enjoyer on the desk. Um, but I do think in this case, obviously, again, we talked about how it can help the Jinx, and Jinx was one of those champions initially that was so good in the So Isla was really position. good on that Nautilus with his engages, so I wonder if he's going to be able to keep that up with the... Uh, Push, especially if you're grabbing the Leona. The side. But it sets up and Ui was really good on that roll too. So we'll see. Right? Oh, okay, a little bit of a fight Cyber there. Drop the ignite. Possibly being able to get the better of Dokla in this pick as we see scrapping. Wow. Out. Okay, yeah. Quid. Quid and Palafox just really going all the way down to 200 HP each. Really hey, yeah, that was aggressive. I love it. Both level two now. River clearing through that jungle, as you can see. I think very, very fast. You so I know that Kobe. He is Corky is dealing a lot more damage than I'm familiar with. <laughs> Yeah, but all the way up to the top side quadrant. Here. I think we'll Tristana still outdoes his damage, right? First. Um, you know, oftentimes with his hop, like he'll, he'll be able to e hop Q or something, or hop that e Q. Equally piss off the enemy mid laner, <laughs> especially if you're trading this low. Uh, kind of the drive by heals coming through, but Contracts looks like he wants more than a heal here. Let's see if he can. Uh, if, uh, if Quid was going to get close to his side of the brush, you know, any any kind of stray wow. here always helps. But he's wow, River's doing it, it over the, the wall. Clears are insane. It's one of the nuts. big bonuses right over the Krug wall. What is you this? To leave those little plants behind. It's one of the biggest, what, what was that? best feeling things. It's just killing camps and then just walking away while it's fin being finished off by your plants. Yeah, and they will see River and just bullies here, contract not out. Sure what Contracts is going to be able to do about it as we see him harassing, and they have pressure from mid. I love the way Zyra just swag walks at you, too. Like, yeah. you yeah. can't do oh, anything yeah. about it. She's just completely on a mission. He knows. Queen of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Nidalee's part River of the jungle. River is looking like a menace River on the Zyra right now. There. He's not in time to steal the blue buff, of course, but he does have control over this enemy Gromp now instead. Going to turn his attention huh. back up into the top side. Oh, choose the scuttle. Looking towards that scuttle crab or a potential 2v2 here in the mid lane. Contracts coming around from behind. We'll look for Quid, but it's hard to really make this out. work out super yeah. well considering there's no CC on either the mid laner mm, or the That does make it a little energy. rough. And with Quid being Tristana, that gank is hard to make it work. Yeah, it's hard to make it work, Let's but it see. does end up resetting this wave a bit for And then Powerball. and now they grab the uh and he'll be able to which push call it now. Contracts is going to see what he can get done on the bot side. But Contracts the knows realistically so where they are. Contracts. Actually, the whole yeah. team realistically he's knows where River is. by spending so much time mid, got even further than normal behind Isaira, and River took it. Oh, nice little poke by Huki with FBI. Lane. And then he was oh, with on the that stun on the Ayla. Went bottom side. So mm -hmm. not only was their bottom lane getting pushed that in, was painful. but he was on vision, wasting even more time as in Italy. And even though he's like one camp or one even small monster. Uh, kill away from level four. You cannot afford to get behind a Zyra like this. Uh, River's already almost all the way to level five. And guess what? Already did a full the reset for well. my favorite. Yeah, what? how are you doing this over the wall? Faded ashes. Faded ashes. Faded ashes. Oh, baby. Zyra can just throw down a couple of skills. Faded Ashes away is from the an unbelievably strong item. On down and then try and walk into Hold on, I'm watching this and I'm feeling game. like I need to play some Zyra Jungle. I saw Faded Ashes in the patch notes. I was like, there's no way this goes live. And then it went live and it got hotfix nerfed in what, like three hours or something? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. this is a really powerful item. Hotfix man. nerfed and still, and still giga great. for jungle. <laughs> yeah, still absolutely Wow, Zyra great. just clears, bro. Uh, as we see Kuhi now. Safely and efficiently. Game. Yeah. Little pokes by Palafox. <laughs> really trying Quinn, to Quinn is like, uh, yes, hello. Quinn. Are you lining up for signatures after my quadra kill Baron steal last game? <laughs> Wait in line. Me. Wait in line, energy <laughs> members. 
Well, it is Father's Day, and Quid was uh, father <laughs> That's of true. in the previous game. Okay, so a great little way. engage by Isla. He tries to fall back here, just throws up the shield to block any follow-up there from Meech's Zap. Quid, level 6, Palafox still only level 5. Honestly, Ooh. Venom is about to hit level 6 here very soon as well. On great little Zyra, spear. Clearing out those Krugs yet again. A couple more auto attacks over the wall. Bye-bye, little Krug Oh, Zyra is disgusting. Zyra. Yeah, he even sticks around for the little baby ones. There's good golden <laughs> nose, okay? Uh, some people yeah, it's good golden, go, of, golden uh, those. You know, just walking away from those. So I want to see how fast she melts, uh, them. Yeah, like, I, I, rub. There's some good value in those mini Krugs. Meanwhile, or even dragon is fine. Just, like, unobjective. The vision war, but it's pretty dangerous for him. And oh, wait. Don't go from behind. Oh, man. Isla went in, but that might be a little bit too far, but Sniper's in down. Who is low off that Ignite? Sniper's coming in now as well, but he does not move again. Oh, all right. I saw Dokla coming around. I was like, ah, there's something spicy about to happen. He's level six. Despite the fact that they don't get any kills there, they are going to earn themselves control over the top side river and control over the grubs. Yeah, it's the communication. You can see what's kind of going on Oh, Quinn and Sniper are both top on ESP. But Palafox and Dokla are pretty close. In the early game especially, so much... Uh, you know what, Matt? Well, level six already for River off that off that grub too. You better be careful, Dokla. Yeah, no kidding. This Zyra's not playing around. Business. But it matters so much. Do you think Contract's gonna be able to just come in and steal one? Nah, he's not gonna try. I don't blame him. That would have been dangerous. For the control ward, even though Dokla gets there first, you have to leave too much damage soaked. Uh, tanking those That's a good spear. Zyra's. Oh, River's dead here. Wants another pass. Yeah, who he? Look at a lot oh, of the flash. Down, but the flash over the wall from River. I mean, but they did have to use the flash nearby as Quid jumps in after Power Ow. Fox. But Quid jumped in after seeing the who that. after seeing who he go in on the exhaust. river. Quid's going to be your target. Flash is back away. River does not land. The that was really down. interesting. So 100 thieves, they get out. Maybe thought they, he'd be able to proc his bomb and then and hop back yes. out. A fairly bold choice by Quid as he had perfect information <laughs> on where who he See, was. Yeah, I'm not the only one who saw that. That, that was weird. I'll go for a quick little trade. Uh, exhaust for Flash is uh, definitely not good for Quid, but uh, at least they don't die quite yet. Let's yeah, see, drag is up. Doesn't look like anyone's. I mean, I mean, contracts might be able to do it. That's going to be the big, big thing for me, right? Energy have been looking for these plays early out on the map, um, and have kind of been stymied by hundred thieves as Joko comes in. To well, not even an item, just like yeah, one small component of it. River. Yeah, he's like, uh, how's the farming going? Yeah. Uh, he learns that the farming is going exceptionally really well. well. Yep, exceptionally <laughs> fast. Look at, yeah, look at just look at these plays. Wow, look at the farm I'm difference. I mean, Zyra's been ahead this whole time, but it's kind of currently a, 22 uh, up. Tough pill to swallow for like older junglers that that see when all these like modifiers keep getting I increased and uh, uh, a lot of jungle. Are you, are you telling me you hate Zyra jungle? Uh, no, I'm not. Not a Zyra jungle. <laughs> I'm not explicit. Zyra. <laughs> I'm explicitly telling you that. <laughs> But, but the, 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 the trend of super fast clear speed, uh, especially AP ones like Zyra and Morgana and mm -hmm. stuff, uh, you know, getting in there, it does, it adds variety, okay? So I'm fine now with it while it is still very unique. You know, this is yeah. not like a super common pick, uh, obviously. It's uh, fairly rare still, so. You know, River might be able to just go do this. Good with it, okay? Okay. Because right. FBI we'll and we are we'll backing. See. Everything's fine. And I'm pretty sure Meech and Ayla saw that. Seriously, though, they might have been out of vision, though. I'm not sure. They were pretty far back. 30 far behind in the jungle. Like, yeah. that's... I mean, so that remember your choices, especially yeah, early River's on just gonna do it. Snowball for jungle when you're waiting around mid lane for that's crazy. You know, they have the plants, so while the plants are autoing the dragon and, and keeping the aggro, they just went and placed the control it's ward in the costly. enemy jungle. And and the the cost it, compounds with the respawns there for jungle camps and River being able to just so strong burn everything down. Yeah, and Kobe, you kind of talked about like what happens with this Italy jungle if they. Do you, if it does fall behind, right? and like, how do NRG end up playing around that? Because again, they've been looking for these plays, but they haven't been able to capitalize. Thus AB far. junglers is just looking so like, good. For example, uh, Quid's flash this is my first time down. seeing this Zyra jungle, like actually play a game, but it, it is looking good. But it's 100 Thieves have still been able to come out ahead on the map overall, getting the Grubs and now first Drake off of their pressure. And it's actually really okay. interesting. You know, it's deeper river, than like, the river oh, this C champion, contracts there? Um, you know, is super OP now or like yeah. just faded ashes and stuff. You know, a lot of things brought us to this point where we're not. seeing so many of these AP jungle speed clears. 
Uh, one of them. Oh, Kodjax is caught out. Gonna get caught. Yeah, Ayla, and Kodjax is dead. Are ready to wombo? Oh, First blood over the jinx. The strangled thorns aren't even required. The super mega death rocket from Tom. Wow, Lane okay. Pay. Yeah, nice little handoff here. Meech, would you like some extra gold? <laughs> sure. It is served up on a silver platter. Yeah. Nice ultimate there to go collect it. But some of the things that brought us here are not only some of the changes to the channel. Yeah, contracts was just a little bit too item. deep. Items, but also it's kind of stayed around for a while too. I was. Camps, I wonder if they were. Um, their really first thought was like, oh, "I'm gonna try to steal these, this raptor away so or something." That's why we're seeing all this knock-on effect. Because I'm not. Yeah, I'm not so sure what the thought was there. Speeds paired with all of these different AD options, the Tristan of the Corky, which we have now, already seeing the Ezreal as well. Um, you know, Jace getting some bans. So lots of the different AD options that you want to pair with power clearing junglers. We hmm. also saw Karthus yesterday. Mm -hmm. as far it's as good as uh, for option. NRG. FBI is going to be able to pick up some of this, uh, this season, replays. Although, obviously, Already has Static Shiv. Because, uh, I mean, Kaisa can carry a game. This kind of style, but and FBI played really good on this Moto last game. Just fell too far behind yep. of Kaisa. <laughs> very prominent. Oh, so close to that next play. I, I think they're going to stick around for it. And Kodjax is grabbing grubs. There's going to be three grubs for three grubs both games. Because they know where River is. They're not worried about that at all. But Dokla might get dove here. Yep, they already knocked off the bone play plating from Dokla. Meanwhile, up here in the top side could also be a move onto Sniper. But it looks oh, like I don't know about that one, though. Just going to be working on plates now as 100 Thieves just force Dokla away. Ow. Bottom lane tier one turret. It's River and Meech just clearing out these waves and everything. Up here to the top side tier one as Dokla joins up with his own bottom lane. But they're losing the race. It's River and Meech doing yeah. so much damage. Yeah, and Jinx just does so much damage, bro. Like Such a quick auto attack. Themselves. Yep, top lane will not be taken. So they got first, first uh, turret first blood. Turret over to 100 Thieves. And it's an important race. It was a great job by 100 Thieves. That was a really good trade. Match with the 300 first blood tower uh, bonus gold. So they doubled it from the 150 previously in an attempt to deal with lane swaps. And so uh, quite nice uh, bonus now for winning that race. Look at that mega death rocket. Where's it going? Oh, and it stops the back from FBI. Wait, and the sniper went in. Why am I not? Why am I not watching sniper? Wow, sniper got dealt a chunk. That was a really good engage on Quid, though. Got the flash out. Hey, Ayla. Just, you just feeling a little, a little aggressive here? Um, the other big thing is that they're funneling a lot of this into Meech, right? Like Jinx is the one of their hyper carries. I mean, she is the hyper carry on this team. Um, and 100 Thieves are doing a really good job of recognizing, obviously, he got the, the little tap finisher uh, on Dokla, the first blood. But Dokla feels confident enough to go in here. Is he going to just try backing? On the bot side, into Meech specifically. Should it seems like they know really that somebody's well, up here. As Dokla might be in trouble. Meech flashing Ooh, away. Meech flashed it immediately. Old by, by River, though. Looking to start and a TP coming by. Double TP. It's going to be a 5v5. Five five. Great ult. Oh, and Seven goes on in. Gets FBI. Oh, wait. Dokla's the one that dies, though. Oh, wait. Beautifully played. Quinn's able to get contracts. But he should have just gone. Home. Oh, More and Sniper's able to catch who he. Oh, wow. Double kill for Meech is insane. Double TP. Like, they invested a lot there, and it worked out for them really well. And you see the setup for this Jinx so, in this Kia he, replay. Hundred Thieves must have some idea that they're up here because they threw the traps back the there. Trap, doesn't see Dokla. NRG think they the might great flash, instant flash. We knew something was up there. Good job by Hoobie getting in there with contracts, but oh wow, Ayla just with the with the great E onto FBI and then ult hitting so many people. And then yeah, really really good ult by Sniper. Really surprised that Dokla is the one that died there, but Quid jumping on in, killing FBI, and then from there also able to kill contracts. This Insane. Is <laughs> I am turning this around. Everyone teleport in. Right that was now. really, really so well played by 100 Thieves. From Quid, the second teleport I don't even think it was a bad, Sniper, like, engage by NRG. Just a double TP. This is a 5 0. Yeah, that was rough. For 100 Thieves in game number two. They are looking to make this uh, and just, even uh, a lot of CC a from Ayla. <laughs> last split, taking down uh, NRG at the end of With the, the Camille ult afterward. Oh, that's just. Well. 
It feels rough for uh, FBI having to deal games, with so much CC. Like they will not need the entire series. Man, hundred thieves. This will be my first two O if hundred thieves just take two. care of this. And, okay, if you're energy, what's the bandage? How do we stop this bleeding? Because it's starting to feel real, real bad. Oof, it's tough. I think they just I have mean, to try and grab Jinx, Jinx right? This quirky is. He's still going to do a lot of damage and get Fuki in a position to where he can soak up some of the damage coming. Like out you have quite a bit of damage. Place. I mean, contracts with his his Lich Bane. Obviously, trying to use your poke also. Being able Ooh, to Ooh, sniper's on the wrong side of the map. The Doesn't matter game. though, because you're playing Camille. Um, so make a pick as we see them setting up for a pick. On the oh wow! Look, so they're wasting yeah, all this time on Sniper. They're just gonna get mid lane. Four members of Energy. Camille's Wait, are they gonna grab target. another one? Camille's normally pretty mobile, but 4v1, pretty hard to get away. So, so they end up grabbing the Camille, but they give up, like, the whole mid lane. Much of a catch when it's traded for two turrets in the mid lane. That's kind of rough. Uh, and they're just gonna headbot and do it again? As old as time. Wow, 100 camp. Thieves is doing a great job pushing this advantage. <laughs> we saw some of this yesterday. We even yeah. Well, I mean, at least NRG was able to trade something for this. And then, uh, they, they did you know, they were able to get a little bit more gold on their side by grabbing Sniper. Not gonna slow hundred thieves down. It's on Nidalee, that's not bad. Dark Dark Seal stacks? Map, they even have higher priorities. Could have been worse. So they're gonna go for the reset into Dragon. Uh, you know what? This is objective bounty itself, as well. They're not gonna be able to get it, but they'll get some damage on it. They did sneak a ward in the back of the dragon pit, so good call here for River not to rush starting off the dragon. There is one in there. Wait for the resets for the rest of the team a little bit for them to come back out. Looks like uh, I think that Zyra's just gonna melt it so though, fast, so I don't know if it'll matter. Not even looking for the possibility of the steal. Yeah, we'll see if 100 Thieves are able to respond to this. Again, that's Yeah, quit again. Have a great game. run of play, right? Like, you talked, you asked me, Clayton, like, how did they get back into it? Well, they try to make a, a pick, hop away. but then 100 Thieves are good engage by Palafox, just getting off some free damage. on the map that they immediately recognize, okay, and you then, know yeah, what, Zyra Sniper, you're dead drag in the side lane. lane. We're going to push mid. Get two turrets, rotate bot, get that turret as well because Triss was already set up on the bot side. They lock in their second Drake uh, as I'm speaking, and they just have incredible Ooh, map ocean Drake. and also some really nice map movements coming out of Hundred. Probably really good on Camille. Hundred Thieves is a team that has, has been really fun for for people to root for with with a lot of the signings that they got. You know, um, Sniper, Meech, obviously uh, a lot of a lot of hype behind them as well as being super young. But uh, as soon as they got River too, it just, this team is so been so up in explosive. Two minutes, yes. um, especially with how fun these are up the by four and a half thousand with this gold. team. It's definitely been been gaining a lot of steam. And it's Throughout on their carries spring, too. It's not like it's on it like Leona or something like that. It was probably the regular season story that was Absolutely. that was the most unexpected and the most fun to watch. The kind of ascent of this team did fall off a little bit in playoffs. Uh, but it looks like in summer. Oh, are they going in on sniper? Pick right back up. Oh yeah, they're TPing they in. Off. Sniper, the recipient of some more pressure. Wow, so much damage by sniper right on the contracts. contracts. Oh, Douglas going in on Quinn's sniper, but let's see. Quinn with the TP actually ends up finishing off contracts. Away, but he still falls. Hundred thieves. Oh wait, Quinn missed the hop. Pretty good. As sniper gets himself back away underneath the turret, Douglas all out. Or is all part of his plan and he baited him in. Fox trying to provide some covering fire back over the wall. Sniper. Oh, they're also low. Oh, Ayla's heading in though. A bit more because Ayla's coming if Ayla's able to get Palafox, then they might just die here. Yep. Wants to stick wait, wait, no, great. The Uber. Great flash by Palafox, but it doesn't home. matter. Wait. Palafox like just, just walks away. Thieves, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, never mind. I guess. So Queen's able to end up finishing uh, off uh, uh, Joke in the back. I don't know why Palafox turned around. As well onto the I don't think he was getting away. He's running away from like Camille. From Quid recognizing, like, okay, we can take this fight uh, with our, our tourist and our Camille able to. That was such an interest. They, again, they really left Palafox alive with so like 10 health. Options now. Um, so this ends up being really rough for NRG because they, they like, really Trish tried for this. Palafox TPing so in. Like, I'm diving right but on Quid contract, just so much damage on the contracts. Contract pop. Jeez. You'll and there's a watch right here. Quid he missed his uh, jump. Away from my rookie solo later here. Oh, the Mega Death Rocket also would have been really good if it hit. Brethren but quick. Oh, just so much in. damage. All the reinforcements, uh, and then they have a little fun with it. We said this team's yeah. a fun team to watch. They are super fun. And I was going to point out, they cut the replay a little short, but I was going to point out, they were actually still pushing down 
mid here uh, until Ayla ended up rotating around on the back of that fight as well, recognizing that he could get the so let's see, Yeah, they're, they're posturing and pretty heavily for Baron, and I don't blame happen. him. He goes home think you gotta just melt this. His first big non -support item. It's they're up 6k mod. gold. I don't even know if energy could step up to them if they did do it. Useless this game. Ayla now just stands in front and of every spear Sniper and has TP with dope blocks. Right Alphox doesn't have TP good. though. They he just used that last fight. So it's pretty good for a lot of uh, junglers that scale off health, <clears throat> Skarner, <clears throat> Satwani, as well as <laughs> some support champions. Uh, you know, Leona does get resistances elsewhere too, so it, it always pairs really nicely. The only Ooh. drawback is is that if Contracts would have got hit by that uh, that root. Too much health and not enough resistances, life. then you can still be kind of squishy to some of the percent health damage that is in the game as we get a little, some little bit dicey at the oh, wait. tower. Palafox is jumping in there, trying to find the angle on Palafox is dead. That's super rough. Comes Quid. He's on a rampage. Oh, and then they're just going to grab the turn as well. Sniper's taking it. Up to top lane and now I think they just grab Baron, right? They pick up the enemy mid laner. The rest of energy doesn't have That's anything so left to fight rough. with. That's so rough. Who he lived with 10 HP had to use both summoner spells. I mean, who he, who he had had went in and already used his ult. that again. Emphasis on the... Thieves has total control of this second game. Emphasis on the total <laughs> part of that control. Yeah. I think Quid's gonna try uh, and go in on this uh, Dopa. Uh, you know, double AD carries. I think so. Both yep. of them super fed. Neither Quid. Nor I don't see why he won it. Yet, and Quid wants another. Yeah, Cassante is Cassante, but even he's not gonna Cassante that. He's just gotta <laughs> go home. Bye bye, buddy. I'm kind of surprised yeah, uh, Dopa didn't I mean, jump back is, in there. Again, or I'm sorry, I'm. Uh, energy, Quid didn't jump back in there on Dopa. Contracts might get collapsed on here next. Contracts oh, sniper ults in on contracts. Yeah, contracts just too far out. The way it's gonna go. Meech needs one more rock. Just gets finished off by sniper there. The and then Huey dies as well. Join him, and it just feels like energy God. are all out of options. Yeah, that was yeah, that was rough. To go on the map, hundred thieves have coverage. They have vision coverage. They're able to. Collapse. Maybe they were they trying to set a vision for drag or something. A pretty easy. Why are they? Why are they in the enemy jungle? From them with contracts dead. Like, it wasn't deep into the enemy jungle, but at this point, I don't know. Team, team, I must be missing something for why Contrast is there. He's gonna be popping off right now. Yeah, they melt this, dude. 22 minutes in. They're almost up 10k gold. That's a 22 minute Baron. At least Palafox is trading it for something. Lily but surely. Wait, Zyra's heading down. No, 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 okay. Just grab blue. The revenge match between Energy and 100 Thieves, where are these two teams at? 100 Thieves look to be picking right back off, not on their playoff performance. There you go, Pal Fox. Slowly but surely. There we go. Objective bounty. Incredibly cohesive and locking in Honestly, if Ripper would have walked out of that drag. Are super creative. Meta and make the most of the players on this team. Let's see. So they have Baron. And now they and are both rich. They've had like all the turrets Baron. too. So Twenty three minutes in, and they all they have the base here. to do is Four get the in hit turrets for energy. Rest of the team. Although maybe that'll make it easier for energy to, to not lose Wait too much as the Baron. Clear out the bottom side yep. one. they have less ground to cover? Lay siege to the energy base. River just keeps zoning everybody. Don't keep games in an agony fun. That's so true. Never mind. Wow, they melted that. Oh, and then they just killed Dokla. Quinn and Meech just deal too much damage. Wow, Huey! That excitement, that attack. Meech was just melting Huey with the rockets. As the mid lane inhibitor is their next target, bot lane inhibitor already falling Oh, wow, down. actually, Meech FBI got some good damage off of Meech. Matter. Super Mega Death Rocket keeps energy zoned away. Wait, the Thunder James is end here? Meech has been excited since they broke into the maze, and he ain't gonna be stopped at any time soon. Oh, wow, that so much that damage on Sniper. But he gets away! He gets away! Quit jumps on in. Oh, just finished. The game's over. Who is dead? Yep, Meech just ends it here. The only 2 0 I've seen this weekend. Week one, the LCS, that we've 100 seen Thieves. All right. In the LCS, 100 Thieves starting their regular summer season. Just Two, where they oh, picked well up from their played. regular spring season. Incredible performances. All right. So just one more. So L LCS, week one, all that's left is Immortals and Shopify. Players do all the talking. It's our first look at these two teams since March. Hold on. I want to I check out. And the Zer Oh, will go to tactical so some varus so okay quirky rumble i know rumble ban here at Immortals and, and okay we'll be able to see castle on some scarner only two teams that didn't make the playoff cut despite not being that far behind for shopify they were literally one game away from clinching playoffs 
and it just came down so to pretty energy. normal in a lot of areas but i'll, I'll love to see some skarner and some uh all right that's some rumble overall pretty drafts, no pretty expected super here super crazy things but we'll see. Can so I actually uh, really hope Immortals, Immortals looks good tactical, here. Uh, some early money on Zeri. I was listening to a this couple people talk about Immortals, and they were less than jungle pressure down excited there, about invest, Immortals' chances. You know, actually, Shopify extra, was right there too. Like, uh, seems like these are the teams that are looked down upon the most in the LCS. So it'll be curious, to, and they're playing each other. So I'm really hoping that it just Taking looks like some good games. Look at the stage, the coaches giving their last words. Because yeah, I don't, I don't know a lot about these teams. I don't. They go off I don't really watch them specifically. I've seen a couple of their vods. Let the players do all the talking. So let's see. It's our first look at these two Romeo fan chants. This I'm is excited how to see Scarner. You welcome a rookie into the LCS. I mean, Rafa, you have cast Tomio for like four years True. through all of Academy and Tier Two. What are, what are some of your favorite Tomio memories? Honestly, there's there's so many. I I still remember the first time I saw this guy in action was Honda Scouting Grounds in 2020. He was on Team Infernal. He was playing a ton of Lilia, a couple of Evelyn games that were just monstrous. But honestly, the Best part about okay. Tomio is looking forward to Tomio. And anytime you got to tune into his streams, he's just talking. He's having a great time. His personality is super infectious. There was this one game in Champions oh, yeah. 2 where his team is demolishing the other team. He's playing Volibear, and the rest of his team is trying to come. He's like, okay, this is how we, we're we going to end the game. And he goes, guys, I'm a bear! Roar! And he just gets like a triple kill on top of it. And that's just like the goofy personality that Tomio is. And. I want to see okay. that in full. We're loving, we're loving Tomio just right on now. Squad, but in the entirety of the summer split. All right. Well, I, on this game, he's I, I am really big, excited to so, see some more Skarner. You know, still, Anibal looked really good in the one game I saw them charged. earlier. Exactly. The They've been banned every the game. Lines, the Vanguard there. Sejuani also uh, early stages here, starting on bottom half of the map, so you can pass up to your Rumble matchup. Your Rumble matchup that should be winning versus Skarner early on. Uh, you have really, really good uh, AOE damage priority here. Fake God with the Comet, uh, trying to hey God. Uh, get a slow push going for himself. Pretty nice job here. Meanwhile, Castle very safely and really respectfully on farming side. away with the rocks here. Dodges out on the Harpoon, but still getting burned by the Flamethrower. Not much you can do versus the Rumble early on. As we mentioned, this should always be priority there. And of course, the Rumble has a pretty easy time building into a Leandries as well. So the health stack from Skarner, kind of uh, an easy target for them to really increase and milk those DPS numbers. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see these top laners with crazy damage numbers at the end of games because they're just constantly trading tank on tank and... Uh, uh, roasting those uh, you know i'm really curious to see how corky does this game because corky has felt really strong in every game even when it was behind tristana in a hundred you know when it was 100 thieves versus uh oh why am i blanking nrg season in spring these teams did not win very many corky just always seems to look good yeah in fact um Shopify, I believe, won zero games when their bottom lane was behind, and Immortals only won a single game wow. when Tactical was behind. So very critical, we know. Bot lane matters a lot, it sounds like. To get their Ooh, lane ahead. a lot of they damage from Mask. Team fight later. But Insanity just, <laughs> just walked right through it. A lot of the AD carry itemization changes. We imagine that these teams will start playing towards that bottom lane more often. I know that even very, very Tom even in mid lane. Top lane, not so much, but it doesn't sound like anyone's one surprise. You know, Fake God was the kind of bully there. Issues, as Tomio might make his first move towards mid lane. It's just a Valkyrie forward. Ah, good fear. Ooh, missed the seven strike. Enough distance away from Tomio. Does not need to burn the flash, oh, I, yeah, just look at this, this difference in top lane. Well, the roasting continues on top side because they know their junglers on I mean, they're really close in farm, though. Even with the visit there from Sejuani. Castle's going to TP back. Really do. So Castle's got a timing for a teleport back. Goes into the tier early. We are going to get the Fimble Winter Skarner. Fimble Winter! Very, popular, very strong, especially with so many AD carries floating around the mid lane. You can then build into a frozen heart later. You get your extra bonus out of your mana. I love how Corky is the one low on mana against very, the mage. Very effective attack speed AOE reduction that you can apply to both Corky as well. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it's still funny to look at. The wards that were left behind did see our mail. Wow, pushed it pretty heavily. Bot on uh, Shopify side. Control as well as 
uh, the trinket ward and dropping the scryer's bloom. So everybody knows the location of both junglers because Wani started on bottom side. That'd have been really rough. Right now, so by process of elimination, you can assume I looking. There we go. Okay. There we go. We're back. That was weird. It's okay, back. and we're back. Nobody panic. It's the glitch in the matrix. <laughs> For Shopify, so far nothing too spicy has come out. It's just pretty f even on farm all around. Crashes and wave pushes. No really strong backs on either side yet. Tomia was able to get a Kindle gem, more than likely rushing towards that warmog. Let's see. Out. He's a Dragged up. Oh, Grub's gonna be up in another 30 second seconds. Wow! Look at Tomio. All right. Award. There was a ward here, and there were wards here. So. Both the support resets as well as the jungle move there to go okay. for Raptors. But both TP's See, mid. The, the vision coverage has been and then, strong. Yeah, they knew what Tomio was, so Mayo's we'll playing a little aggressive. Wow, look at that! Look at Castle! Wow! Oh, all that CC! Oh, and they gave the first blood over to Tactical. What beautiful plays! Oh, Immortal! Beautifully played! Oh, can I see how Skarner like, started that fight? Like, how did they grab him into the wall, into the old? You know, you, it has to have been like a, a misstep or something by Fate God. They've got a Skarner on their team. And, and, and they dragged him into the turret even. But that's crazy. And yeah, nice Fake God getting that first blood. Uh, Castle. Huge. Castle goes for the flash. With the grubs and everything. In Fake God and right into the wall. That really into set the up the early game for Zero Immortals. Like, possibilities there for him. That, that's almost as perfect as you could grab it. They got the money exactly where they want it. Rafa, this this game is going perfect for Immortals, and they want to make. Are they going to die? Fake out here. And he used Equalizer in the prior fight, so he's not going to have it to defend himself. Oh yeah. Oh, Fake got so dead. Tries to flash away, but I'm out. Intercept him with another CC ability. Or Mayo? Or Mayo gets it this time. And lots of plates too. So two plates on top side. Now. Is it I don't classify boy? six boy? minute swaps as B boy. Swaps. You know, these are these are B boy does get some plates as well. And it looks like uh Tomu is gonna grab drag. Like these are mid game. So it's it's not bad that you know you know, at least they were able to trade something for it. But wow, tacticals just getting so much. Oh wait, only and then castle into it! Fake on! Okay, fake on gets away this time. Oh, luckily Zazel was there. Oh, that I almost felt so bad for Fake God. Okay, so Orle has to run away now, but at least Tactical left. So that's actually really good for Shopify that they didn't that Fake God didn't die again. Because if he died again, it might have just uh, that might have just been game right there. Just like mentally, you know what I mean? Imagine dying three yet, times. So, you know, consolation prize that he's still keeping up in gold, whereas Castle, to make up those plays... He is up in, he is up in far by quite a bit. To see us. We're gonna see but they, they seem to be focusing a little bit more on getting tactical up more so than Castle. As we get closer and closer to the mid game. Yeah. There's still six minutes of turret plates. Maybe Shopify can rectify that with... The B-Boys the up there with Zazel, the so they're, they're yeah. lane swapping? Rumble... Obviously, milking and making the most out of uh, some of the early stages there. Now back onto the bottom side. So again, keeping Ooh, track of this. Ooh, that Q the grabbed Zeri. the bone plating. Love um, to see it, Castle. Gonna have a pretty easy time for the Zeri in that match. Let's see, and that's mid. Here. Honestly, not not very dangerous for a Skarner. You are pretty immune to tower dives unless they really bring the whole squad to come get you. Yeah, but you're uh, gonna uh, is Castle gonna be able to get that cannon? To see, that's what matters. Play, so. We don't like care about the tower dive or whatever. What we care about is there. who's grabbing and these cannons. Jungle even going bottom as well over another war here. Uh, for we could trade on both sides. As our male passed by that control ward and passes by this tribrush ward, but the gold. Oh, and just more more gold on tactical. Zoning away the enemy. And and B boy. No okay. They're just trading <laughs> trading plates on uh, ADCs. I think tactical's happy with this trade though. I will say, not only Tactical, I think Immortals is happy with this. Into their bot lanes as we 
we're kind of hoping to see as the big change for immortals and they did talk about earlier where uh their bot lanes are a big part of their the strategies will for both fans sides that when they weren't playing through the bot lanes they didn't win a majority of their games and it happened a lot during this week's play. yeah definitely critical to get the extra money on them and i mean as we wow oh, castle did take some damage so there like, I guess we still have to use the like that was some really really good swapping, but damage from B boy on mid game lane swaps sure. the same way that I do <laughs> the early ones because <laughs> the early ones are way more boring to watch, um, but it's still going to be fairly similar here in how it plays out. Now, and Fake God picks up that farm that makes complete and utter Meanwhile, sense. We just had farm off in mid lane. Mid lane um, super even. Jungle either. super even. You know, Hui going with the. Very normal. Yeah, I mean, really close theory. game overall. I mean, even the gold, you, you can see it's only 100, 100 so good now. gold or so um, in the side of Immortals. So. I will say, though, I'd rather be on Immortals' side as of currently. Like, a Fed Zeri can just win you games. You won't have to worry about your clear at all. Always going to be able to replenish it. Now we've got a reset for Quartz Rubs number two, though. Fake yes, God sir. does have the teleport ready for the Rumble. Meanwhile, Skarner has the same. So the options are it there to actually Looks like Shinshaw's making his way up, but I think they're just giving just it away. Pushing top side, um, yeah, the they just weren't in a good yeah. position for it. Or maybe they just didn't care about it in the first place. Let's bit see. The tower they're going to be able to rotate these. top after this, though. So they they're just going to get the push in. Okay. They get a chance to do it. There was a world where Shopify, you could see that they were pinged towards the top side of the map. We, they so had again, I think they they get the plate, aren't they? My only question are they going to get to one plate? Yeah, they got a plate. So, does that gold, like, disappear? Or, like, yeah, some gold still gets dispersed, low, right? Or, like, does it not? I have no point. idea. They make the good call, they back off, and they don't get the extra plate money, but they also don't... Ooh, good money. flash by Mask. All right, Tomio knows his job. He throws out the ulti and sees whether Mask believes him or not that it will hit. And Mask is like, yep, I will burn my flash. And that means the next time Tomio has trade. his ultimate, it will be before Mask <laughs> Good job on Tomio. Up, and that should be a guaranteed kill. Yep. Still, so, like, really good. Like, Tomio did exactly what he needs to do. I don't know if I would have been able to ever hit that flash. You know what I mean? Like, maybe. Depends how early I saw him. Like, was I watching my map? Where was my screen locked at that moment? Or was it unlocked in a certain area? Uh, but it's really nice for, for a lot of these... Um, you know, tanky ish junglers because you get both resistances. So, yeah, Fake God is so far ahead when it comes to farm. The, uh, so, even though he's died twice, I don't actually think he's behind Skarner at this point. Yeah, I mean, actually, looking at the gold, he's ahead. So, despite, you know, getting dope and everything, he's doing just fine. I would say always yeah go for titanic rush you should always do this it is so so nice oh interesting Some i didn't know jinja built the sustain uh of the center titanic but man the auto attack reset yeah. is so transformative for zin Zhao's kit hmm. being able to quickly get your knock up is just insane with this champion I have to try that out sometime. So the only kind of auto attack reset, that interesting. That has, of course, is the healing if you're really going to be taking a beating. Yeah. Quick update for the rest of the map. We are at 13 minutes into the game, which means there's only one more minute before all the turret plates are gone. Second dragon has spawned. Okay, Shopify so let's see. The first in the game it, it's a three v three currently. First rotation of grubs, but the fact that Shopify was able to get the second rotation of grubs means that it balances out the neutral objective power that they've gotten so far. Yeah, and we did see. All right, so drags up and Rift is about to spawn. I'm kind of curious. So, so Shopify got the first drag. Do you think they're going to try and make very, uh, very second valuable. drags part of their win con? One of the second pack. If you got the first three, you know, trying just to get to four to get the single might spawn is incredible yeah. not to mention wow no everyone's just kind of chilling top experience for for stealing away one of those grubs i'd be and so annoyed if i was oila jungler can only smite one or of them. there are three the nautilus <laughs> sometimes there are a lot of good windows to go but in good looks on b-boy you know it's all about that mental else. game it really is stop his back waste his time away from situations like that uh you know we'll oftentimes the plates are off now yeah it's not very slippery so did not want to invest the flash or risk anything to go for a steal on one of those. Wow, actually, door plate's really close. Fairly calm. Like, Immortals uh, barely is up one plate. Kills action that we had in the beginning. Uh, fall, and then it calm, looks like Shopify so is actually grabbing Rift. The Meanwhile, on the timer for this Rift Herald, they're actually making wow. a call for three members to group mid, and Immortals are trying to see if Oh, maybe we can get some sort of setup here to, to catch anyone. You think they're just going to grab over, drag? But 
It's fully wow, out. actually, Tag Duel has to be so careful here. Just walks right back around. They take their Rift Trail. They go right back up to the top. Oh, wait. They're, okay, they're going now top. Immortals don't want to track. Immort Immortals could really, really punish uh, Shopify here. No, okay. It's going to be 4v4. Oh, wait. TP by Shopify. And then TP by Immortals. And, oh, wait. What a great ult by the Rumble. Oh, Armeo! Armeo, so close! Oh, but a, a cleanup! Wait, the cleanup by tactical! Alright, so he's, he's not gonna be able to do any more than that, but that was enough. He's 3 and 0 right now. Very scary. B Boy was able to get a couple of them too on the Varus. But I'm more I, I, I wouldn't rewatch that fight. I was, I was only able to watch like parts of it at a time. So three and zero Zary and two and zero Varus. Varus actually up right now. I think that'll change after this wave. Okay, so let's see here. So great job by Orla. Or Orla. What? I, I have to. Orla. Both supports with their aftershocks shrug off. The good engaged by Armeo. Oh, Mask. Wow, Mask got really melted. Great job by Vivoy to finish him off. Really good ult off. by Rumble. He got his way ult off as he was dying. Oh, and then that just so much damage by Tactical, yeah. And the tipping point is just Tactical chasing down with his... Or maybe actually lasted, lasted a really long time. Like, Tomio makes sense, he's a tank. But, yeah, that, uh... That Titanic on Armeo really helped him survive a lot more in that fight than I thought he would. They should have enough firepower to be able to take this turret down. Castle is the only one defending the Tier 1, but the rest of Immortals... Four men onto insanity. Four insanity. I mean, they would get quite a bit on the mids. Can he stop the oh, wait, they got the second one as well. Away, but he gets the impale, dragging Zazel back with him. No oh, wait, that was great. To pull back back in. Castle. In the bag, but gets I mean, you died, but like that was still beautifully played. I can't believe you got a kill somehow. Nice little scarter mechanics there. It's pretty funny. The hitbox on the E and charging people backwards. He was just right next to him. Pulls yeah, that in. was actually crazy. Get the one kill. Uh, it was wow. You know, you go for the dragon. So an extra turret goes down. It's two turrets mid. And Rift Herald and Vendor, actually, but on that note, though, that was amazing by Shopify being able to get Definitely both of those watch. turrets I mean, mid. I, I would do the same thing. If like, I yeah, Zazel died, enemy, but so I'm worth it on Shopify side. Mid. Sure. He gets a kill for himself. A little rough that Insanity died here, there. Baby. I feel bad for Insanity getting the Scoot squatted. Uh, but yeah, then getting this turn is actually so big. I mean, really good ult, though. So let's see. How did he... Yeah. That was beautiful. Really good to eat. But yeah, B-Boy just... B-Boy and Fake got able to melt Skarner afterwards. Now, B-Boy's actually 3-0 as well now. Up in gold, too. And the tower went down anyway, but plays with squirrel. You were totally right. That was sick. I'm so glad I'm seeing some Skarner. Respecting the scorpion. There's a reason why flowers and so many members of the community have been hyped up on this champion. I mean, as flowers put it, he went from not even being on tier list to now being S plus plus tier on multiple tier yeah, lists. Yeah. And but I interesting have to say that Mass doesn't. Most of this game has so, really been around the bot lane. So Sarah's and earlier in the game before, is, is built a whole bunch. I would love to. I feel like I don't see that on every single mid laner. But what a great engage! Wait, wait, oh, he's just dead. What a great engage! He's just dead. That was actually insane. Yeah, and this is on hit. The ult from Tomio and everything. That's this guy is going to unbelievable. Garner melt through a Nautilus. These B4 has Bork and Razeblade right now. You, you are in these. Well, oh, Castle missed a little bit. Now under attack again. Still no flash. The impale locks oh, Dr. Lewis is going to get grab sanity. Another kill. It's fourth <laughs> one in the game. <laughs> Dude, it poor insanity. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, because he's right next to you. And what is insanity. this? <laughs> You're, you were talking about the AD carry race, Rafa. They are standing it is a race. even here. Yes, neck sir. and neck. 4 0 4 0. B Boy gets one on the top side to get the kind of free kill there onto Ole. Another free Honestly, kill. Honestly, though, and the, the pull in by Castle. To me, right, though, that's an assist right there. The Pulled it in right. He knew exactly who needed mobility. that gold. Although it is on hit Varus and, and the damage output is, is quite nice, especially versus some health stacking frontliners here. Uh, the Zeri hmm. with the extra mobility as the game gets long. Right. 
it's really scary. Plus, this area has a uh, you know Skarner front line here. So That's funny. So Shopify is up in gold. To play. Well, yeah, funnily enough, the, the person who's play up in gold the most, well. like Shopify in the matchup, is actually support. Set up a fortress, set up proper battle lines to make sure that B-Boy. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, there you go. Have that mobility, so now so B-Boy is able to get get back up to the top. Wow, Zazel took quite a bit of damage there. Great engage by Orle. Oh wait, Bebo hit the old. Respecting the amount of engage tools that Immortals were looking to use. Yeah, and Immortals also have the push on bottom side. The Skarner here, Castle, with his Hollow Radiance magic. So yeah, is Castle now able to actually edge. fight with Fake God and not die? Built for the side lane versus specifically the Rumble, uh, with so much invested in magic resist here mm. that he's able to get the push on uh, bottom side while the rest of the team. So Baron's up. So. And Technically, the mortal like pushes out effectively. They could try and get it, but I don't think they have the damage really to uh, burst it down or anything like that. Actually, I think uh, I think Shopify has a better job of doing that with the on hit Varus. Okay, Rel. Oh, that was spicy mask. Oh, it might not matter though. Oh wait, Fake God from behind. Okay, Romeo, let's see if you're able to make up for that at all. Oh yeah, Fake God takes it. Okay, Fake God dead. Zayzal and Beefo come from behind. Wait, Castle, that's crazy! Armeo, how are you still alive? Oh, wait, hit him with it! So he's gonna be able to... Oh, he's not going to, though. Ooh, good flash from B-Boy. He might have died otherwise. Ow, great fight by Immortals. Oh, he's dead! Castle's dead! Again, closely fought here. Yeah, that was the so close. Kill was a nice little setup there. It's too bad that tactical Basil wasn't there until the very end. The that would have been different. So that would have been, been so different for Immortals. But really well played by uh, Shopify. Fake God from behind was amazing. So I'm assuming he TP, uh, but I'd, I'd have to watch it again to know for sure. But he doesn't have TP up, so yeah, I'm guessing he TP'd over there. Really, really good job. And gets the the counter kill here. So again. We're still in this race, this AD carry race. And as tactical right now, you see him pushing mid lane. So he was yeah, they just kill Mask so fast. Tower, wow, a really good job by Armeo getting that uh, comeback here. kill. Oh, Gasol missed the ult. I didn't see that at first. But yeah, no, still grabbing well, Tomio on the E. It's, it's two over to the Zin Zhao, but so I honestly thought when uh, Xin Zhao hit that on Corky, he was going to be able to dash in because he was challenged. Zazel moves up in the lane. Oh, what a beautiful engage by uh, Zazel. Hit all three of them. And great ult by B-Boy. That was really good. That was great overall by everyone. Really close fights. Love seeing the reactions from both sides of the rift here. I will say Immortals have been showing a lot more proactivity in this first game than... I want to say on average from their spring split alone it seems that you know with the coaching change and just more time with this team as an era okay mask is up 1k gold despite just getting killed there split the rest of the roster having more time to just synergize let's see reps together okay the there is on three items built despite b-boy being okay, up in gold neck and neck gonna be a close one here that's so one interesting each basically dead even in gold it's gonna come down to some Especially because I think fights, baby. the most expensive... So oh, I mean, Static Shiv's a lot cheaper than Ooh. the other items. Same with Runons, maybe, so that's it. Because Infinity Edge is pretty expensive. It's 3,400. Vision advantage, though, for Immortals. Our male pops his uh, sweeper here as well as they try and Ooh, actually, there's five right there for it's Shopify. Harder to threaten your turn. You oh, no, I'm sorry, four. Ultimate, uh, Rumble's technically top. Also having ultimate, your turn off of Baron and your Baron baits are way less threatening. So it actually was kind of a, a big cooldown that Shopify no immortals are not using right now. And he drags up too, and it's funny that no one's even trying to Baron posture down there. Here. They've got their vision set up, you know. The check okay, they're just going on. Uh, they're just going on Baron. So now they're gonna look at the. And I don't think they know because yeah, they don't have vision currently. Damage on Baron is also pretty good. Oh no, nope, they, they just left. Here, though. Doesn't look like it. They weren't willing to. I mean, Rumble's coming in with that ult up and everything. Yeah, that would have been kind of unfortunate for them. I think if they would have done that around Dragon, though, that that would have worked very efficiently. Okay, so grabs Castle. Oh, what a great engage by the Rel. Ormeo went, got in the back line, though. Zazel's just dead. Oh, and Tactical was able to kill. Oh, that's crazy. Tomio's dead as well. And Sandy's so low. I don't think he could do anything at this point. 
Okay, that's like they did quite a bit of damage on Castle man. after that uh, Tomia ult, but the they just weren't able to finish him. I, I thought he was going to die, to be honest. But that's crazy. Alright, so let's Ole's see. Around, a TP by Insanity. But a really deep TP Castle's by Castle. Great engage by the Nautilus. Oh, the Vagod God was able to... Oh! Oh, beautiful Castle! Beautiful Castle, you got everyone who mattered! Oh, so it's CC! Oh yeah, that that might that might just kind of help wrap that game up a little bit. Tactical got so many kills there. That was beautifully played, and they, and they got Baron, 25 minute Baron. They're up almost 5k gold now. His ult is back up from the previous play, and they get the Baron. Immortals should be able to so look at this super look at the super the deep TP right here by Castle and he's able to utilize it perfectly with his his E oh grabs B boy of all people too that was just beautiful oh just does so much damage with mask and tactical oh that was so rough I don't even think B boy necessarily did anything wrong oh great flash by the mask oh but he's just he's just gets hit by everything else yeah but tactical cleans up yep tactical just cleans it all up triple kill and and game's over right you're just not gonna be able to do anything about zarya at this point can they end here 30 seconds no no i don't think so i think they're gonna grab inhib and maybe try and grab drag in like the mid turret go pretty deep let's see how deep inhibitor for sure if only would have hit that hook, it might have been a different story. Waiting 10 seconds on Zazel. Probably can't end. Zazel will be back up. Yeah. I think they're going to grab maybe this mid turret and definitely this drag. But 7,000 gold plus the extra dragon here for our mortals. They definitely have control of the rift. And it's that, you know, that was crazy. Mortals are so definitively ahead against Shopify Rebellion. I mean, when we looked at both of how these compositions were going to interact, both were... I mean, they, they know that they're on drive. They just can't do anything about it. While both B-Boy and Tactical were... Yeah, look at the Zeri, guys. Strength, the big problem is that Tactical has... Oh, wait, are they building Bloodthirster? Oh, yep, yeah, they got Bloodthirster right there. As soon as I said that, Zeri completed Bloodthirster. I'm a little surprised that he didn't just finish off the crit, but at the same time, I don't know if that... I don't know how much that matters. I think Bloodthirster is a really strong item. And gets you the uh, Invigorate or whatever it's called. Let's see, how can Shopify... Work their way around this one. Honestly, they're gonna Ooh, have to be really is Castle gonna engage right on Insanity right here? Do they know Insanity's up there? Wait, oh, great engage on Armeo. He's just so tanky! Jinjao's like not supposed to be this tanky! <laughs> insanity somehow made out alive. No one even knew where he was. But yeah, I was actually... I thought Insanity was gonna die. I should have Zane. He wasn't worried at all. Yeah, minion wave is pretty far away, so they might have to wait around a little while. But I think they're okay with that, though. It is inevitable. They just have so <laughs> much wave gold. On the way, uh, that top tower will die. They still have uh, 12 seconds left on the Baron buff, so at least this. But they're gonna lose tier two. Tower down. They already lost tier two mid. To immortals. They got the four one split. You know, I'm curious. You think, you think they're gonna be able to get a good team fight here? I mean tactical does a lot of damage, but he's still kinda of squishy. Shopify, they gotta get a And there's a lot of with health over on Shopify's side with Sejuani and their dream. Uh Rel. Can they make their dream a reality here? The defense is very difficult, but you gotta look for that opening. Tactical, remember he's got both summoner spells, so it's gonna be Ooh, very difficult. wait, are they gonna do something spicy here? Oh no, I think they have vision on him. He was sitting he was sitting right next to control ward. Tactical taking a giant chunk out of Insanity's health bar with that laser over the wall. Wow, yeah, I didn't even see that. Insanity took so much damage from that one hit. Okay, so they're not Baron anymore. Actually, they haven't had it for like a minute or so. Um, I don't know, dude. Baron's up in like two minutes. Drag's up in three. I think they just try and like squeeze him out, right? Just make sure that they can't go farm. To make short work of these Especially because somebody has to always be bought to try and... Oh, wait, okay, so hold by the rumble. Oh, no, just trying to clear out the wave. Okay. Ooh, Castle. Castle, I saw the mindset. B-Boy hit his ult, but uh, Orle was able to 
to reset. Hook anyway, away. He's got level 16 for castle. Teleport is up. And mm. they're going to call it at that. Immortals. Go that was really, really cool for the Skarna back. Extra money on luxuries. And we'll get right back to finishing this job later. I mean, look at the Wow, look at the what, level 15 to level 13. Because of the control. Uh, oh, okay, level 14 to level 15 now, but still, a level up uh, from the this, Jinjiao? This is looking pretty casual for them, and honestly, this is the look that you want to see when you're trying to transition your scrim results onto the stage. Oh, yeah, There's tactical is killing it. Collective, very easy way to play this out with the turbo-fed Zeri at the top of the charts here. Turbo-fed indeed, he's 10-0. and 0. His hands. And to be fair, though, yeah, seven and a half gold up Immortals. They would have to butcher something to lose this game. For someone like Tazico, who but it's good to see how they're going to be able to finish it and how cleanly they're going to be able to do so. The only player that stayed with them while Immortals picked up the four new players during the top of spring season. And it looks like the synergy has really come through. Obviously, this is against Shopify Rebellion, and we might not know what that strength looks like against the rest of the teams in the league. But if you want to make a strong statement for the start of your summer split... Oh, they're walking into them. Yep, and they're going to charge right into enemy territory. Yeah. Kind of shrugs off the initial damage. Yeah, I don't think Orlas to even worry about the damage, again, unfortunately. He has Warmogs, too. He just actually just doesn't care. Right? Is a very they're just good pushing again. I mean, usually you're like, okay, the difference oh, the here, though, Baron's up. Much, like, right now. So if they push him in effectively, the then they're able to just grab Baron. And Dragon's up in like 40 seconds. Yeah. So it's not like earlier where they were just like trying to squeeze him out. At this point, if Shopify makes a mistake, Immortals just grabs Baron and ends. Oh, they're grabbing Baron now. It doesn't even matter. Tactical does so much damage. This is disgusting. Yeah, Tactical's full build. Go. He ended up grabbing a Mortal really Shield Bow too, just in case something weird happens. Are very limited in options and Disgusting. Get through the jungle quadrant without potentially giving up more deaths. Oh, to, to be fair though, B Boy does have a lot of damage on his side as well. So I imagine Shopify's hopes are. Like it's kind of later into the game. A lot of people have a lot of items. But our powers in our team fighting, our powers in the CC abilities that we have. They're gonna go on this wave because Matt's such a tanky. Up to this wave with the cannon. Just just so tanky with Armeo. want to make use of this particular. They ended up grabbing uh, Sterics, so they don't really have like they have a lot of health items. Also reaching the level 18 on the giga scaling of AOE damage way. So honestly, Shopify. <laughs> What a hook! Go. Wait, overlay, what a hook! Oh, but the Zazel, what an engage! Oh, it doesn't matter. Tactical just does so much damage. Tactical just does so much damage. Wait, Armeo's super deep as well, though. Doesn't matter. Oh, wow, look at this. Just game. <laughs> Tactical just doesn't care. Oh, yeah, that is... I, that's a pretty convincing loss or convincing win depending on how you looked at it no I was well played by immortals Immortals will take game one of this series oh poor Tomio Tomio grabs Nidalee alright I'm also the crash down yeah so looking at this again I don't know nothing about nothing but looking at this comp immortals should kind of be fine right Oh, Shopify's looking deep. Invade, invade. The sounds of spears whipping is actually quite calming. Calming? The sound of spears whipping is calming? And unfortunately, I hear it at least most of the time. <laughs> the self-report. <laughs> hey, you know what? My, my soul no rate on her right now is 70%, so we, we take that dub. 70% win rate is really good, actually. Unless you only have, like, you know, 10 games or something like that. But still, 70% is really good. Finding any kills or summoner spells in the invade, but they did All right, so instead he's back on Corky. And I mean, played just fine down. last time. We'll see if he I'm really excited to see a little bit of this jungle matchup. I don't see a lot of Rek'Sai in jungle. I, I don't see a lot of Rek'Sai, but when I did see a lot of Rek'Sai, she was in top lane. It looked pretty unkillable. Very, very powerful. A little bit of damage taken and off. And Skarner is a monster every time I'm seeing him. So that'll be interesting. Uh, definitely possibilities of making some nice... Zazel had some great engages on Rel last game. 
They got only lost, and it did look a little rougher, Zazel, but overall had some great engages. Very interesting problem this game because you know the rumble see, in the corner again. Totally good engage. Is, is gonna be a little and yeah, Calista hurts early. so bad early. You get roasted a lot. You get pushed in. You know, Comet is a pain. Uh, Flamethrower <laughs> is a pain. But you also really yeah. care about the bottom lane and the early Oh, game actually, now that I'm looking at it, this is another annoying uh, early game for Castle. Just getting kind of bullied by so. Fake God, who played, Both again, jugglers, really good Rumble game last game. Towards the bottom side of the map, which is good news It's for funny, because it's not like Shopify made any, like, it wasn't like I was watching them like, oh, wow, this is, like, just lots of mistakes uh, or anything like that. Shopify played super good last game. It's just slowly but surely, Immortals was able to get ahead consistently. Push for Tomio so he can freely evade and contest these Raptor camps. Oh, like wow. Able to steal them Aggressive. Away from and pushing him out. And this is Tomio's dream. Yeah, Tomio's feeling it. All right. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Missed the cue, I think. But that's all right. He to do what he loves to do best. And now he's even taking the red buff on top of it. And Armeo has nowhere else to go. We got Nidalee Spears. All right, Tomio. Spears stacking up. Armeo, though. Sneaks around to pull his Krugs away from that Nidalee Spear. I don't blame so him. They don't get tagged, so at least he can salvage some Krugs. It was really, it was really like, that's a... It's amazing that B-Boy and Zazel was able to push in so aggressively and they were able to go help with that. In, helping support, everybody helping support Tomio uh, up on stage here. Crowd as well as teammates. So not surprised to see that Fake God's a little bit ahead of Castle there. Uh, and then again, yeah, really even mid lane. All new Kia. <laughs> I'll do Kia. Hoorah! You here, taking stock of who is pushing who. To be fair, Last Kia's week, used to be really ugly, and they have really around. improved uh, in recent years. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Not, uh, not very dangerous because he's got his jungle and fog of war. This is the thing where Skarner got pushed off red, but then Fake God knows. All right, well, there's gonna be an angry Scar um, Rexai, excuse me. Angry Rek'Sai it's gonna be really interesting. The map now because the so how is Rek'Sai's gank? Because so he has the tunnels, right? Say, okay, fine. That's your your time to farm. So I don't think yeah. I don't think back. trying to gain castles of the right move, but like they have some CC a little bit. Would they be able to gank mid effectively? after he got pushed out. So as you called it, Fake God just playing with respect, making sure that he doesn't get jumped on like he did. I also do not the use the uh, vision from so Kliss's W or E or whatever it is. Mayo, I think it's W effectively enough. It's a big wave that is crashing oh, in oh, he should have waited a second more. Look, he, he has a little bit of health he could have got there. Actually, I wait so much time. I'll wait till I'm full health and then I'll start my TP. So I can't even talk about that. I actually love that back from Skarner. But nothing has really resulted much from it it's just been gonna be able to just tp back camps ahead for tomio what I want oh wow he's not gonna tp back though is if shopify can continue so castle could have tp but the wave wasn't pushed in enough so he's just gonna walk back yeah biggest thing here is that now we are approaching again the timer for a reset towards grub so let's see if castle's gonna be able to get another spicy grab or whatever on fake god because i think tactical getting that first blood helped a lot for immortals and they're the Cause from there, he really did just kind of take over the game slowly but surely. Up to six minutes. I'm excited to see Tomio though. Let's see what he's able to do. Uh, right back and fake God is oh! the bomb side of the map. So Tomio is here first, and so Tomio close to that spear. Will be there second. Uh, Immortals, I don't think will be too sad. All right, so drags it. up. Right back Drugs are about to be up. Do the trade. Go for oh, He's going back mid. Um, or even head up and actually fight Ooh. this. Because Varus and Nautilus are making it look like they actually want to fight. Oh, okay. around behind the Grubs right now and might get a So Zazel found uh, Castle. Castle just walks on out because it's Castle's Skarner. Little, little cruising here. And Armeo, wow, Armeo just grabs it. Castle grabbed him. Tomio's dead. Tomio's just dead. And it's over to Tactical again. Wait, it's over to Tactical again. Another first blood for Tactical. Cruised right. This is ex this is exactly what happened, but this is very close to what happened game one. Ooh, great flash engaged by Zazel, so they're able to return a kill. Unfortunately, Zazel is the one who got it, and they're going to be able to get these uh, this last grub as well. So it could have been worse for Shopify, but wow, tactical with another first blood. Instrumental in getting those kills, but Shopify. Got, Insane, guys. Shopify, uh, Calista, so as B-Boy is heading down, they knew it was coming. 
Uh, they try to back off, and it is just going to be the two-for-one split on the early grubs. So, so the only one up right now six, in their lane so matchup is the, uh, uh, tactical. You know, double void might spawn. However, it is still on the table and pretty easy for either side uh, to go for the four, so you can get the single one sure. here. Any more practice? Talking this much? I'm trying to remember if it's been a couple of hours now. I'm struggling a little bit. I won't lie. I'm feeling like that tickle in the back of my throat, uh, you know, occasionally. There's definitely something I need to work on, but uh, <laughs> doesn't help that I'm yelling probably more than I should. All right, so let's see. So Castle just kind of drifted around, right? Yeah. What a oh, stupid, stupid ability. And then yeah, it told me it was just too far forward. The and and you should have known that Skarner's there, right? Because Zazel... It's hard to keep track because, he, you know, he can cruise through walls, but... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Because Zazel did point. see yeah. you gotta be a little the castle. Bit more, some people use the term res respectful, but I use the term fearful. <laughs> fearful, I like that. Whenever you give over a Skarner like that, yeah. uh, be just because it is so it's so uh, devastating early on. In the end, though, you know, they chased him off and they the still got drag one. Still up. They still got one extra kill. And it does look like Armeo's down, down there, but so. I don't know how much he's gonna. Not too bad. Yeah. You know, try and prioritize that. Thankfully for Shopify, at least their bot lane is still doing pretty well. I think uh, the focus of this composition. Yeah, it could have been worse. As I, at least Bvoy's not the one that well ended up dying there. Tomio dying a little rougher on the Nidalee than it was last game on the uh, the tank, but. But for Immortals, the fact that Tactical got the first blood and is already accelerated Don't yeah make sure another first blood for tactical is so huge as we that, -game. that was a pretty good recipe for game number one tactical getting an early kill and he is going to lethality this time around so it's not going to be you know, Tommy's bot lane as, as well with our like backing i don't know i don't think they know our mayo's backing though i think they're just going to grab drag here you don't have any they have a pretty good business her. setup and, with uh, bot lane there gonna, yeah you know, get out of control later but Shopify will eventually pick up their dragon on the bottom side of the map since they rotated B Boy and Zazel back down there. The Callista Realm. Let's where they see. Go. They don't have any vision, or at least Immortals doesn't have any vision on this, so they might expect it, but they don't know for sure. Number one here for Shopify. Woo! Shopify getting their first neutral objective of the game, or at least fully complete, as they were able to fully. They did grab one grub as well, so it could have been a lot worse. Antonio, bounce back, buddy. Oh, nice cleanse by B-Boy. Okay. Oh, the grab by Oila? Oh, and a great ult by B-Boy. Great plays by B-Boy. Oh, that's some damage. Okay, insanity. Okay, insanity. Okay, mask. I'm loving these trades. Yeah, they did get cleanse there. And they got the ult. We'll see how much that ends up mattering. Wolves into Raptors. For Sanity Tomeo. knows. And another sort of calm early game. This time around, too, with the swapping. Um, Ooh. I, mean, I, saw, the I saw the vision right there. Quite nicely here, so, uh, so again, I mean, pretty good event, really close so game early on. Is it wasn't until later where Immortals kind of started to is definitely feeling better about this game. He's not getting really take off. Because after one or two pretty game, big fights went in their favor. But again, I mean, close game, looking play. really good. A majority of his laning phase safely. As B -boy and Zazel are gonna I think the big difference though is I think late match. game I would much nice rather be about. on Immortal's side than like than on Shopify's side. But that just Even has to do with like the team comp. Spears, the utility you get from buffing up your marksman with the extra attack speed ratio does make them more lethal in a short skirmish. We'll see how well Shopify can play around. But Immortals have answered back. Okay, so Immortals, Immortals are going Shopify full range. in on these grubs. Yeah, Insanity's bottom lane, and even though he has teleport, I would just say, you know what? Take your payment in plates. Yeah. Get, get your turret plate money. Keep pushing on bottom side. It is a bit annoying that Immortals are going to have the Void Might spawn for yeah. later, but it's it's honestly not the end of the world. I mean, this game is going to be won around team fights. Sure. So, uh, honestly, just try and, try and get a little bit of money right now. He actually didn't get up to the turret because teleport easily used there by Castle. So while the Corky does push out the lane, Insanity hmm. actually didn't cash in very big. I mean, he got one play, right? I think I saw. I think I saw him get one play at least. It's three down, so maybe he got a second one. We haven't got one. 
12 and he completed Trinity here. Force there, so that'll so help a lot. More minutes before those turret plates fall off. And Immortals and Shopify have been constantly answering each other's swaps towards the top side of so the nothing, map. So nothing up objective-wise for about two minutes. Over and making sure wow, it's empty is TPing team bot. To or, I'm sorry, TPing team top. Just pick up that wave. Meanwhile, some Castle's of the first chilling. completions coming in that do matter a lot. Tactical, namely, getting his opportunity. Um, Spicy clear. Love to see it. Crazy now, and QW. <laughs> And then but you get multiple Q procs, because why not? You really should not underestimate the all-in power there from the Quartzer after the changes. Mm -hmm. Mask on top side is able to get control of the wave, though, so... It'll be fun to see uh, Immortals and, and to Shopify against other people next week. Because they were both ranked at the bottom. So with two teams that are ranked at the bottom going against each other... Like, it looks really close, but I don't know if that's because, like, they really are just outclassed by other teams. Garner, though, is heading over towards mid lane to see... I think the, the team I'm most out. excited to watch is definitely going to be Dig. But, you know, back. I mean, TL had played great, Sandy great series. For I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to see just how the LCS plays out in general. It'll be my first season really paying attention to it week by week. Yeah, I I really like the kind of defensive play there from Immortals to hover around Mass for Ole. Ooh, engaged by Insanity? TP from behind? Let's see, is Mass going to be able to get out here? No, Mass is just dead. Wanted to try and trade Insanity there, but great TP by Fake God. scoreboard and you see these desyncs and items where it was a lot of mana items and components there. It was just like the lost chapter in the tier. For mask at the time, Corky on Trinity Force. You didn't know Insanity is like, I really want to all in him. I gotta all in him. I want to all in him. So they're waiting. Oh wow, they, they got the cleanse from B Boy and again. That's why they go for the teleport. But it doesn't matter if you keep getting the cleanse if you don't if you don't make anything out of it. Wait, look at Scarner picking up all those plates in the bottom left. Able to complete the look at him go. Take you, take you, boy. Afterwards, but they get their playoff. They get their teleport. They get their one kill. Bottom side is pushed in though, and pretty low, honestly. Castle was able to Wow, insanity that hurts. Down with the help of the minions. Yeah, big crash too on the minion wave. Insanity going over to Ooh, pick insanity, it up. be careful. To install the recall and the reset. Big meaning though for Okay, Castle. Oh, okay. Maybe a Oh, interesting. They're going all in on Castle here. Range the crash down. Now B-Boy was but he has, to burn he has old, doesn't he? Blends after a three-man dive attempt from Immortals earlier in the mid lane. So he has to be a little careful. Yeah, Mayo's down there too. Oh, they just want to drag. I think, is why Shopify I think that's really smart, mid. actually. They Dragon pushed Castle in really heavily and grabbed drag there. Beautifully and done. And even if they know they're on it, it's not like they can do a lot about it. Unless you wanted to have Mask, like, TP down or something. Off of bottom lane push, a pretty easy Dragon number two here for Shopify. I mean, that's, that's a win con. Just keep getting those drags. Even... If Skarner's kind of low because the rest of the team rotates over and Shopify continue stacking their dragons. They're happy to just collect them. That was really smartly done by Castle. Playing towards their dragon at like you eat away and at first I was thinking like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't know if that was necessary, but looking that there's still so many of them down there. I, uh, that was just tier one on the smart plays. The map. Looks like Mask was able to take the tier one on the top side. And now Shopify, I want to see what happens now that a majority of their team... Is Armeo just grabbing Rift side. right now? And... I think they are so happy. Like I assume so. A hex soul. It's not showing me, but having. I gotta see him on the mini map in that area. I assume he's just grabbing it. Really, some of the with five grubs as well. From that particular. You know, soul. I wonder what they'll be able to grab out of that. They could get down, maybe. They could definitely get bot turret, but it seems almost like a waste but to get bot turret. Rolling that hex soul. Here to top, if they're able to get a good push on fake god. Even. Even or tier one mid, though, maybe? You know, They're able to kind of like position correctly uh, around it. You know, a little bit of hope there. The slows from I think the preferred one would be uh, so tier one crazy good mid, right? Squad. If Shopify can like that's the realistic and preferred one if you're able to get a good position uh, there. Very well could push us to that so many deep wards. So they've got their sights set on Wow. Got a, a ways to go, of course. So you there's there's no that one there. there. But... Keep your there was a total of three in their bot side jungle, or that Shopify put into Immortal's uh, bot side jungle. Ooh! And a little sidestep. Do the finishing jobs of making sure they are executed after a lot of the poke has been ramped up. 
So it looks like they're just going to grab get into these bot fights once turret the here. Both up and ready, then he can unleash some major you think they're trying to? You think uh, Immortals trying to start a fight here? For the next three minutes, but they want to little poke by Castle on this bottom jungle quadrant, but Immortals not going to get too far up into the base shop. Hmm, that was interesting. I, I wonder. I mean, maybe they just want really the bot side turret. Like that's step and a good way to just position, armor, grab something, and leave. Uh, their first picks is getting that early vision into enemy jungle oh they almost got mid to too step, where you go and this is without using the rift like the shallow so did, i mean with this push you think they're just gonna be able to grab it without using shelly to move in more effectively how oh, there's uh, four people the there the tactical has like no mana it's probably better to play safe yeah through. and then if they're leading up to those dragons that's when immortals try and strike they try and make use of this kind of fearsome CC combination that they have drafted themselves once again. Scarner and Nautilus Ow. can be just so much damage from insanity. Like zero time to move. I mean, to be fair, Castle also built Hollowed Radiance, ultimate, which so. is uh, magic resist. Here, but he's not really built against insanity specifically. I don't think they're particularly panicked. Aggressive by Romeo, love it. Yet. Get a little bit of vision. Got to try to see what's going on. Gain that vision control back in that bottom jungle quadrant is so important because we are now just two minutes away from dragon so those next i mean two minutes away from dragon two minutes away from baron bro right it's it's both, both of the objectives can be up them. in a second that means who is getting the first touch on those minions to see that who gets the first move into the jungle to continue establishing that vision line because if shopify is able to clean this third dragon then they get on soul point and then five minutes after immortals have to are forced to fight even if they didn't want to a little bit of damage on Zazel, but it'll be Let's healed up pretty shortly here. Can it do it? Control wards purchased. Control wards moved up. They even got the extra vision. From wow! Do you really think Shopify is just going to bully them out of this and just grab the, the drag? Like they're, they've done a good job setting up vision. That we have really looked heavily at and. Um, and getting you know, rid last, of Immortals' vision. I would say even in spring, it was a, a kind of big issue for, for some of the teams. Um, and trying to retake these quadrants. That was a of the good Severn strike, but it happened to hit Zazel of all people, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But Immortals it was blind right too. This is, I can't believe it hit. It was amazing. That mid lane tower down. It is just so easy. Okay, Immortals so doing a good job of repositioning back into the spot side river. Delete the control wards. Now they're in the spot we are talking about. These Tomio Q or uh, Spears Qs, whatever. They could. They hit a few of them. It could really change how this fight goes, especially if it's on the right people like Mask. Pretty much anyone but Olay. Not sure. I don't think Tomio got a chance to yeah. get the blue buff. Looks like it was stolen away by Immortals. The flash from Ole is a respect flash out of Fake God, and Castle might get jumped on here. B4, Castle did. Wait, look at that suppress! And Mask is in. Oh, they were able to melt so uh, Castle though. And maybe it becomes a hero. Our male will commit the void. Wow, so much going on there. from this fight, but the rest of Shopify Ole, come on, you able to hit a hook here? Run. Good seven strike. is looming in the shadows and looking for the arrows to snipe them down. Wait, great engage by Zazel! Great engage by Zazel! Opening dies to the... Ah! That's beautiful by Tactical, that's so crazy! That was a close one there. Shopify, they able to... Oh wait, Immortals just grabs the drag though. So it did not end up working for Shopify, unfortunately. The Q from Dude, the ult from Castle there bought so much time. Still get the dragon. Still avoid oh, I think that was still. I still think that was a really good engage by Zazel. Just unfortunate, the Q from Varus just did so much. This was amazing. I just great engage by Zazel. Very aggressive, but oh, look at it. that! Was just beautiful. Bought enough time for Mass to be able to get in there. Oh yeah, but V Boy was able to finish Castle off. Really, really good ult by Fake God. Able to touch just kind of kept tactical away and then pops the ultimate to finish the job oh and then watch Here's this such a beautiful re-engage by zazel nice almost so grab tactical so but yeah just so much damage from that q does find the later snipe on the q to be able to so overall i don't think that was bad for shopify it's just unfortunate that after all that they still ended up losing drag looks like no one from immortals will get a chance to use the charge mechanic insanity will answer that top wave crashing but the rest of Shopify have oh, it looks like actually everyone from Mortal Head top. So they're gonna, they're trying to guarantee this uh, crash right here. No cleanse, no flash. There we go. It's super hard for him to step up. We go drifting. Get a to use the Look at all those grubs. Those damage. little mites. Barely whipping on Tomio. 
All right, but I've got a question for you now. How does Skarner even fit inside the Rift Herald? Skarner Don't worry about is it. literally <laughs> as big as the Rift Herald. That Skarner should not be allowed wow, to they, they did get the tier two top. Kobe, Skarner and like Mundo <laughs> or something? Who else? Cho'Gath? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know about the other two tanks, but His for Skarner, don't work out. That, 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 that's a Flowers question. He's yeah. the Skarner expert. That's a Flowers you know? question. If, yeah, if flowers. Skarner gets inside there, <laughs> are those claws really going to give you the dexterity to, to drive a Rift Herald? I wonder if it's like, you know, like two controls. These are the like big questions, the right? They're, they're they like, understand like, what we're here for. What is like the Millennium Falcon or something, and you're just driving through there, but then the pincers might oh. not be the best rivers there. Now, Shopify Rebellion. Try to they have quite a bit of poke on Immortal's side. Right wow, Spiraling Despair does so. With this, oh, wait, he's dead! Wait, Tobias is dead! Just like that, Tobias is dead! And Finko's also dead! Oh, wait! Wait, Bebo's also dead! Oh, Immortal's does it! Oh, Immortal's, what a huge fight! They just kill them all! Baron's up! They just kill them all and just grab Baron! Because the only people alive are Zazel and Insanity. On Father's Day, are delivering Shopify. That was insane. They just dealt so much damage to Tomio. Baron will be there. I wonder if it'll show us that again. Because that was insane. I don't even think Tomio like necessarily made a mistake. He just stepped a little bit too far. I guess he did. He stepped a little bit too far forward. But just got melted. Come on, come on, show me again. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Get the look. I will say though, Ormeo Rek'Sai jungle is looking good. Ah, ha, ha, show us again, show us again, show us again. His mask hits the uh, the like the grab and then does so much damage afterwards with severing strike. Oh, and his ult. I don't I don't know his ult score, but yeah, Ormeo just finishes it. And Fake God just Ormeo's there, just does so much. Castle's ults have been on point. Every castle ult this game felt like it's done something. Garner being able to yoink in another one, and Nero's like, you know what? I did my job two games in a row. We first picked Skarner. We got some picks, and uh, there you go. Wrap it up. Oh, they Nine have Baron now, too. There's 6k gold up. It's, this might be another so two-game series. Side, I'm always, so you know, Saturday all went to game three, and Sunday it might just be game Korea. twos. And you always start eyeballing I cannot believe they didn't ban Skarner after last head. game. I think they're regretting it. It's not even like Skarner's the biggest but... issue. It's just another issue to deal with. And Tactical has looked convincing. Really good games all around. Zazel, what a great engage! What a great engage! Oh, but Oli! Oli, what great engage is back! A really good ult by Mask! Oh, and Sandy's so low. Oh, Zazel's just dead. Zazel's just, but that's alright. That's just a support. What are they going to be able to do here? Ooh, nice sidestep by Insanity. Great engage by Zazel. Yeah. I mean, it ended up, it ended up not mattering, but I think that's more to do with like just Immortal just has too much more gold. Would have had to pull out something right there. So you're always looking at the timing window. I don't think at all that was Zazel's fault, but I think that was also beautifully played by Mask. Because you know it's gonna have to be something. Beautifully played by Mask and Ollie. The old Q, I mean, oh, Nautilus is just just does so much, just standing, just auto attacking people. Insane. Um, you know. Like more like 30 seconds, honestly, before the dragon, um, and, and just try it all in, you know, around the time where your opponents are not. Expecting. Yeah, dragon's actually gonna be but up while Baron's still up. Some big rewards. And, uh, so Immortals still has they like don't get a 45 seconds. Yeah, 40 seconds to just grab this turn, and they're gonna get this for sure. On right wait, wait. So uh, Tomi is just going down and grabbing here. drag while they're getting their inhib taken. Another 25 minute push where Immortals are 8,000 gold ahead. Now 9,000. They're really on this, like, they need Drag Soul. Falling of these structures here. And I don't think that's Shopify wrong, though. That I don't think they would have saved Top Turret anyway. I think this is actually really well done. Good macro by uh, Tomio. Now remember, there is yeah, with the uh, objective bounty. Is he going to die to Romeo? Wait, great hook by Ole. Right that oh, that was so much damage on Zazel. Thankfully for Shopify, makes it out alive. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really sick sneak because you get your, your gold bonus. Tell me it was like shivering, bro. Plus, like you're saying. Because he's definitely not soloing our mayo. The dream is alive. Yep. Please, can we get the Hex soul? That's how they try and come back. And Hex soul is really, soul, is really, really strong. Cross. You know, your base is wide open. You have, uh, you know, top side inhibitor down. But I mean, honestly, they only have top side inhib. They no longer have Baron. Really good sneak. 
from Tomio. Technically, technically, Shopify has a chance here, but they are back like 8k gold. Now, as you already called out, that's Shopify an insane amount of gold. With that top inhibitor being destroyed. So yeah, wow, look at, so look, look at, so look, look at tactical side. right down here. Extra three items built, three and a half items built. Have a chance to leave this base also three bomb. items on mask. Wow, they're just going to hurt so bad. Wait, and three items on the top laner on, on castle as well. So. The they're all just like an item of ahead. They're all item ahead of their uh, enemy laner. Looks like they're going to rotate on over to that spear though. Nice hefty chunk of damage onto mask from Tomio. Despite Mask getting up to level 16 here, and the Hui just being so scary Sandy's at the 16, moment. 16, Olay's 11. The item power spike, level 16 Hui, like that is just a massive amount of AoE. Mm. Yeah. That is really hard to avoid, too. The later you get into this game, it's uh, it's actually become quite... I'm also just now noticing, Tony went Conqueror. Um, again, they don't kind of have interesting. a lot of CC on their side, so it has to be a really good engage from So they're Sandals. definitely thinking that they'd be... And, and he's, Gonna have to be a really uh, they still built the spade first. Uh, maybe maybe Conqueror is just normal for they are going to be able uh, to Nidalee. I feel like I see a lot of more like Dark Harvest Can you or find that Storm? Can you find the like Arcane Comet or something like that with a Q poke. That sets the rest of Shopify's damage to lay down super easily on the fall. Oh, dude, Castle's huge. We'll have to see. Immortals taking their time once again. Nothing new from what we learned about them. In All right, game so one, where Baron's in a minute. A while to close out the game. So I'm guessing Immortals just gonna try and like choke them into their base for as much as possible and then rotate down. To make sure that nothing goes awry in the closing out of this game and what would be the series. Two and a half minutes until the dragon spawns, but Immortals are looking to do irreparable damage to Shopify's base before then. Yeah. If not win the game outright, Destroy I mean, another inhibitor. Yeah, Sh Shopify is really just doing their best to survive until this drags up and then hoping like so, Tomio grabs a, the a steal or something. Are going to be incredibly oh, wait, they're pushing up really far Shopify forward for that, though. To push out just gotta be careful. Here. Maybe because they know Armeo's top. Super minions get leaked into their base. That's gonna cause them to have to wait, Armeo's gonna engage, engage right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Castle walking forward, seeing if he can find an I saw Armeo coming down, and I was thinking, like, oh, they're going to meet, like... Oh, wait, okay, so Zazel engaged. Good rumble ult. Zazel's just dead, dude. Oh, I think I was dead, too. Yeah, it's game. It's game. Beautifully played all around, but Tactical has had an amazing series. Easily MVP. That was... Was there a that trap was... burning him and, and the red the red spider? Excuse me, that was a I great, no great <laughs> pick from Tomio. I cannot believe he was able to kill Tactical there. It doesn't matter, but that's still it's awesome that they were able to get something at least. I don't think it's gonna matter. Tomio found one oh, the flash by Castle. Oh, with another ult! Another absolutely insane ult into the, into the ult from Mask! Uh, I think we need to uh, see more Skarner bands. I think that's what I, I got from this. Disgusting. I am T with a two zero over. Immortals. Shopify. All right. And so yeah, Saturday really was three out or two series. ones, going Great. to game three, no, and like Sunday was just two games. I got a dominant performances Probably from Immortal, and then a hundred thieves as well. In the early game, like maybe. Just really, really well played all around. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, LCS, really good week one. I am really, really excited for week two. Actually, let me pull up. What's going to be going on in week two? Am I able to check out the schedule this early on? Yeah, all right. So let's see. So it's going to be Cloud9 versus Immortals. So this will be really good. I'll really be able to see how Immortals stacks up against, like, arguably the best team on LCS. This is going to be a great game. See, I'm really excited to follow uh, Dignitas throughout the split and see kind of how they do. And 100 Thieves is just fun to watch. right? I think they get a lot of trash talked about them that I don't think they deserve. Uh, ooh, FlyQuest, NRG? Right, that should be a good game. I think, I think FlyQuest should have this one, but it'll, it'll be good to just see how it goes. And then, yeah, TL versus Shopify should kind of just be a stomp. Uh, but maybe not. You know what I mean? Like, these games... Have the all of these games have the potential to really go in the opposite direction uh, expected? 
So it'll be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to next week. Uh, this week, week one LCS, great to watch. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you.